But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Obama president now. 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 Yeah, I remember saying that. You sure did, Anthony. That's because someone said that to me. Uh, now I have a new saying. Uh oh, what's your new saying? Now let's change America. <laughs> now let's change America. Boy, did his dialect change from the beginning of the night to the end. <laughs> All I was thinking when I was watching the inauguration speech, wow, when is Stone Cold Steve Austin coming out? Yeah. Because, <laughs> man, if he doesn't sound like The Rock when he's talking in front of a whatever it was, a million and a half people, yeah. he sounded more like The Rock last night than I've ever heard before. And then as the night went on with all the festivities, I, uh, in, my, my, in my personal uh, observation, I believe he was drinking. <laughs> really? He looked a little more loose and a little um, like, yeah, hey, let's change America. <laughs> uh-huh. Maybe a little uh, champagne. I'm, talking about, yeah, I'm, I'm sure him and uh, the wife shared a little champagne. Uh -huh. Maybe, uh, you that's, know, that's, little that's, shots. That's a long day, though. Yeah, it is. I mean, I certainly am not going to compare what I went through with uh, uh -huh. With a president being sworn in, but like recently when I got married, the festivities, by the end of the day, you're just like, you can't focus, you're exhausted, your feet hurt, you're just like, oh my God, I just want to crash. Yeah. And he was like doing that all effing day. Yeah, apparently though, he, he likes going out and hanging at night and doing stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, well, that's another thing we'll see, a whole new aspect of the presidency, one that actually, like, I think goes out. It leaves the White House. <laughs> Well, I don't know. They were saying that this is going to be a huge adjustment for the guy because he really does like to be out and about and go, hey, I'm going to go down to the uh, local uh, high school and play a little uh, basketball. Okay, let's cordon that off with a few tanks. <laughs> right. And uh, we'll get right. some Blackhawks up above. <laughs> right. And uh, then feel free to just jog around. You know. Uh, we'll uh, shoot anyone we see. And um, <laughs> all right, have fun. They said it's going to be really tough for this guy to adjust because what, what do they call it when uh, after today – you go into the White House, but they call it something like the glass box. The oh, uh... okay, I thought you were gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but he's you're gonna say what I was reading all night. <laughs> he's the type of guy. He was. He's pretty much one of the most famous people in the world, and he would just go to his wife because he wasn't the president yet. Hey, I'm gonna go to the school and pick up the girls today. And he would just hop in his uh, his uh, ride he's in and... a gilded cage, a glass menagerie, something like that, right? Yeah, he kind of. Um... And he was actually still driving himself a mere week or two ago, <clears throat> not no yeah. more. Driving, like now, it's driving Mr. Obama. Like Anthony said, I mean, we're fortunate here in New York City. Actually, we shouldn't call it fortunate, <laughs> but when Bush came to town, it was a complete nightmare. Yeah, you you couldn't move in this city, and and I don't think he realizes that he can't just go off and play basketball without, no. like Ann said, you know. You know, first of all, they're going to choose who he plays basketball with now. I'm just going to go out and shoot some hoops. <laughs> okay, we're going to shoot everyone we see coming near you. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we have to do a security check on everyone, and then we'll decide, uh, yeah. according to their background, who you're allowed to play basketball so with. So I'm guessing you should schedule hoops for about a month. <laughs> <now>. Right, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and they said uh, it, it was just, I don't know, it was really good TV. I, I watched everything since... Uh, I did, too. From 11 yeah. o'clock when we got off the air until 9 o'clock, I was uh, glued in front of that TV. And uh, yeah. uh, some fine watching, man. Just very, very interesting. Like when he walked Pennsylvania Avenue, uh -huh. they said that will be the last time he does that, in, in whether it's four or eight years. he will You will never see him walk that road. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Why were they speculating that he wouldn't do it in like... Because no, no other president... Uh, no, I mean, between now and when he leaves office, there's not a chance that he'll just walk Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh, right, right, true, yeah. So that's a little weird. Like, he's going to be the boy in a bubble or something. Yeah. Boy in the plastic bubble. Mm. Where do we begin? I guess we give out the phone number, 877-212-ONA. I mean, the phones are ringing. It's a, definitely an audience participation uh, show today. Lots of phone calls. Oh, yeah. It was huge. Like uh, you said, uh, the coverage last night, watched it. Um, wow. They really, I know it's, it's Obama's day and everything, and uh, 
they could not find one bad thing to say. Right. Not a, not about him. I mean, what are they going to do? Trash him on his inauguration day? But like everyone around him, mm -hmm. everyone he knows, mm -hmm. the people, the thing, everyone. All they were saying is, "This is just a wonderful historic day, and uh, it's just amazing what we're seeing." And Anderson Cooper is so mo <laughs> for Obama. You think he, he wants is so mo for him? You think he wants a little brown sugar? Oh. <laughs> Dude, he was drooling every time he's on camera. He's just oh, and look at him. Look at the way he speaks and dances. No, that's a man's man. Everything he's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I didn't notice that. Oh, one. Anderson Cooper was bravo. Just, oof, bravo. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, coverage was amazing. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, no one's going to say anything bad, and you have to take your cue from someone like Dick Cheney. Even Dick Cheney was rah, 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 we're oh, yeah. seeing something special. You know, I don't care that I don't agree with this guy or half these people on the platform. This is something that is like history and the exchanging of power. And he was, like, really, really into it. He's just trying to make peace with the Lord. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I think he's, and, you know. You know what? I... I uh, no matter what, I still hate the news. Oh, they don't give you the real story. I mean, they're trying to say Dick Cheney's in a wheelchair because he moved a couple boxes and pulled a muscle in his back. Let me tell you something: if you're going to be seen in front of a billion people, yeah, they're saying at least a billion people around the world watch that, right? Oh yeah, I saw I, some video from other countries too. Yeah, and, oh pfft, Jesus, <laughs> God, I feel sorry for the animals yesterday <laughs> that had to die. <laughs> Poor animals, my God. How many? Oh, my God. Really? Think about it. <laughs> there was some sacrificing going on oh. yesterday. Whew. Showing that we got a long way to go before we're one big happy village. Planet, yeah. Planet, oh, my God. <laughs> um, but Cheney, the, the doctor said, well, he pulled a muscle uh, moving some boxes, but, you know, and it's no big deal, but suggest that Cheney, you know, be in a wheelchair for two days. <laughs> yeah. No man. We could speak as men here. Men. No, no man wants to be seen in a wheelchair. First of all, ever. Second of all, uh, uh, if you're going to be in front of a billion people, yeah. If it was no big deal, but the doctor still suggests a wheelchair for a couple of days, when you get your ass up yeah. on a cane or something, you don't want to be seen of like Vicodin that. Get in and get right. your ass out there. Because guess what? When we're long gone, they're going to be showing Cheney in a wheelchair. Yeah. And everyone's going to think that wow, at the end of his vice president run, he was a cripple. That's all they're going to think now. They're not going to remember that he, quote, you know, uh, oh, hurt himself problems. moving a box or two. Those no. guys don't move their own boxes. First I, of all, we I'm a shock jock and I don't move my own boxes. <laughs> you think a vice president moves, moves his own boxes? We hadn't seen him in how long before the inauguration? No one even saw him. Can I say close then, to a year? Yeah, Is that about right? They've been hiding him away. Is that about right? Maybe um, for the he most did, part. He did swear the new senators in, mm -hmm. so he was in the Senate chamber. But okay. you know, I don't think we saw him go in and out. We just saw him there no. doing the swearing in. Right. But no one really saw him. Yeah. You know, and then he comes out in public like that in a wheelchair. So yeah, that was a little suspect. There's so much to to talk about. Uh, how about we do this? Because I mean, it's almost it's 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 overwhelming. So why don't we go to the phones? And we'll let the the you know the listeners kind of guide us through ah. through all the viewing that Let's was going on initially. On what they uh, sure were thinking? Let's go to Stryker. Stryker. Morning, boys. Hey. Well, let's see. It's uh, Obama plus sixteen hours. The stock market went down four percent of value last night. Nymex crude is up four percent this morning. Brent crude is up one percent. And uh, three gas stations on my way to work this morning are up almost a dime in value. Yep, Obama president now. Obama president now. <laughs> yeah, the stock market. Uh, <laughs> took a little tanking. Wow. Uh, yeah, over down three hundred and something. That was the below banks. eight thousand. That was the oh, banks. Right. The financials oh. just like uh, tanked. Yeah, there was a reason for it. It wasn't more bank trouble on the. Believe way. me, I'd love, I'd love to pin everything on Obama, but even yeah. I'm saying, you know, that was. Uh, that was the banks. They're already were. whispering that there might be some uh, serious problems with these banks still. Yeah, yeah. So. They're still asking for more money, and now they don't know where the other half of this uh, tarp money's going. So, it's. I, uh, I'm getting a little nervous. I gotta like. Uh, I gotta move. I gotta move uh, everything. Oh, you thinking you gotta start moving some money? Around? No, not some. Everything. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you in one of those banks? <laughs> yeah, one of those banks with the weird logo. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> like it, it looks like a minor league team. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, it almost looks like the Yankee logo. Uh, Gatsby, New York, how are you? You're great. <laughs> how you doing? Hey, what's Listen, up? I'm frightened. I'm frightened that the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court has one line to say, you break it up into seven parts, and he still screws it up. You know, I, I, we're kind of arguing this a little bit. I, 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 I think the Chief Justice messed up first, threw Obama off his game, and then he got he got all messed up. And then Obama stopped because he realized that the Chief Justice then uh, what flipped a couple of the words and was like, "No, that's not how it is, yeah. dummy." I saw it as uh, the Chief Justice uh, giving the first line out, Obama jumping the gun. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think he jumped the gun and and started repeating the Chief Justice before the Chief Justice was done with right. the first line that Obama was supposed to repeat. Right. And that just confused everybody. Right. And, then, and at that point, it fell apart. Which which just uh, proves uh, even to the last second, Obama was like, oh, my God, they could take this away from me any yeah. second. I better right. get this in. Because right. he, he rushed through it like Obama was, was bam, bam, bam. He wanted to get through it really quick. Yeah. <laughs> you know how that how depressing that's going to be for him? It's like, oh. There the big is. moment, and that's what they're going to show over and over again for, for, for decades to come. That was the me messing up. Arenthal James Simpson uh, verdict line. Arenthal, Arenthal. Yeah, we just talked about that. I know, what, last yeah. week, uh, people, you know, having that that moment, and they just mess it up. Yeah. Who? What was the last one? We just did this. It was a big one too. Wasn't it the Simpson verdict? Huh? No, I don't know. No, 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 no. It was recent. It was recent. It was something else. We're like, what happens to these people? They got Patterson, Governor huh? Patterson. Oh, Governor Patterson with the uh, the miracle on the Hudson. Miracle on 49th Street. He said. Yeah, miracle on 49th and Street. Then, oh, I mean, uh, uh, miracle on 34th Street. Here's how it went down. The oath. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. No. I, Barack Hussein Obama. I Barack. solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama. All right, all right. Cut it right there. Swear. Cut it right there. He goes, I, Barack Hussein Obama, 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 I can't even say it, do solemnly swear, mm -hmm. and that's what Obama was supposed to repeat. Mm -hmm. Obama started repeating his name first. Right. He just wanted it to stop at I, Barack Hussein Obama. Right. But the Chief Justice meant to go longer, right. and then they started stepping on us like us with stupid callers. Right. I thought, <laughs> I thought, he, I thought he actually forgot Obama for no. the last... The last, he just remembered, if you look at it, I thought Obama forgot the last part of the sentence that he was supposed yeah. to say, and he actually was looking at him like, he gave yeah. a nod, like, dude, you know, it repeat been, it, because I forgot the last part. You know what would have been classic? Mm. If Bar uh, Barack Hussein Obama would have turned around to the Chief Justice and gone, all right, well, you're the president, you go ahead, <laughs> you go ahead, just finish whenever you want. I guess this is your party, go I ahead. Guess it's all about you today. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone's here for you, I forgot. I'll just stand aside, whatever, you, you take the oath, why don't you? <laughs> it's good to know that they're panicky peeps, just like you oh, and I and everybody else out there. Everyone wants to jump the gun. You, you like to think these people are like superhumans, but in the end, nah, they took a fine dump in the morning oh, and became course. president at noon. Yeah. Uh, here's here it is again. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. Uh, well, I, I I don't think you are. After all this, nah. Right. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. I, Barack Hussein Obama, I do Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. This is very easy to find out. Then he screwed up. But just go through past inaugurations. Right, right. Do they, they stop do. right there, or does? Or is it, or is it that whole line? That's the, and, and are they all broken up at the same spot each time? Right. on every inauguration. Right, it just sucks that the big moment is is just blown. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. I, Barack Hussein Obama, I do Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute. The off faithfully the pres office of president <laughs> and then he of the office of the United States faithfully and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve protect and defend the Constitution of the United States preserve protect and defend the Constitution of the United States so help you God so help me God congratulations Mr. President is he is he the president I mean yeah what happened so one dopey news network and I and look I, I I hate them all I just want to get that out there I'm not a fan of Fox over CNN or MSN. I, I don't like any of them because yeah. they're still not giving you the real news. You know, they should have gave us uh, Ted Kennedy flopping around like a fish. <laughs> That's the type of guy I am. I want to I want to see news, whether it's it all. I want to see it all. If it's yeah. horrific, then show it. Yeah. Uh, but one of the news channels, I don't know which one, 
Well, d- well, I don't know. Is he really the president? I mean, if you mess up the oath like that, who was it? It was Fox. It was what is it? Yeah. They were oh. immediately saying, well, has he been properly sworn in? Is it legal? There could be some questions. <laughs> There's an amendment. On this. I-, I think it's the 20th that says that noon. at noon, no matter what, no right. matter what, yep. he's president. Yep. The oath is, you know, kind of a... Afterthought. Yeah, it's it's whatever it is. It's kind of a show thing. He was already president by the time he did. Who is this Jerry guy? Yeah, I, I got a, a guy I obviously not listening. Jerry, Jerry, what's Hello? up, man? Hey, Jerry from what's Connecticut. Up? How you doing? What's uh, what's the scoop? Well, the deal is is that you know, number one, the chief justice is the one that screwed up. That's well, no, 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 no. I would stick to what you called for. I see. Ant is an idiot. Go well, roll. With, all right, roll with that. What, why am I an idiot? Because you like, you know, Obama. You know, caused the stock market to go down. Obama didn't cause the stock market. To go. All right, unless you're unless any you're more kidding. Than Bush, then, then any more than Bush mm. did for the last. Jerry, all right, hold on, hold on. Unless you're kidding, um, you are a complete idiot who isn't listening to me. Did you hear what I said? What did what did I what did I say? What did I, did I say about Obama and the stock market mere minutes ago? You said that it's probably the banks. I didn't say it's probably. I said I'd love to blame Obama for the market, but it's not his fault. The financials took a dump yesterday, and that's why the stock market went down. So how is that me blaming Obama? Jerry, Connecticut, go. Because you have been blaming Obama for everything for the last... Did oh, I my... Ju- God. Jerry, we got to hang up Let me you. blame Obama for you. Look, there's reasons... you're an idiot. There's definitely a lot of reasons to yell at Anthony, but, I mean, Anthony... <laughs> Thank you. But Anthony <laughs> was... Not- Anthony did not blame, the, you know, the, the, the little uh, Holy slip Lord we had yesterday God, down there on Wall Street on Obama. Thanks, Jerry, though. Thank you. You, you, you reinforced uh, uh, something today that some of you idiots just don't listen. All right, the phones are lit, so we're going to take a quick break. I, I can't believe 20 minutes have gone by already. This is going to be a very, very busy show. We got uh, Kennedy okay after seizure. We got celebrity reaction to Obama inauguration. The first cut is hilarious. Oprah saying, I'm wearing men's pantyhose. <laughs> you got you got uh, Tom Brokaw. We played this late in the show yesterday. We'll give it another spin. He, well, so he, got his he had a major faux pas yesterday. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Uh, and we got um, man on the street stuff, and uh, just more stuff coming in as we speak. What's this? Hmm? George uh, Bush almost screws up his oath. The first Bush, really? Yeah, what the, the older same. Bush? Or yeah, the, the first same. Bush on the second uh, inauguration. No. I mean, the first Bush on the first inauguration. The second Bush on the first or second inauguration. George H. W. George Bush. H. W. Bush almost screwed up in the same spot. Herbert Weeble Wobble yeah. uh, Bush. <laughs> Did you see the way he was walking? <laughs> wah, 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 like the penguin. Right. There was... Wah, 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 wah. He just waddled back and forth with a cane. He just waddled. That's just so depressing. It's see, sad what, to watch. What sometimes. time does to these powerful people. Oh. Cheney looking like Dr. Strangelove or something up there. And, <laughs> and freaking Bush Sr. waddling around. And who looked like... Uh, what do they say? Uh, I care. All right, whatever. Uh, let me play this. That's called uh, punching out people. <laughs> repeat after me. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do uh, solemnly swear. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. So he almost did the Obama thing. So I guess uh, that that whole line is supposed that to be that first line. Just yeah, wait for him to wait for him to <laughs> pause. Jesus, these guys want to be president so bad. Yeah, you wait. How long is the campaign and the election and everything? We're talking two years. They've been going at it. Hey, yeah. Obama, relax for a couple of seconds. Let the guy. Yeah. Let the guy talk. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna step aside for a second here and continue with the Opie and Anthony show. Robert Kelly in studio. Yes. What am I vacationing, Jim Norton? Hi. No, he's uh, actually down in Miami. Miami for a couple of days, yeah. And now you can take off your coat and everything. Look at look at how thin you are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who was saying that? Was it Joe DeRosa that was really calling you a son of a bitch? Joe DeRosa called me a son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. yeah, he did. He was like because you, you bummed weight. out that I actually had shoulders. It was. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. Joe doesn't have shoulders. <laughs> he was all it, just like all of us. He's he pissed has to wear a turtleneck sweater <laughs> just so it stays on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're annoying everyone with your weight loss. Stop it already. But I'm also inspiring some of you ONA fat fans. I hope you turn anorexic. Do you? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Maybe I'll get an acting gig. Oh, thin. Your legs look like a little colt. <laughs> <laughs> little Colin Quinn ostrich legs. All right. Uh, right back to the phones after the break. Opie and Anthony starring Robert Kelly today. What's going on? I'm going to break something today. 
It's already broken. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't touch that one. Please fix our crap. That's the least you could do for this uh, fine radio show that you're fortunate enough to have in your company. Let's, fix our crap. Let's change America. It's gonna happen. It's gonna get fixed. Obama's president of that. Guess what? In the year 2009, CD players aren't supposed to weigh 50 pounds. 877-212-ONA. We'll go get back to the phones in a second. They just make it so much harder to do a radio show. Yeah. Get new shit in here. All right, Ann. Robert Kelly sitting in for Jim Norton. Plenty of uh, sweatpants on today. I'm I, I'm doing sweatpants now. Sweatpants? That's what you're doing now? Yeah. I, I, I would I would shower and, and put on clothes every morning. For what? For who? To see for these what? guys? I know. And then you're home by exactly. 11, 11, 15. No, one's, no one saw me, so why... I'm going to start coming in in my pajamas. This is just like the, the segue into PJs. Okay. I'm going to roll out of bed in my PJs and do this radio show. Yeah. I used to wake up and do the same thing, take a shower, get up like an hour and a half early. Yeah, I'm brushing my teeth and flossing and, and conditioning, and I'm like, why am I doing all this? It's bad <laughs> enough you get up so early. So I, I just put a little water on my face. got to brush the teeth still, obviously. Yeah. And then you roll out the door. Got the food pocket uh, fixed too. So what's the food oh, did pocket? You? Uh, That's where there's a little uh, pocket uh, where your tooth is, or in the gum, in your gum, and then food impacts in there and starts rotting. I used to like that when I was fat. Little snack happens in the day. <laughs> little suck out a little snack. Suck out a little pork. Oh, pork! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Um, hey, uh, so uh, we're talking about what happened yesterday. Everybody was watching TV for the most part. Um. What do you want to do now, Ant? That damn uh, city player messed up my rhythm. Let's see. We can go to... Well, we could start with this. The Tom Brokaw... Uh, um, no, that was from uh, yesterday, right? Yeah, but it's it's worth playing again. Tom Brokaw just had a an awful slip of the tongue. I understand it's live TV and all that, but this, this is a good one. This is a really good one. Yeah. You know, one of the things I've been watching is that uh, hats are back. Jack Kennedy... Uh, uh, ruined the hat industry in America by appearing headless, oh, not back. headless, but hatless <laughs> when, he, when he made his inaugural address. <laughs> <laughs> by appearing headless. Oh, boy, what a faux pas. <laughs> Showing that they probably should push him back into retirement. Wow. In the last, what, six to eight months, they, they've kind of brought him out of retirement. He's, he's more... seen more of him than uh, we did on NBC <laughs> Nightly News. Yeah, definitely. So that, that's a great slip up. If you're gonna slip up, that's a beautiful one right there. Not not quite as good as his tax cuts. No the one that no. he said one day, which we can't even play on the air. No, because cuts uh, just blatantly came out as something else. Yeah, one of the big atom bomb words. I wish I was smart right now. What? <laughs> oh my God! Cuts. Yeah, the it, c it word came out as the oh yeah, right. oh, yeah. oh yeah the word. Wait, we're allowed to play it, aren't we? No, we're not allowed to play it anymore. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Look, if if our audience but behaves, yeah. we will play Aretha Franklin, and we won't comment about how she sang "My Country." Yeah, yeah. Buh, buh. What's the next word? Tis of thee. Tis, Tis of thee. thee. She paused at the. I mean, you're supposed to sort of pause in the middle of country, but wow. Yeah, there's certain. Wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, there is kind of a pause there. So if everyone behaves, we'll just play it because it's part of history. Stunt brain, and we won't comment. And we'll just, you know, give people uh, a, a couple a uh, couple lines of Aretha Fr uh, Franklin singing yesterday. Okay, Aretha. Hey, there was another nice hat she was wearing, by the way. Dude, what was Aretha. that about? I don't know. It looked like there's something that should be on Ted Kennedy's head, <laughs> <laughs> keeping his brains in. <laughs> looks like wow, it looks like a bandage. <laughs> Had a big bow on it. <laughs> Anything to distract from the hugeness of her body. Unbelievable. Oof. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, speaking of Kennedy, they're saying he was flopping like a mother effer. Yeah. This wasn't a little seizure he had at the luncheon. Yeah, well he was he was out on the um he was out on the uh the Capitol uh what do they call that area anyway? The rotunda or something? No, that's the inside the little balcony. Oh yeah, the balcony. Right. I've been wherever on that they, balcony. Wherever they swear it went. Were you President Kelly? I was. I, I got a <laughs> tour of the uh, Capitol building, and I that would be impressive if if that was yesterday. Yeah, it was. 
You were there yesterday. Yes, that's why I yeah. wasn't available yeah. yesterday to come. I was <laughs> yeah, okay. there yesterday. All right, yeah. Sure. He was he was out there though uh, for the um, inauguration. Yep. And uh, then when they went in for the luncheon, uh, he he had a seizure, and uh, they ended up taking him to the hospital because of his brain. You know, they said because of fatigue. Yeah, the they fatigue said fatigue brought on the seizure. So he should be getting released today. They said, but they said, hey, that's just part of it. They had no, they had no answer. Like, well, we're going to do this or that. They just know. Eh, yeah. Send him home. What are you going to do? Yeah. But it was exhaustion. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about the. We were doing quick, well, quick we're, before you move on. Um, they didn't allow cameras in the luncheon, unfortunately, yeah. the first part, or that would have been on live TV. Like, holy crap! But when they finally allowed the cameras to go live. You could see it on everyone's faces that they just saw something horrific. Oh, yeah, yeah. They walked out, and uh, the news was interviewing some of the people that were in there <laughs> and asking, all right, well, what happened? He goes, well, he had a, a, an episode, and uh, he was taken away uh, to the hospital. And then uh, the, the news was asking, well, what happened? Could you describe what happened? And there was a pause. I don't remember who they were asking, but there was a pause, and then the guy just goes, no, I, uh, I won't comment on that. So obviously it wasn't just him kind of teetering over in his seat and oh let's help him. He was doing the worm <laughs> yeah. on the floor. A little bit softer now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is it true that the Obama kids jumped on Ted because they thought it was one of those little? Uh, oh no! What do they call outside the supermarket? Oh, you put yeah. a couple quarters in and have those a little, little ride. <laughs> oh, it's the Ted Kennedy ride for the kids. Oh. That was very nice of them to do that. Oh, so those kids had to be bored by that point. And then someone else got scared. Uh, Senator Byrd. Yeah, Senator Robert Byrd. Byrd. He got scared like a little bird, and uh, he, he was asked to uh, be taken to the hospital. Well, when you're his age, how old is Byrd? 91. 91, you know. <laughs> you see someone flopping on the floor, you're like, ah, before that happens, maybe I should get out of here. Or that could, um, yeah, make you go into some kind of, uh, you know, <clears throat> yeah, heart attack mode seizure. or something. Seizure. He had his little seizure. Here's another reporter messing up yesterday. So a message of inclusiveness really resonating here in Freedom Plaza, so named uh, because Dr. King, Martin Luther King Jr., actually wrote part of his I Dream is uh, I, uh, I'm sorry, he wrote part of his I Have a Dream speech nearby at the uh, Willard Hotel. Pardon me, it's been a long uh, morning so far, Wolf, but uh, certainly despite the uh, brain freeze here, a lot of people very enthusiastic. Kevin from Connecticut. Uh, I didn't know Kevin from Connecticut was down there yesterday. He writes, uh, Ted Kennedy still has my wallet in his mouth. And all uh, oh. Kevin is asking for is his wallet back. <laughs> is that what you're supposed to do when someone sees having a seizure? I don't know, a spoon still, or a wallet? Or... Still has Kennedy's teeth in it. <laughs> Just an unbelievable day, though, man. Oh. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Dave in Jersey. Dave. How you doing, guys? Pretty good, Dave. Hey, I know you guys aren't talking about this anymore, but uh, I'm a long-time listener. I love you guys. But, uh, Anthony, you know, 99% of the things you say I agree with. The only problem I have is today how you're saying black people need to do this. Black people need to get their, you know, house in order. Now, obviously, it's not all black people. There's a lot of upstanding black people out there. If you go to trailer parks, there's just as many white trash scum, you know, <laughs> that mommy and daddy are actually brother and sister, you know, with 17, uh, uh, you know, elephant kids, you know, living off government cheese. I mean, mm -hmm. there's as many white trash as there is, you know, drug dealers and all. <clears throat> white trash is different. White trash um, is different than black trash, I guess. <laughs> what do you want to call it? You know, it's black. just, it's just that, no, white trash, black trash, whatever you want to call it. Obama's president, I could speak my mind like that. Obama president now. What am I saying bad? What am I saying bad? What is the difference? What is the difference? What is the difference? Up here? I've walked through trailer parks unscathed. I cannot walk through certain neighborhoods that are uh, predominantly black unscathed. That's because you look like a meth dealer. <laughs> All right. Sorry, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, Patrice can walk through a Harlem unscathed too, but he, you know. And he could probably walk through a trailer park too. Unscathed? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But it might be your color, though. Just go out. I'm just saying. You're just one of them. Look, it's color-wise when you're walking through, uh, like, a trailer park. Obama, that's Obama said the same goddamn thing I said yesterday. He said last night. It's time to get to work. Mm -hmm. Get your families together. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, and, and make something of yourself. 
and you know he's addressing uh, uh, everybody. I know that, but it's also there's a dis disproportionate number, my friend. Ten percent of the the American population, maybe eleven, is African American. The rest are white, and you see, um, you know, fifty percent uh, prison uh, rate amongst whites, uh, uh, whites against blacks, or not even whites against blacks. It's you know, blacks, Hispanics, you know, then you get a few poor white stupid guys in prison. <laughs> but you know, it's it's a disproportionate number, is what I'm saying. That's what I was saying. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you think that the media and uh, Hollywood today, the movies that come out, are contributing to the fact that we're so separate as whites on one side, blacks on the other side? No, security cameras are. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I, I, I've been through. Watch, watch the first 48. Watch a marathon of first 48. It's a show about detectives all over the country that um, from the time there's a murder committed, uh, to the time uh, 48 hours goes by, they have to try to solve the murder because once the first 48 goes by, it's very hard to find out who did it. 99% um, of these cases are black-on-black -black crime. 99%. The rest is black-on-white, and then a very small part is white-on-white. -white. I think I saw one episode where it's white-on-white. -white. There's a huge problem with black-on-black -black violence. Uh that I think should be addressed more than you know anything I was saying. It's the way you know it's the way, why I, it's the truth. Look at what's I, going on in the world. Why can't you know, I'm not speaking, thanks, Dave. I'm not Thank speaking. you, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Out my hole over here. I, I'm just saying what I want to say on a daily basis. Thanks, Dave. And Obama's saying <laughs> transcend that. Thank you, Dave. And and a lot of black leaders were saying perhaps uh. Obama. Being president and working himself up like he did will inspire some of these people that would normally uh, uh, be driven into a life of crime. I'd love to see it. I watched the whole biography on Obama and uh, how he worked himself up. And uh, just amazing. Mm -hmm. The dedication and hard work this guy put in uh, to go to Harvard Law School was astounding. You know? It really was. I, I, I completely have respect for the guy when, when it comes to that. I don't agree with his policies worth a damn, but uh, but that's what he's talking about. If you look at the, the work that went into that and the dedication, it is true. Anyone could do it. You make a decision at a young age like he did, instead of, you know, slinging dope or, or trying to impress your friggin' uh, 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 the, the gangbangers in your hood by, by uh, nailing someone, uh, you can actually make something of yourself in this country. It's not so entrenched in racism anymore where a black person cannot make it to the pinnacle of the free world the presidency there you go so i don't want to hear it all right yeah but make it shut up bob oh my the god presidency we... is is like becoming famous it's just it's like 10 percent. no it isn't he yeah. could have been a basketball star then what you're saying that's just as big as the american public voting yeah, you but, in yeah but, it's not an mtv movie award yeah but he got voted in not be because of who he is as a person i mean watch american idol dude There's color had a lot a to do a billion with it. people that color had a lot to do with it what getting voted in yes it was a perfect storm though man the yeah. Republicans yeah, you're right. had yeah. nobody, and then they yeah. they yeah. they take Sarah Palin to really f up their chances. Yeah, it was a perfect storm. And and, and, and I just it, say all bets. And are there was an, a woman. It was either a woman or a black guy. All bets are off. All right, Everybody, let's get back to the, everyone can succeed in this country. It's an amazing place. Let's get back to the fun. That's not true. They're still it's, talking it's, about that's the, not true. It is too. Oh. Who, you're an idiot. Who who can? There's certain people that can't. But not because of the country, but because of who they are. Most people are morons. Oh, I'm not talking about the morons. I'm talking about if you're a motivated, intelligent person in this country, you have a shot. You have a good chance of, of making something of yourself, dedication, instead of trying to take a quick way out and not taking that job that might get you a few bucks to work your way to the next level and thinking, you know, you got to sling dope so you're making uh, a fortune every day because you're too good to uh, work at some crap job and make money and then go to the next level. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but we need ditch diggers. I mean, world needs ditch diggers too, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm sure that well, that's why we allow the, again. That's why we allow the illegals to come into this country. Who are you kidding? <laughs> it's a fact. Oh. Yeah. They do everything that we don't want to do. They were been said many times in many workers, different ways. Yes. Uh, people still talking about uh, Ted Kennedy. Now, Ann, you know a little bit yeah. about history. Uh, this person, and it's, it's a good line. But uh, if you're going to 
feedback from cell phones. You got to put your name in there so you get a little credit. This guy writes, that's because his father, this is why uh, Ted Kennedy had a seizure. Oh. That's because his father punished him for being there. Joe Kennedy was a blatant racist. Is that true, Anthony? Uh, was Ted I, Kennedy's father a racist? I don't know about racist. I know uh, he had some um, socialist ties. They were a little afraid of, mm. uh, of him being a socialist. But right. racist, um, I don't know. All right. I'll tell you about Disney. You know, he was a blazing anti-Semite. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. And then Cody in Utah, maybe Ted Kennedy was just trying to show off his hip-hop dance moves to Obama. Uh, it's like old school break dancing. <laughs> Did they put a piece of cardboard out for him? <laughs> I think Obama's, Obama's sitting up there going, wow, that's very nice of Ted to do a little old school uh, street hip-hop stuff for us. Oh, uh, the cunning linguist is saying Joe Kennedy was not a racist, just ask his slaves. All right. Well, uh, that uh, all right. was uncalled for on this uh, second day. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then uh, Austin from Austin, Texas, Texas, excuse me, says CNN sure talked a lot about Obama's balls last night. Yes, he went. I was watching Obama's balls all night long. Uh, a lot of them. Right. Ten of them, I believe. Right. And because everyone's behaving. Mm hmm. I thought one of the fine behaving. moments. It's nothing but me getting bashed. I know. Right. Don't look over there. <laughs> behaving. I'm trying to keep it fun for a little while, and then we'll. Uh, and then we'll sons of bitch. I don't care. I love him. And then we'll get uh, bash me on this. <laughs> An outrageous Anthony a little later, uh, because everyone's behaving, and it was such a fine moment when Aretha Franklin came out there, wasn't it? I just want to play a line or two from uh, the fine song she sang for everybody All right. yesterday. <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> no offense, Aretha. We really don't need to know anything about that. Wow. Probably taking a pause because she was had to take a bite of a steak and cheese in between sentences. <laughs> Boy, that was a hell of a... A pause. hell of a breath. <laughs> One of the greatest pauses in history right there. Oh, you just don't take a breath in that spot. Ew, you're not supposed to. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And can't take criticism. Black yeah. History Month needs to show more black people like Obama, not just entertainers. And needs to lose voice more. Let's him explain uh, points in calmer fashion. Oh, okay. That's true. And sounds like a retard. Movies and TV reinforce stereotypes well what about the good uh tv yeah what about the good what about TV? the good movies what about the good stuff yeah what about what that? about those what about those insightful movies uh where um the white teacher comes in and cleans up the black classroom isn't that inspiring why don't people go yeah that's good i'm gonna do that instead of just laughing at those movies for the drivel they are it, movies and tv are reflections of the world they don't influence the, uh, the world. Some people have influence. Yeah, some people are influenced by a pinwheel dummy. Uh, but as far as TV and and other entertainment media uh, um, co uh, contributing to people's uh, actions, stop it. It's a reflection. People make movies about things that are happening. The other things are called science fiction. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> it's science fiction or reality. What do you think? Uh, I, I sit down and watch Menace to Society mm -hmm. or Boys in the Hood and don't think that wasn't happening at the time those movies came out? People saw it and went, wow, I'll invent this crack stuff and start selling it and do drive-bys. No. It was a reflection of what was happening in South Central at the time. Ugh. Robert Kelly sitting in for Jim Norton today. <laughs> Phone number 877-212-ONA. <laughs> Love Bobby. Also, uh, it, it's been blowing up the last couple of days. want to say hi to everyone on Twitter. Are you doing the Twitter yet, Ant? I'm Facebooking it, my friend. That's all right. We're all you're Twittering. That's nice. I like checking in. See what's up. I'm doing the face. We're all. We're all, We got everything covered. You got yeah. the Pal Talk covered. You got the Facebook uh, covered. Jimmy, MySpace. Jimmy's doing the MySpace and the voicemails. I do. I do all four. You're doing all four. I, I, I can't. I, be, you I have four. say. I have say now too, which is the what's say that? What? Which is the phone number you can uh, all right. have your own phone number. But I just started tweeting. I have 300 friends. I like Twitter yeah. because for me it's very simple and easy. It's easy. You do it's it extremely easy. Facebook's easy on the phone too, so I could yeah. do it. I could yeah. do it on my iPhone. A little texting and a little uh, picture taken. And that's that's all You're I in. need. What do you mean? That's you all pick, I need. You can put pictures on this. I ain't explaining that oh, one to yeah. you. Oh yeah. What do you? You can put a picture. I'm not gonna explain that to you. Why? I'm you a go, Twitter too. This yeah. is opening up another whole 
world of, of intercommunication between uh, uh, people on the whole planet. Yeah. Things like Twitter and Facebook and yeah. other where, medium where uh, the phones now, it, it's so easy to snap a picture, upload it, comment. Mm -hmm. Where That's where the news is getting a lot of their breaking stories from now. I was breaking news yesterday on Twitter for my peeps. Was he? For my eyeballs. I got a lot of eyeballs. The peepers. They're called eyeballs out there. <laughs> I'm learning about the Internet, finally, in the year 2009. <laughs> 2009. I'm, I'm collecting eyeballs. That's the, the new term. How many eyeballs you got? <laughs> what if some of these guys that are following me only have one eyeball? Oh, How do you on. count the eyeballs? <laughs> but I got eyeballs. And I was like, uh, instead of CNN, I was ONN yesterday. I broke the news oh, of uh, Ted Kennedy. You did? And I even threw a little uh, Pat from Minocchi line out there for everybody. I saw that one. That was very funny. <laughs> but I didn't know how to do the... <laughs> <laughs> how do you spell... <laughs> <laughs> when you're texting. F and M and F and then some H's. M R F F. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's people saying hack. I'm like, yeah, that's why I said in Pat Minocchi, it only works if you do it as a Pat... Min Pat from Minocchi gets away with a lot of those hacky lines because of his... F in delivery. Could the governor of New York Twitter? Oh wow! <laughs> or can you? Do you need the the good eyeballs? Yeah, if he's if he's listening, I don't need you to follow me because I can't count your eyeballs. <laughs> he can't count his eyeballs. It's all about counting eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not telling you how do you how you do that picture thing. But this Why? Twitter thing is very easy for me. I like this. Yeah, but you can't. You can't. I don't get replies. I like Facebook because you put something up there. Two seconds later, you see everything that. Oh, yeah, but yeah. you said about you it. You get replies if you if you say or do I have to or follow? do something interesting. Do I have to follow everybody? To I don't follow doing? crap. You don't follow anybody. I, it's too hard. Everybody follows you. There's a well, uh, yeah, because it's just for the show. I just like comment about the show and stuff. Yeah. I can't follow. One I, way. I'm, this is why nobody can be assassinated anymore. There's just too much stuff. Imagine they had this, like, on the grassy knoll, Twitter and Facebook and oh, like, iPhones. Like they, they, you, you'd find out who did everything. Oh, you'd have, yeah, yeah, you'd have one of those CNA, CNN 3D views of yeah. That was guys. an interesting thing, too, uh, this inauguration, watching uh, him go to the, and dancing with his wife on stage. And you, you would see the, the back of the crowd shot and just everyone holding that up was their crazy, phones. crazy, right? It looked like some weird alien way to it, show your appreciation. But it, it messed up Jay-Z's rap at the end where he's like, hold your lighters up because nobody had lighters. Had lighters? Had, they had cell phones. Well, like the, cell phones. Yeah, but if you've been to a concert lately, it's all about just holding your cell phone yeah. up and showing the light that way now. Or yeah. your app of you know flame on your <laughs> iPhone and, and you can hold up a little lighter flame. Speaking of phones, you, you were saying how everyone, this is how people are communicating. I was thinking just yesterday that uh, especially the younger demos, once again, they don't make phone calls anymore with their phone. No. They're texting their, their asses off or updating their Facebook or I hate what have you. Calls. But, but, yeah. But, I, I mean, because I hang out with the Philly crew Sexting. and stuff. These guys, yeah, these guys do not make phone calls no. with their, with their cell phones. It's all about, oh, well, I'm, I'm here. I'm, it's all just texting away. Yeah. So, the, I mean, is it possible that your actual cell phone won't be used to take phone calls anymore? Isn't that odd? That's yeah, a question. Just texting. You'll take the rare phone call, I guess. You know what? When you could send pictures and text, uh, why bother talking? Right. It's like, hey, here's what's going on. Well, you know what's going to change. Doing? The uh, video. What they got the video, live video phone coming. Up. Yeah, yeah. That's going to change. That starts it. happening. You right. can answer the phone and actually see somebody. Right. Sex is going to change. Ugh. Well, of course it'll be used for. It already is video conference. All right. For that. We got to take a break. Uh, speaking of Twitter, uh, and people laugh at me. Twitter, no one uses that. They're using Facebook. Look, man, the ONA community like jumped on Twitter the last couple of days. So we'll we'll try to make it into something. Uh, someone took Opie. Whoever you are, you're an ass. So I'm Opie Radio on Twitter. I call him out. I write him back and say, dude, what thanks for doing? holding my spot. Yeah, what are you doing? Now leave. Give me my stupid name back. It's either that name is either for me. Or Ron Howard, not you. That's <laughs> it. And, and even Ron Howard, when I met him, goes, wow, I know of you because, you know. Do you think it goes in that order, you and Ron Howard? Or do you think <laughs> no, if it's Ron, still Ron Howard, Howard had it? If Ron Howard had it, would you be, hey, Ron, come on, I'm OP. Look, I could ask for my name from everybody out there. The only person that could ask me for <laughs> OP is Ron Howard. Ron. That's how it works, right? When you think. I'm calling you up and asking, can I have my Twitter name, please? <laughs> I'm the second most popular opie in the world of course all right and somebody has my name on twitter you're you're <laughs> not you're not ron howard or me give me my effing name back until ron howard wants it <laughs> but it's opie radio on twitter and i think robert kelly's on there as what 
So uh, your name is too complicated. Because uh, Comedy Central set the Twitter. Well, thing they're up stupid. For me. And uh, That's I'm going to change Central. it. It's uh, R under slash Kelly. I know it does suck. And Ant, your Facebook is slash. very obvious. It's just, yeah, Anthony Cumia. Yeah, that's too much updating. I think, I think I'm your friend. Right. No, I like that. You are my friend. Aww. It's, uh, it's not updating like it is, though, on uh, on uh, MySpace, where you know you got to update and stuff like that. And it's a lot easier interface to pop video up and pictures and uh, yeah. reply to people. And you don't even have to reply. You can just pop up whatever statements you want. Right. Uh, <laughs> but I like getting into it. Love you guys. We're fun. just ignoring stunt brain. At all. I know. His arms are flailing. flailing. Like, break, break. Facebook. Break. We lost a lot more hair just tr trying to get us to go to break. <laughs> got one of those uh, Rogan uh, things coming up for coming everybody. Up. Coming up. All right. Uh, when we get back, we got to talk about Obama getting out of the beast. That's the name of his uh, limo, oh, presidential limo. We got to talk I, about but the things you say and the things that it makes me think. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk about the uh, the transfer of power yes. that happened with the peaceful transfer of power. with Bush uh, just getting out of town immediately. But that happens with every president. Ridden out on a rail, though. Oof. They uh, we'll get into Not that. A fond farewell for him. <laughs> we'll get into the balls and uh, there was something. Oh, the poet. Poetry stinks. Why is that a part of it? Yeah, we'll talk. Poetry about that. does stink. Opie and Anthony, Robert Kelly. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Stephen S. from Bayshore. I heard that Kennedy did not have a seizure yesterday. It was just Aretha uh, stepping on his his head to try to get to the buffet. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not nice. Wah, 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 wah. Phone number 877-212-ONA. All right, what else you want to talk about as far as yesterday goes? Well, it was a uh, a huge day. Uh, uh, Obama inaugurated, then all the the balls they went to. Uh, but like I said, no no criticism uh, at all from the, the media. Not even from um, that that minister guy or whatever he was. That, that at the end of the uh, inauguration, the black guy that got up there and um, made his little rhymes, mm -hmm. made his little nursery rhyme, that well, got yeah. everybody chuckling right up until the last part, where again Whitey has to be blamed. It was it was kind of fun to have a Dr. Seuss uh, poem to end the whole Dr. thing. Dr. Seuss poem. I hate poetry. I hate poets. Well, the poetry, the the one that did the all poem that crap was horrid. Well, she was. She, I, I don't. I, I don't understand uh, poetry. Call me a moron. Uh, you Please. know what? I would love to, but no. I'm right there with. You. I, I thank you. Remember in school they would like they would send you down that road for a little while and you had to read poetry. And yeah. It's like who would bother with this crap? Awful. And then the, the woman gets up there and st in this, I don't know what kind of cadence she was using either. Elizabeth Alexander. It was called annoying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she's just going off and saying these things. I. I Nothing's rhyming. Something about a kid on the bus. Nothing's rhyming. Nothing rhyming. <laughs> I don't know what the hell she's talking about. It's, that's the worst poetry. The ones that, like, deaf poetry jam when they just, that nothing rhymes. How about the, this? But they're making such a point to themselves. Right. right. How about poems that are so effing vague? It's like, do you want to give me a clue what you're trying to say here with your dumb poem? Yeah. What was the Maya Angelou with the bird and what? What are you uh, trying to say? What? I know. I know why the caged bird sings. I know why the caged bird sings. Um, okay. It's a bird. It's in a cage in your house, and it won't shut up when you're on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you give it a Brazilian nut. <laughs> yeah, a Brazilian nut. <laughs> it just takes that big stupid beak, gnaws at it for a while. You know, we don't, stupid birds. We don't see we don't see uh, eye to eye as far as this Obama thing goes in general. But I gotta agree with you on one thing, it, like Obama is trying really hard to say, like you know, look, it's it's just America at this point. Stop with like African American and yeah. stop with Green American and stop with Purple American. It's just America. But it's these these fringe people that are still yeah. going with the whole race thing because they need their gigs. Don't they understand? Like like people don't seem to understand. They need racial um, inequality, uh, or at least the perception thereof. They need it to keep their job. And they're the ones that are going to F up the whole freaking thing because people that are trying to have an open mind out there will hear one of these guys, because you were saying the office, and I saw this too, and I don't know who it oh, was. Oh, by the way, I'm one of those guys. 
What? <laughs> what, open mind guy? No. Hell no. No, no, I'm one of those guys. Hell no. I keep perpetuating this crap. But, but there, was, <laughs> there was one guy saying, well, this is, a, this is a good start. It's like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. If you're trying to get people with open minds to kind of get into this whole movement that Obama's hoping uh -huh. to happen... You got to stop with that rhetoric because that's going to shut people down immediately. This was a community activist that was saying it's a good start. Now, and he even like shushed the reporter, like, wait, 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 because like hasn't Dr. Martin Luther King's dream been realized here today? They they kept you know, right, right. doing that. It's a and, very good moment, and yeah. then and then you get these fringe people go, well, hey, hey, like, wait, 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 no, hey. it's a good start, but there's so much work that needs to be done. What ruler of the world? The guy's the president of the United States. Jesus, enough. Enough of the good start. If that's a start, I hate to see the finish because <laughs> I, I think it's my head on a pike. <laughs> it's you with a with a with a scar on with your a forehead. scar on my head. You cut out his brain. That's what it is. Bunch of lobotomized me's. But do we have that guy that the poet talks about race after Obama's uh, swearing in? Was yeah. this the chick or the dude? This is the dude. The this is the Dr. Seuss thing that Dr. I heard. Dr. Seuss dude. And even Obama was smiling during this because he he's rhyming different races and you know uh, uh, how it applies to. Um, America, uh -huh. and then uh, Whitey was the last one, and of course, uh, all right, let's take a know, listen to this. We can't be involved in the fun part of the rhyme. Well, this was the end of a five-minute invocation he gave it after the swearing in. This right. Reverend five-minute invocation. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the way, uh, Mick in New York, I agree with you. He writes the poem didn't even rhyme. No, but see, there's. I think if it doesn't rhyme, it shouldn't be a poem. It's not a poem. And not this one that this guy gave, the one that the woman gave. Just no, poems in general. Yeah. Like there's a, there was a whole movement where you got a, away from rhyming, and they're still considered poems. Not in my world. It's not a poem. That's Roses not. are red, violets are blue. You wrote a story that makes no sense. Yeah. That's what a poem is that doesn't rhyme. Yeah. It's a nonsensical story. Yeah. Third graders could do that. It's yeah. a third grade story. Yeah. You're as smart as a third grader, but you say it's a poem, then you're brilliant. I went to the zoo. The zoo is fun. Right. My daddy works on airplanes. Right. <laughs> Why? Who cares? Sorry. Right. Kid. Maya Angelou. <laughs> <laughs> and in the joy of a new beginning, mm -hmm. we ask you to help us work for that day when black will not be asked to give back. Black was not black asked. will not be asked to give back? To get back, meaning what? get back. Back of the bus, son. I thought it said give back. I think it was get back. We'll get have to back. listen again. And in the joy of a new beginning, we ask you to help us work for that day when black will not be asked to get back. To get, oh, get back? Get or give. I don't know. Yeah, I'm Either way, second. it doesn't make any goddamn sense at all because no one's asking blacks to get right. back. One more try. And in the joy of a new beginning, we ask you to help us work for that day when black will not be asked to get him back. I think he, he says get both. Him and he get says both. Both. Get at the same time. Yeah. Maybe that's part of his get his, his, his back. His genius. Ugh. <laughs> the hell was he saying? I like rhymes. <laughs> it's Grady from Sanford and Son. No <laughs> <laughs> friend. <sighs> when Brown can oh. stick around. <laughs> Brown can stick around. I guess that's um, what illegal aliens, um, Mexicans, uh, oh. illegal aliens oh, when they I can when you. they can stay here instead of uh, you know the INS maybe sending them back to the country that they illegally came here from. Jesus, mother of God. Mm. Brown can stick around when yellow will be mellow. Yellow will be mellow. Wow, he doesn't like yella. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't really try to do anything with yella. Yella and mella. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't even he know what he's talking about. He wants the Asians to relax a little bit on the duck sauce request. Yeah, what, <laughs> just, just, just relax. Just mella out. Yeah, stop being stingy with that crap. <laughs> why, why do you treat it like gold? I feel sorry for your mother. <laughs> Such a great line yeah. in the movie. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Oh, what does what does yella and mella mean? 
That's lame, man. Well, they call is, it is he referring to the tension in the, uh, the, in the community story. between some of the Asian store owners and some of the uh, residents? Because uh, there have been tensions. Right. There has been tensions yeah. between Asians and blacks in, uh, in convenience stores because Asians run a lot of the stores in the black communities, mm -hmm. and uh, they feel like you know they're just draining the uh, community of the money. So maybe that's the yellow being mellow. Right. Corey Haim checking in. Listen to the words, man. <laughs> That's a Jim Norton bit, and I never I forgot that one. That's so good. <laughs> Listen to the words. I think I actually uh, <coughs> was the inspiration for that uh, that little bit of his, because we were driving to Boston, and I had Nirvana unplugged on, and uh, he didn't really know much about Nirvana, and I'm like, no, man, listen to the words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and an illustrated book about birds. <laughs> For my Nirvana fans. Brown, when Yella will be Mella. Yella would be Mella. And everyone's kind of laughing and chuckling along. And Obama's got his head back, his eyes shut. Yeah. And he's smiling with each one of these little rhymes. Mm -hmm. And you could see on the last one, oh. when, when he brings up Whitey, his smile went down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little. He wanted to look like, look, I'm not, I'm not, not smiling. Yeah. I'm not smiling as much as Mella Yella. <laughs> which he found funny. Yeah. And Brown stick around. Right. By the way, when Brown sticks around, sometimes you got to get the brush out from next to the toilet because it's so <laughs> embarrassing. Whoa! You ever do that? It's like no matter how many times you flush, it's like, what is this, glue? Scrub, yeah. scrub, 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 you try to unroll toilet paper and place it strategically so when you brush, the toilet paper will hit it on the side of the bowl? No. You just wait till you have to go again and you try to clean it off? <laughs> right. Clean it off with a number one. Yeah, number one. Oh, yeah. It takes out the number two. Yeah. <laughs> one beats two. It's like rock, paper, scissors <laughs> on you, the toilet. You have to hold it and build up a lot of pressure so that yes. first blast just goes <laughs> And it peels up a little bit of it. Uh, we're awful, man. Uh, <laughs> it should be said, too. Obama, he's a young dude. But, <laughs> Again, you scared me. But he is, <laughs> he's a square, like the rest of these guys. Uh, he dances. Yeah. He dances, dances horrendously. Uh-huh. Oh, his wife was actually giving him crap. He doesn't know what's funny, Kept stepping really. on a dress. Yeah. Yeah, it was awful. The he's, guy didn't have time to learn how to dance or, or get a sense of humor. I was watching that biography. This guy started. Was he so young for all this? And just no, he's pretty self-made as far as yeah. But his deciding. mama, his mama, he was in Indonesia and and insisted he comes back to Hawaii and goes to like one of the finest like uh, high schools in America. Yeah, it was yeah. Hawaii though, which is he but, really did. Um, you know, he 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 had the motivation though. I mean, you decide you're going to go to. Uh, he was a community activist in uh, uh, Chicago, uh -huh. and then uh, he uh, gets an internship uh, at a law firm. That's where he meets his wife, and um, then uh, goes, to, goes to Harvard Law. Yeah, but he was in college. Besides when he, he was, was a community activist that, that a lot of the problems that he saw were legal-based, so he decided he was going to take care of that by becoming a lawyer. And then uh, well, what, what's that Harvard Law uh, Journal? Um, he was the first president. Uh, African American president of that, mm -hmm. uh, which is very competitive, and then he decides, you know, he's going to run for office. Although the last seat he won before the presidency, wow, what a debacle that was! His Democratic contender was involved in some kind of shady deal of beating his wife, and then um, when he was up against his Republican friend, <laughs> that's the guy that took his wife to the sex clubs. <laughs> oh, really? Like, this guy was a shoe in; he couldn't lose. His his competitors. We're just pieces of crap. What's going on in Chicago? Corruption They're, up the yin yang. They are some shady people. Well, let's get back to the poem. Yes, the poem. The poem. The good part. All right, all right we continue. The uh, beer we have, it drank pretty good. Budweiser. <laughs> uh, what's the name of some of them other beer? Budweiser and what is it? Miller. Miller. Soda. <laughs> it drank pretty good, don't it? I don't remember see, that. See. Now, that angered me because <laughs> it eliminated so many good beers. Right. <laughs> it's exclusion. You're segregating great beer. <laughs> right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it drink pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> this poem read pretty good. What's some of those other poems? Good luck with that one, Danny. And then... Um, Robert Frog. <laughs> Robert Frog. <laughs> Robert Frog. Some of the um, Emily Dickinson. Some of the old school um, 
white Republicans were even taken with uh, Obama's uh, speech. You use your tongue prettier than a $20 whore. <laughs> so, <laughs> and no one really caught this. Yeah, well, right at the end uh -huh. of the swearing in, I, I boosted the level. Yeah, okay, good. Obama said this right as he was shaking uh, hands. Uh, I boosted the level on this. Okay, okay, good, good. Hey, where are the white women at? <laughs> so, motivation there to be president, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a couple here that really got screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ted Kennedy was a, uh, very confused because you know the brain seizure thing. And was he? Yeah, he, he turned to his right and said, "Why are we here?" The Negro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Might have been a stretch, but I liked it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, when Ted Kennedy was flopping around at that luncheon, uh, Anthony, yeah. there was audio there. Thank God. Yeah. You're going to be okay. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you, as a matter of fact, Obi, you were talking about when uh, George W. Bush mm -hmm. and Obama were talking. On the stairs. On the stairs. You were wondering what they were saying to each other. Yeah, the transfer of power. The transfer of power. And a lot of people are very curious, and we may never know. But we will. Okay. Because uh, actually it was George W. inviting right. Obama over to his place in Texas. Sure. How would you like to mow my lawn, <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Bill Clinton was there. Oh, was he? He was up on, we don't know what it was, where, where uh, Obama was being sworn in. There was a lot of, lot of chatter and, like, small talk going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he leaned over to Mondale, Walter Mondale, who was also up there, and had this to say. And the mics picked it up. The Opie and Anthony mics. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm a bad boy, yeah. Uh, well, of course you are. <laughs> yeah, well. Here's uh, the luncheon. And uh, I think you might be able to hear in the background mm -hmm. um, what happened with Ted Kennedy. Sure. <laughs> 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 I love you. <laughs> I, see, that doesn't sound very good. No. You know, uh, John McCain was also at this thing. Andy. Yes, I saw him. Uh, we really haven't heard from John McCain since the election. And he well, was up there, and our Opie and Anthony microphones picked up a little something he was saying. Just Opie before, and Anthony microphones? Yeah, there? we're calling them the Opie and Anthony microphones. Uh, you know, and uh, the, our mics picked this up just before the swearing in of Obama as president. Ah. I hate this place. <laughs> Nothing works here. The medications don't work. I've been here for seven years. Nothing works here. I hate this place. Nothing works here. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, and uh, uh, when hearing that, Ted Kennedy had this to say. I like turtles. Well, that's oh, good, Mr. Mr. Ted. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and... Uh, and Bush uh, was getting on the helicopter. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A few yeah. people were um, saying some things. Uh, Damn! <laughs> you just been pwned! You know, Aretha Franklin, she yeah, was Aretha. walking out and she was about to sing uh, a wonderful rendition of My Country, Tis Thee. You're right. And our uh, microphones picked this up. I love the garlic butter sauce! Well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anderson Cooper... Oh, Anderson oh. Cooper, he was fawning over Obama. He sure was, Anthony. And uh, just before they went live, uh, Cooper wasn't didn't realize, you know, that uh, he was live. Uh huh. I love you, Johnny Cakes. Yeah, well, oh, not a, not a time to say that, Mister Cooper. Yeah, I want a button. Uh, what? I want a button. I want some buttons. I don't have buttons. This is uh, wow. This is one of the people. Well, of course, it was a very diverse crowd. Yeah, a lot of white people. Sure, uh, black people just all there for Obama. But uh, a couple of the white people, uh, especially this guy, a little confused uh, when he. I think it was the first time he actually saw Obama. Okay. Yeah, for some reason or another, you sound a little taller on radio. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people tell me, take your time setting this up, Ant. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, we're, we're doing this on the fly. Give us a break here. Mm. Uh. Let me see. 
<laughs> well, we could go to break and really set this up nice. <sighs> All right, we're going to get to the rest of the poem after the break. And uh, The Daily Show was uh, commenting on the rhyming of the poem as well. So oh, yeah. we might be on the same page as The Daily Show. That would be nice. Yeah. I respect that show big time. John Stewart and the gang. 877-212-ONA, uh, audience participation day. Still lots to talk about about the the coverage we saw on TV yesterday, okay? Robert Kelly, you promoting anything? Uh, just this. <laughs> you ass. <laughs> I have a sound machine, too, Opie. <laughs> it just makes Yeah, but you hit the microphone, sound. which just made everything vibrate so we couldn't hear your sound machine. Bobby, go like this first. What? Hold the mic for a second, and the, and the vibrating will stop. And then we could hear your sound machine. I have no. a sound machine. Hold the springs. Oh, my God. The springs are good. I'm going to be in Chicago in February. Ooh. <laughs> that was my sound machine. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, we're back. We'll be an Anthony show. Uh, wow. We got so many sounds from the... Uh, well, inauguration, all the the parties, the uh, the luncheon, a lot of things that the news kind of just. Well, I got to tell you, we're over. everywhere. You know, it's 2009. We're uh, we're very into new media, and yeah. really interacting with uh, with everything that's going on out there. So oh, our microphones absolutely. were everywhere, Anthony. The Opie and Anthony microphones. Yes. Yes. Everywhere. And um, well, why don't we go? What we were uh, talking about earlier the um, the poem mm -hmm. uh, delivered at the end of the uh, inauguration. Um, this uh, touched a lot of people, I think. It's easy to grin when your ship comes in and you've got the stock market beat. <laughs> but the man worthwhile is the man who can smile when his shorts are too tight in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wonderful moment yesterday. Oh. <laughs> okay, Pookie. Yeah. And then Pookie Chris in the boat. Well, of course. Uh, Anthony... <laughs> Uh, you know, of course, everyone knows about Ted Kennedy having that seizure. Uh-huh, yeah. We have audio. Uh, people in the room knew there was a problem when the waiter went up to Ted Kennedy, asked him what he would like for lunch, and this is what he got from uh, the senator. That was the first clue that something was drastically wrong yesterday at that luncheon. What? Our microphones were everywhere. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was weird um, when the uh, Lincoln Bible mm -hmm. was uh, handed over uh, to um, Mrs. Obama mm -hmm. to hold it while Barack uh, took the oath. It was some weird sound, and I, I try to isolate it. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I More have. audio from Senator Ted Kennedy. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> See that? Uh... <sighs> yeah. And uh, I don't know. Some people at the luncheon didn't even seem to care that uh, Ted was having a problem because... Uh, other things to concern them. Food or right? <laughs> and then to ask Ted this. Try the wine. Yeah, you know, perhaps yeah. he, he'd had enough. That was a little too much. That's not nice, right? Yeah, that's not nice. Yeah. I have one. Oh, you do? Oh. Yeah, I, I actually. Robert Kelly, sure. Well, uh, Ted Kennedy was um, on the floor seizing. Uh, yeah. The Obama kids were doing this. Thank you. All and right, then, and you then, really don't and then have the a... crowd went like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Thank you, Robert Kelly, for stopping the bit that we had going. Just takes one. Those are my. Those are my. Uh, oh well, moving on. Wait, I have one more. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, when Obama, Miss Obama, held the uh, Lincoln Bible, mm -hmm. this is what ha I heard. <laughs> Are you insinuating he was stealing it? Uh huh. Thank you, Robert Kelly. <laughs> Back to the poem, the poet. Yes, that was rhyming and and uh, I don't know. And in the joy of a new beginning, we ask you to help us write for that day 
when black will not be asked to get back, mm -hmm. when brown can stick around, mm -hmm. when yellow will be mellow, mm -hmm. when the red man can get a head man, mm -hmm. and when white will embrace what is right, that all those... Wow, see? Thanks. This is where I'm on the same page as Anthony. It was all fun and games until Whitey gets hurt. Right. Again. Right. <laughs> White, embrace what's right? How about it voting in your guy, dummy? How about white voted in your guy? If it was just black people, it was, if every black person vote, he'd have 10% of the popular vote. How about that? And he's a chicken ass because I, I'm sure he wants to say, and white is just not right. Yeah. White oh. will embrace what is right. Let all those who do justice and love mercy say amen. Amen. Amen and amen. That guy annoyed me. Too much God, by the way, yesterday. <clears throat> they always bring uh, God into the whole thing. Too much God. <laughs> into the inauguration, like he's hovering over. Right. Like he cares who's elected. Doesn't care about the rest of the world. He's just going, yeah, I'll pull for this guy. Right. Well, it's just when the the sports uh, guys go. Uh, I want to thank God for this victory. Well, yeah, guess yeah. what? There were there were God guys on the other side that was hoping for the big uh, the big win too. And could God bless America? Do you think you know? God, when he uh, made the uh, planet, he already had the borders divvied up and knew there was going to be an America. It just shows that we are pompous. <laughs> God just like created this. Yeah, and then we made it. No, it's really about this little piece. Of we this. Put, we put the borders in, and he's supposed to look down and go, "Yeah, God bless that." That, little, that thing. little piece of it. Yeah, I'll ignore everything else I can. Yeah, do. yeah. That's right. You're more important. Yeah. It's just looking like a child playing with toys. Very good. You made an America. <laughs> That's so cute. Yes, I'll bless it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I made the universe. Think he means it? No. Uh, Daily Show uh, had a problem with that poem, too. <clears throat> really? They just, they just rushed this in. I, I didn't get to see John Stewart and the gang yesterday, unfortunately. John Stewart's pretty uh, much a lib. Oh yeah, uh, and uh, what kind of problem could he have? Uh, I don't, I don't have a problem with it because it keeps it fun. I'm all about keeping it fun with your, yeah, with your, with your thoughts. No, if if if, if the right could get a guy like this, I would, I would listen to that too. The right's got to keep it right, 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 right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, uh, more audio of Ted Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I guess you get the point. He had a problem yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's uh, The Daily Show. The most adorable civil rights legend I've ever seen. You try it. We ask you to help us work for that day when black will not be asked to get back, when brown can stick around, when yellow will be mellow, when the red man can get ahead, man. When, when, now hold on, hold on. When blue will be allowed in too. When puce will be set loose. When we rise above the minutia of fuchsia. <laughs> and orange. <laughs> Screw orange. <laughs> Anthony, I don't do this often, yeah. but I'm going to pat myself on the back yeah. for the whole show. Ooh. We did a much better job with that guy's crazy poem than of the Daily course. Show did. I thought he got... Did he even play the end part? With the white? He didn't even play the white part. Ah, no, oh, you goddamn liberal. See, Jon Stewart, I, 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 I like it. I like the Daily Show. It's funny. I like the Colbert Report. Uh -huh. That's funny. But like John Stewart won't just call the guy out. Play the whole clip and call him out. Do something. Well, he probably agrees that uh, you know, white's <clears throat> just not right. White ain't right because that's what he, that guy really wanted to say. Yeah. Uh, Mars what? gave me a communique because I see the the coverage of the balls. <laughs> oh. <phew. laughs> And Mars, uh, he wrote me, he goes, did anyone else notice how they already tried to set up the brother? Yeah. He must have had a hell of a time containing himself during the inaugural ball because of all those uh, fat asses on stage last night. Yeah, Obama comes out, 
and, and the stage is filled with black women with the with the nice big ass. The booty. That a lot of the brothers like. So he walks out, and there in front of him is J-Lo's ass, Shakira's ass, Beyonce's ass, Alicia Keys and her ass, Mariah Carey and her big booty, Mary J. Blige. Ugh. <laughs> oh, she's not a looker. She's got a good voice, though. So that's a good, very good observation from Mars. Wow, just trying to see if the guy <laughs> would like lose it if if his perv switch would go off yeah. right after the inauguration. Yeah, <laughs> I need that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, uh, people. Yes, yeah, Steve from Bayshore. Um, Michelle Obama's mouth is as wide as her big ass. I left a word out and stuff, but uh, there's something with her mouth. That yeah, she it does. really bothers you. Huh? And somebody finally pointed it out. When she does that smiley thing and not showing her teeth, she'll smile and show her teeth. Then she does this thing where she pulls her lips in and smiles, and she looks just like the Grinch when the Grinch <laughs> smiles and it curled around and around. She has Grinch mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see a little uh, split. Oh, of that. please. Yeah. She has the same mouth as William Defoe. <laughs> Does she? Yeah, she can't. Sh that one. Her teeth are so big, she can't. Yeah, shut she her can't mouth. shut them out. But when she shuts, it's do this little pursed lip thing. It really does bother me. Hey, you notice uh, them getting out of the the limo and the <clears> Secret <throat> Service going? I oh my did. God, what are they doing? Jesse Jackson was live on CNN, mm -hmm. and I wanted to come in here and trash him because uh, Obama gets out of the uh, the limo uh, way earlier than he was supposed to. Jesse Jackson was live on CNN. And you could hear his heart stop, and he stopped breathing. He's like, and they even had acknowledged. I don't know if we have audio, but uh, somebody, I think it had to be Wolf Blitzer, because of course it was the Situation Room, and it looked like there was a situation going on. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, kind of commented, Jesse, you, you, you look a little nervous. And then I yeah. went, Oh yeah, that's right. He was there one other time. Yeah. So all right, I'll give yeah. him. Yeah. I got to give it to him a little bit today. Jesse's why he might be a little nervous. Jesse saw something happen once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But those uh, those guys were on high alert yesterday, huh? Wow, the Secret Service are just uh, amazing to watch. They are fixated like lunatics. They got that thousand yard stare. They're just walking when Obama. Was walking down the street, and uh, the Secret Service uh, have him flanked, and then in front of him, behind him, they are looking at that crowd. They are not paying attention to anything that is entertaining, mm -hmm. any distractions. They are just looking for people that want to do that man harm. Right. Period. How do they train those guys for that? Because as humans, we're all ridiculously mm -hmm. uh, distracted. Yeah. All the time. We all have ADD. I don't care who you are. You see their face, their eyes. They they didn't make a smile, a smirk, nothing. They just walk alongside. Uh, you know how they learn? By mistake. Trial and error is how they uh, train on that job. And they figure out what you do next so that doesn't happen again. Yeah. If I was a Secret Service you know, guy. Mr. Obama, Mr. Obama. Right. You hear that? Right. Get him on the ground. <laughs> If I was a Secret Service guy, if a kid had like a bouncy red ball in the audience and was just throwing it up in the air, I'd be <laughs> fixated. Just fixated. Oh, look at that. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> I see a, a balloon. Right. But those guys. Is it purple or just, blue? Just a cigarette tin foil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just kind of uh, making a, a shiny thing in someone's <laughs> eye. No, they uh, they look badass. There was one guy with the shaved head and everything. And, and Mr. Obama's got a little color in the Secret Service. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. But, you know, he's playing it, like, perfectly. He's got a couple of colored guys. Very diverse. Color. Guys of color. Colored guys. <laughs> guys of Jesus. color. Hope you my just grandfather. Set, hope he just set the civil rights movement <laughs> yeah. back in another well, few one, years. Well, one day in, and he's back. A couple of colors. Like, you are president. Roll the dice again. Go back ten spaces. Yeah. <laughs> you are Negro now. Yeah. No. Colored guys. Of course, of course, the guys of color. He comes out. Anthony's not the racist. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he's got a couple white guys. He's got it. He's got it balanced. Yeah, he's he's looking to have that diversity. There's never a, like an American Indian Secret Service guy. No, no. What? Do you, not like stereotypical. With a long ponytail and a feather in his hair and a tear coming down his eyes. Uh, uh, All right. Yeah, well. they looked. They looked uh, uh, very serious. And that that car, the beast. That was a hell of a uh, an ad for Caddy. 
Yeah, here. See, they're showing it on the... Uh, when are you getting one? On CNN. Oh, one of those? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Just drive around in there. Try if, to jack me. If Ann could, he would get one of those. <clears throat> of course. If I was uh, Cadillac, I would uh, I would offer that up. For a civilian model? People would buy it. And you said it yesterday. The car just looked heavy and thick. Oh, my God. I think it can only hit, what, 60? 65. That's it. Yeah, 65. Yeah. It's got solid tires. It's not made to drive fast, I guess, unless they got to get away from a situation. Then you don't mind, like... It must have some suspension on it because it's got like solid rubber tires. Yeah, if the tires are blown out, it's not. It's, it's oh, going to be it's just still, fine. You're still going. We went over the specs the other day. The, you know the, the glass is like five inches, th five yeah. inches thick. The when glass. They, when they opened the doors, did you see how big they were? The doors are seven yeah. inches of steel. Big thick it, doors. It weighs thirty thousand pounds. Yeah, but he did get rims. He did put nice there rims, were nice on, rims it. on there. He's got twenty twos. Were those twenty twos? They're really nice. Yeah. Yeah. A little pimp my ride. Yeah. yeah, there was a little pimping going on. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And then apparently the car that follows him has uh, some armament and some guns in it. Mm -hmm. uh, it used to be good for the guys to just have, you know, the little uh, uh, machine pistols under their coat. You'd see that be pulled out every so often in a crisis like when Reagan was shot. But um, this one has a Vulcan cannon. <laughs> what? It's a Vulcan What's cannon. What's a Vulcan cannon? It fires so many rounds... Per second, yeah. how many is it? It's, I was reading about it yesterday. It's four thousand rounds per minute. Per minute. Per minute. Yeah. Wow. That's, it, it, that's just a wall. Here, of, here's what a Vulcan cannon ammunition. sounds like. Here's the it's for a, real. And, and this isn't one of the you know bits of a sound, but here's here's what it sounds like. Could you imagine? That is just bullets. You think that would do damage? Flying yet? out. Sounds like me with a chick. <laughs> <laughs> That could do a little bit of damage if somebody's stepping up to the vehicle for an autograph. <laughs> I've heard that with a couple Shot chicks. Me. That wasn't me. Was that you? <laughs> Even better. Can you play that sound for me again? Oh, yeah. I've heard that before. I wish my tongue sounded like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for her pleasure. For her pleasure. <laughs> the bumps are her, for her pleasure. <laughs> Um, there was something. I would not want to be a Secret Service guy now. Well, that's why they really. Oh, look at that. look at the bullets flying through that. We got a little video of uh, one of those. You ever see a cannons? Have yeah. you ever seen? <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> it's just ridiculous what, what it does. Say? It's just chewing a building up. Well, some guy accidentally case a house attacks the man. I, I get with the guy accidentally shoots into a crowd. <laughs> Mm. Six barreled, pneumatically charged, that it's air cooled. Six <clears throat> barrels firing four thousand yeah. bullets a minute. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's like uh, what's his name uh, on, in Predator, <laughs> carrying around the helicopter machine. Yeah. <clears throat> um, little Wayne just got one of those too. Ah, nice. Oh, really? Yeah, Did he? Got, yeah, he's got one. Get the gat. Hey, uh, Oprah was in the crowd yesterday, and this for real. Oprah was the crowd. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Da da ba ba neat. You know, props to CNN. That technology. Yeah, they're getting it from aliens, I believe. I still can't figure out how they did it, but basically, uh, CNN said before the inauguration, if you're going to be anywhere in the area, and you take a picture, they said uh, of the moment, meaning when Obama raised that hand, just yep. start snapping away. And there was some kind of was there some kind of reference point that this is all based on? No, it was uh, they they put the word out that if you're t if you're snapping pictures, snap one the second Obama puts his hand up to take the uh, you know oath of office, and then send it to us. Mm -hmm. You know, email it. So they emailed uh, a bunch of people. Emailed they emailed eleven thousand pictures to CNN, who then used a program to put all these pictures together to get this sweeping, almost three-dimensional view of the entire area. You were able to zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Just based on all the pictures areas. that were sent in by people yeah. that were there. Really amazing technology. All sorts of uh, vantage points. They had the huge screen monitor that they were able to uh, move things around, touch screen, and just flick stuff off the screen. It, it was like uh, the future. Sure. It's like computers were supposed to be in the future. That was wild. And what scares me about that stuff, uh, the government or whoever is really running us, finally decide, okay, we'll let them have this technology. You know they've had this technology for a really long oh, yeah. time. But it makes it look like a 3D environment. 
And they were showing, like, here's Obama being sworn in. Now, if we sweep over here, this is where Steven Spielberg was sitting on the left. Let's zoom into Steven Spielberg. And as you see, other celebrities are in this area as well. Now, let's zoom all the way out to this side of uh, just amazing technology. It really is. It's called The Moment on CNN under the uh, uh, politics section, the I guess. The Moment. But, wow, impressive. Mm. This is what Oprah said, I think, yesterday. I'm layered. I'm layered. I've got on something called men's pantyhose. Like She's wearing men's pantyhose. She's layered, all right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Skin and then a bunch of blubber. Yeah, the Japanese whaling boat tried to kill her yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I can make fat jokes now. Yeah, it's nice, right, Bobby? It <laughs> feels fun, good, right? right? With, fun on this end. Without, with, it is fun on this end. Without your eyes lighting up if I make a fat joke. All right, listen, the phones are lit. 877-212-ONA. We'll go to you guys uh, next to get your observations of the whole thing. And um, we're pretty much focusing focusing on this today, but there is a good story coming out of Wisconsin. The mayor, oh, another yeah. perf switch going off, man, oh, dear. And, and just ruining everything. Yep. We'll Looking explain ahead. next. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony, Robert Kelly. Uh, we're going to talk more about the Obama thing. We're going to take a, a quick break. We're going to do some off-roading right now. We'll get back on the highway in a second. Off-roading. Um, we got to talk about uh, this thing. This thing. This freak. Well, I'm not saying freaks. One wow. freak. But this is this is something that, by the way, you and I started talking about in Boston. They were. There's an update on the two-headed thing. They were mere children at the time. Uh, now, it. They. I don't even know what to call it because it's. It's a two-headed woman. Mm. They're the greatest Siamese twins ever because. They share a complete body, and the only thing that's different is they got two heads, two heads. and the upper part of their body l looks kind of like uh, Michael Phelps. Yeah, their shoulders are very wide. Very wide, like they could be really good in a in a in a pool. But they only have one set of breasts, yeah. you know, normal two two breasts. But you know, Can we get the picture up on onaradio.com. Because uh, we have an update on these two. One of them's engaged. You're telling me one has just gotten engaged. The luckiest guy on the planet Earth. <laughs> I was telling Anthony as he's as he's uh, telling me this. When we get outside this studio, there is a world out there I just don't understand whatsoever. Like I yeah. can't even wrap my arms around what you just said. That the two-headed thing, one of the heads is engaged. Yeah. And what is the other head supposed to do? Exactly. That's the questions that don't ever get answered with these things. And for Through the people XM, we'd have a bunch of stuff to say. Oh well, and we will too. For the people out there that don't know about these two. Both heads, it's not like one of the head is just flopped over and, and, no, no, and no. does nothing. There are two heads that think differently. Two distinctly different yeah. people. Two bodies. It's not like the country singer where the, he has to carry that, <laughs> oh. that, that, that aggravating, <laughs> awful singer around with her all the time. Look, don't get us started on that one. That's one of our favorite uh, stories ever. Oh, it's my favorite. No, this the one. gurney. The gurney. <laughs> the gurney. She has to walk around in an, a high office chair. Right. Around the city, so the other one could live. Man, I would chop that thing off in a second. I like, go ahead, Anthony. I, I uh, it's it's th they share um, some organs uh, below the the like waist, okay, intestines, okay, um, vagina, uterus, mm -hmm. bladder. Uh, they only have one of all these. Do they have two hearts? Yes, they do. They have. It starts getting a little dodgy up by the kidneys. <laughs> uh, they have one right kidney and two left kidneys. One small intestine, why one they, large intestine. Why are they being so selfish? Why don't you give one of those yeah. up for somebody that needs it? Two stomachs, two gallbladders, one liver, two hearts, three lungs. That's interesting. And uh, one rib cage. That yeah, is kind of that's what extended around the whole thing. What about below the belly button? Below the belly button is all that single stuff. All aside one. from the two kidneys on the left side, which is, you know, kind of down there, but in the back. One pelvis, one pair of ovaries, one uterus, one bladder, one vagina, one urethra. So. And six buttholes. Two he <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bobby. Can you say that? No. Oh, sorry. Well, I, Wait, I don't know. And, and they, got, uh, they got two boobies. Yeah. They got uh, two arms and two legs. Yeah. 
It's great. Like, who who works the right arm and who works the how does that See work? That? I want to know everything about them just so I could know how sex works. I don't care right, about right. anything else. You're so right. I don't care about anything else because they they have. Here's what they have. They have separate driver's license. Now that to me is like that's how, just stupid. <clears throat> what if no? But what if one's asleep? <laughs> And, and the other one's driving. Right. Like, you still control them both legs? Right. Can both of them control the legs independently, or does one control the right leg, one control the left? But they have two separate brains. It's like driving school. So I think they both you, control. You have pedals on both sides. Yeah. So the guy can just put the brakes on when you're messing up. Mm -hmm. it, it's the oddest thing. They have two brains that merge into one spinal cord. Right. That then, you know, it's like the legs. So. You know, the more I look at these two, and I haven't seen them in years, yeah. the one girl really, it's really her body, and the other one is just, just getting butting in, in. She's butting in. <laughs> look at that. This girl could so live without her sister to... It's like her head's growing out of the side of her neck. Right. A little bit more than yeah. the but other they're, one. They're, it's they're, obvious to me they're that... They're hot. Huh? They're not that bad looking. What are you... What? For two-headed broad. For a two-headed broad, it's. I mean, they're not that bad looking. I, I've actually done one-headed girls who are worse. Are those the same girls, uh, Danny? Yeah. yeah. They're not bad. They're not that bad. <clears throat> but, um, but the sex thing. Sex thing. Now, one of them's one of them got engaged. Uh, uh, Brittany. Why? Why even name them differently? Why would you call them Brittany? Uh, Brittany, Brittany one and Brittany got two. Engaged. I would call a monster, and and. Uh, uh, Left and right. Brittany and yeah. Abby. Yeah, left monster and right monster. Brittany and should've, Abby. Should've thought about it a little more before I brought it to a million people. <laughs> Twin it. Brittany's engaged. Abby is not engaged. <laughs> okay. Uh, they have separate driver's license, favorite foods, distinct personalities, and so forth. Okay. Uh, what about sex? Yeah, the office did a little something oh, yeah. with Steve Carell. That's funny. For you office people out there. Where he has sex is the question on everyone's mind. Oh, sex! It's not like best. one can leave while the other's having sex. Uh, we'll both enjoy sex together. If they can have children, whose child would it be? Uh, oh, it's just one of those weird situations. Now I'm looking and thinking, if if the engaged one is pleasuring her husband in a certain way, where she wouldn't be able to whistle a happy tune at the same time. Ah. A certain part of that guy is definitely interfering with the other girl's ability to speak to. <laughs> She'd sound like <laughs> it. This is what I want to know. How do you deal with that? And then is she also feeling the pleasure of sex that the other one is? And then isn't that kind of a threesome? Imagine the guy, um, you got moaning going on from yeah, but the you're, other head. You're actually you're you're doing incest when you pleasure yourself. Because you're sure you're, you're actually pleasuring your sister. What if What if like the the one that's engaged wants to have the sex but the other one doesn't? Right. Is that a rape thing? Yeah. God throw that at a lawyer and really watch him just like oh, watch, watch his, his brain explode. explode. Hey, what 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 happens if the one's a prude and one's a slut? You know, she's like, oh, I'm going out tonight. I am just going to hit a bar and <laughs> hit a hole. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, she's taking different guys home, maybe guys that want to do things that are painful, <laughs> and the other girl isn't into that at all. What? Are, how does this work? I need to know. But, but how I about if, to know all this. How about, if the, how about if they both have boyfriends, and then... Dude, I mean, at the, I mean, what are you gonna watch another all guy right. do your, you know, right, have that, sex with your girl? Yeah, Robert yeah. now got it's another one. That is effed up. So, all right, let's say the one gets married, I, and then I, the other I marry one, head one, and you marry head well, two. Yeah, and also I'm like, well, I like head two. So now I want. So you like what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> number two, right? <laughs> head number wait, two. Wait XM, you okay. you have head number one. I like head number two, and I want to uh, show my like for head number two. Right. Yeah, how are how are you not getting jealous? Yeah, how do you because you like head number one, and now I'm yeah, you're with basically you're, having sex with your woman, right? Yeah, definitely, and, and it's not resting things on my woman's cheek. <clears throat> you got to have an open mind if you're you're, if you're dating these monsters. <laughs> Two, <laughs> they're monsters. Yeah, and then you get into the whole thing where you guys are you're sharing the same anatomy. <laughs> 
Like you're sharing her anatomy amongst yourselves. Yeah. I guess to keep Bye. it separate, uh, if, if like, <laughs> all right, Bobby marries head number one, I right. marry head number two, we make an agreement. Look, you stay away from the back door. That's mine. Right. You get the front door. But then you got to eventually. Yeah, but you got to go gotta, for the front door. And then if you went for the front door in the afternoon and I come home and I want to right. kiss the front door, How about and I'm kissing you. We'll do odd and even days. Yeah, but you got to clean. Even days, I get the back odd, door. Even odd days, days, you get the back door. It'd be actually good if, like, uh, on a like you know, when a movie first comes out and the theater's always packed. <laughs> you know, you could just and you want to go on a double date. You just stick her right in the middle. You would. Yeah, they still have to buy look for two four tickets. seats. They, they buy two tickets. They have to buy two. Yep. Movie. Really? And the weird part is if you if you, you guys can't just go look at me. Uh, they uh, apparently I don't sit behind that thing. And Could you move your head? <laughs> head the other one. The other one. <laughs> I hope they start following me on Twitter because then I get four eyeballs. Oh, four eyeballs <laughs> for for the price of one. Each one controls <laughs> their side of the body, so that <clears throat> you would control right monster would control the right arm and the and the right leg. Oh, really? So really? you guys would have issues with that. A walking. So if you were married to right monster and Opie, you were married to left monster. Mm -hmm. The right hand wouldn't be allowed to touch you because then it would be cheating. I guess. Oh, Ooh. a lot of questions coming in. Jack from Florida. What if one of them kills somebody? Now you have to go to jail because that is a real interesting thing. Yeah. Because then, yeah, you're you're being. You know what I would do? I would just put the one that killed the person in like a bird cage. <laughs> <laughs> Their head is in a. <laughs> just have to walk around in a birdcage for their sins. How else you in jail? That? You're in jail. She was a, a bad girl. Cage. She's got to wear that birdcage eight to eight to twenty. You can't in this country put someone in prison if they didn't commit a crime. So if right. one, if wow. Monster One kills somebody, you can't. Put her in prison. That would wow. That's what, what I would test. with impunity. If I had like uh, another head on my body, that's what I would test. I would just uh, start killing people. Test the what law. are you gonna do? You could just kill somebody and go. You can't put me in jail. That's right. And they, they can't be split up. What if it's capital murder or something like that? They got to do the uh, death penalty. How you do that one? Can't. No, could kill they an innocent person? Could they just lop off one of her heads? And the rest of the body lives? No. Or just half of her body's paralyzed? Can't do that. You can't just lop off wow, a head? that does bring up some legal issues. They cut off an arm. They were born with a uh, kind of a useless middle arm that was chopped off. Yeah, burn. where was that growing up? Why out? would that be useless? It's right in the middle. Well, That'd be perfect. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, jiggle these, please. <laughs> Use that. I just saw a picture. Put, They're holding put up. Put that in here, jiggle these, and then touch <laughs> this. Yeah. <laughs> And then both of you swallow and, that. And, and write out the bills at the same time. <laughs> write some checks. i got to be honest with you. I wouldn't be as loving as their parents were. I would just have to kill it. No, you yeah. wouldn't. Oh, yeah. If, Lindsay, if you and Lindsay had a uh, two-headed baby. I ain't going through life with a two-headed thing. Why? Yeah. Hell no. What a great Man, radio that would be. Think for of all the other radio jocks that would just <laughs> goof on you. Oh. F that, Bobby. Come on. It'd be good looking, <laughs> oh. a good looking two headed monster. Uh, that's wonderful. Oh. I'm not. I'm, no, no monsters. I'd that take it if really you were, before you killed it. I'd, I'd take it. I ain't giving it to anybody either. Why? Just give it I away. Know. I don't know. That'd be fantastic having a two headed baby. I want to know all about the the sex thing with these girls. Yeah. I want to know what they how they work that. Yeah, but how do you have a private moment? How do you have, like, yeah, yeah. if one's a deviant and one's not, how do you have a private moment when you're, you know, you're in the tub? Yeah. You know, and uh, how do you, hey, what do you go? What do you, hey, listen, can you give me a sec? And you, then they both get married. Now, what about things like, you know, honeymoon, vacations, mm -hmm. going away? You got to carry both of those heads through like, a door? Mm -hmm. The two guys got to be together all the time with these. Hey, do they get that thing? Do they get two times of the month? No, no, they one. only have one uh, oh, all right. pair of ovaries. Well, but you get two girls uterus. bitching. <laughs> yeah, they probably both just like went, 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 went. Wow. <laughs> the one definitely looks like she doesn't belong on the body. No, I'd be really mad if I the was the other one's that. intruding. Right. I'd be really mad if I was the other one because th this looks like my shoulder. This looks like a very easy fix if they weren't loving parents. Uh, <laughs> imagine pulling them over. Imagine being a cop and pulling them over. They both hand you their license. That's another thing. If if they're drunk, yeah, they have two separate stomachs, but and two separate hearts. Mm -hmm. So do they have two different circulatory systems? Because then one would get drunk if 
if she drank, but the other one wouldn't. I forgot about these monsters. We haven't talked about them in a while. <laughs> I need to know everything. Stephen about S. from uh, Bayshore, of course. Naked pictures. Stephen S. writes, two girls, one clump. <laughs> 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 yeah, and I'm with Kevin from Connecticut. At least one of them isn't being carried around on that uh, giant office chair and wants oh, to be a country gosh. singer. Yeah, that mess. Did they went to college, these two girls? They're, they just... Uh... They graduated high school last year and are off to college in Minnesota now. Minnesota. One, what if one drops out? Yeah. You've got to go every day anyway. Ah. <laughs> God, i got to go. I dropped out. Why am I here? Uh, <laughs> how about uh, Mongo the trucker? Mongo. Hey, if uh, monster number one threatens suicide, is that considered a hostage situation? <laughs> <That's true. laughs> got to talk the one head down. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do you, how do they buy the one cats? has a knife in her. No, oh. ready to slit her wrist. The or, other one's fighting her, or even something not as drastic, just like a fight, a fist fight. They're just stuck punching each other in the face <laughs> <But> over <laughs> and over again. So one knocks one out, and your leg you fall over because that leg goes to sleep. <laughs> you knock her out, and your arm and leg falls asleep, and you topple over. Why are they in a dress? Oh, man. Why they are can't they in a wear dress? anything else. It's sexy. They can't wear a hoodie. Why are they in a dress? A hoodie. No, big. <laughs> <laughs> Just one hood between their necks. <laughs> oh, my God. They can't wear a hoodie. <laughs> it's just a pocket. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, look how. Oh, man. That is really. It's too many questions and not enough answers. <laughs> yeah. They have video of them, though, right? Speaking, do they? Oh yeah, they're like uh, I hate to say it, they're as they're well adjusted. Really? I think, they uh, don't know any better. They were on the Learning Channel. They did like a documentary on them, which is the Freak Channel. They're, that's the Freak Show channel, but they make believe we're learning. We're something learning. We're looking at these monsters. We're learning what appreciation we have for sick, twisted stuff on yeah. this planet. I remember that's all I'm learning when I watch that. I remember when they were little, they had video of them riding a bike together, jumping in a pool together. How hard would it be stuff. right now in that interview if they just started making out? It would be easy for them, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at their their <laughs> look at that. Piece. They got a vest with the zipper way down. That the clothing has to be custom made. Oh, and they got a brother, a couple uh, brothers. A couple of brothers that can just walk around right. and say, ha ha. A confused got a, dog. I got a one headed dog. Even the dog laughs. And a mother with a friggin' DNA problem. <laughs> mother with a radioactive womb. Hey, this is a good point. Let's go to Mike in East uh, Northport. Mikey? Mm. Hey, what's going on, boy? What's hey, Mike? Hey, it's HOV lane, baby. Everywhere we go. We yeah. Go. Yeah, that's two people. Wow, they are. Oh, jeez. The one likes her hair short, the other one likes it long. That's wonderful. Got to be an individual, right? They are so in each other's way <laughs> <laughs> all the time. They're talking and their cheeks are just hitting. Man, that's they're a... bumping heads. What is that, a little sister that gets to laugh? Please tell me that's their little sister that looks perfect. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at, Look at them driving. driving. The other one's hanging out the window like a, like a dog. <laughs> Other two oh, hey, turns. Hey, once they each got a hand on the wheel. Oh I, I'm amazed, but I can't. This could be the greatest video ever. Dude, I know I it's can't radio. Take my eyes off of it. Is They're this driving? Is this on the Learning Channel? How do they walk? It's TLC. the The video we're watching is just amazing. What happened, uh, uh, Mike? The other one's Danny. Oh, Danny, I'm sorry. If uh, if anybody wants to check it out, it's called Joined for Life, and it was uh, it aired on uh, TLC. When? Because I I'm a big fan of the TLC. Not sure, but they definitely are the Freak Channel. I was watching something last week. It was three hour-long specials in a row about just morbidly obese people. It was like, <laughs> I'm I'm an 800-pound man, I'm an 800-pound woman, and then like I'm an 800-pound teenager. Or something. Way, I saw that, too. Thanks for ruining a good joke I would have had, Bob. Oh, Kelly, as soon as he said it, I, was, I, I didn't even have to look up. Yeah. You, you notice I just I kept my head down. I was well, chomping at the bit. <laughs> what, 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 what? what, what I, I would have I done a good fat Bob Kelly joke oh, oh, okay. a, year, a year ago, and now... So I'm like, what do you like Bob Kelly's Comedy Central like, special oh, was on? An open, yeah, that's it's something like <laughs> yeah, that, of uh, course. Yeah, I thought it one, too. That's very good. <laughs> Remember Fat Bob Kelly? Wasn't he a douche? <laughs> you just made fun of him. Yeah. That <laughs> uh, uh, was just a... a oh, joke. God. Dude, they got him now in the doctor's <laughs> office getting their physical. Uh-oh. And the doctor actually humored them by getting both of their heights. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Both of their heights. And uh, Alex in Boston, 
We're going to exhaust this for a few more minutes. Alex, what do you got on this? Oh, my God. Kind of. I just thought of this. Two, two mouths, two stomachs, but one ass. How messy must that be? Well, everything goes into one set of... Um, everything from the two stomachs goes into one set of intestines. Yeah. So at some point it joins together. Yeah. So they must have to um, go to the bathroom twice yeah. as much. By the way, uh, right? What's that? Danny you know, looks puzzled. I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe because, I mean, if one eats and, I mean, they're getting nutrition and that nutrition is then flowing throughout their one body. So I'm thinking they probably eat just as much as, a, as one person would because I'm thinking that the other one probably doesn't get hungry if the other one's eating. They have separate well, stomachs. They have separate stomachs and separate circulatory yeah, systems. So wow. these, these two are weird. crapping all the time. There must be. Uh, Puddle of AIDS, a question we like to ask on the show a lot, Anthony. Opie, would you? In a second. Oh, you got it. I think my, my, my wife would even understand you got I had it. this opportunity. <laughs> I would oh cheat at my wife for these two. You, you right. would have to. Oh, God bless. I just hold one of their faces and mush it while I'm making out with the other one. <laughs> Shut your face. I want to clunk their heads together because <laughs> they can't get away. <laughs> they are the weirdest looking thing. I, I, they, they're kind of sexy, though. I mean, except for that... Hump in the back. It looks like they have a, yeah. like a ham, in the middle of their back. Yeah, yeah. The back is real wide. Yeah, the back is really wide. Got to support the two heads. But the uh, the bottom half looks pretty normal. Like you know the hey, part you're gonna use. You can tell they have like a coordination thing going when they walk because one's controlling one leg and one's controlling the other. Yeah. So they're walking, or maybe she's just got to go to the bathroom again. Who <laughs> <laughs> they? Who they? Therapy. Hey, That's the mother. Why is she showing her face on camera? Go back to Chernobyl. You gave, yeah, you gave birth to monsters. Um, how do they know who got knocked up? That's another great question coming in. I guess you'd have to decide. They'd probably decide which ovary dropped the egg. If it's the left one, it belongs to the left head. Mm. If it's the right one, it belongs to the right head. All right. Hey, uh... Oh, they just do so. even odds. <laughs> Once I see, shoot. Uh, what Rock, it? paper, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Susan in Jersey. Susan. Yes. Hello, Susan. Hello. Yes, you're on the air with the Opie and Anthony program. You grew up with Siamese twins? Maybe I need to leave yep. a little bit. All right. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, I was just wondering if you guys feel as evil as you sound. Oh boy! Oh, monsters you're one of these people. Oh no! What's the a matter? A little rough. What's the matter? The monsters. They're monsters. They yes, them? they're monsters. In a movie. Well, what would you have the mother do? Kill them? Well, all right. That, that's a, that's her choice. Yeah, throw them in a pit like a Spartan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In Sparta, this, they never would have survived. I want to fight with you. You can't lift your shield it's up. My father's shield. You got to protect the person to your left, and it's you. <laughs> <laughs> we live in a in a society where women use abortion as a as birth control. Yeah, you wouldn't. Uh, most women would not give birth to this. Just split her like a piece of wood. Oh, she hung up. Of course she did. Do you realize how evil you sound? No. This is not evil. This is, this is, this is, uh, what's the, what am I looking for? This is, we're handling it like it should be handled. A freak show. Can one get half of, like, pot belly if, if she eats a lot? And the other one doesn't? Like, uh, there's too many questions. What if one girl <laughs> wants answers? Uh, what if one girl wants, uh, you know, a boob job? There's, and the one other girl goes, no effing way. Did they get one boob? <laughs> then they start one. looking like those houses in Queens. <laughs> right. It's the duplex houses. Right. Where they, they put the shingles on that are a different color than the other ha part of the house. What if, what if one's a racist and one loves black guys? Ah, mm. that's called the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> well, or just, you know, uh, guys. But... Yeah. Look at that! When God bless the parents, kids. though they had two other kids after this. God came bless out. the parents. You have to. I think not. Mm. <laughs> you have to. Mm. Satan bless the parents. <laughs> Susan, call back. Let's have a discussion. You're pretty much a coward. You, you say your little line and then uh, hang up. She. I want to hear about her story of growing up with. Um, yeah. As she called them, Siamese twins. Did she say Siamese or conjoined? Did you write Siamese? She said Siamese. See, that's um, politically incorrect. They're conjoined twins. Yeah. Siamese twins is um, very offensive to the two-headed Americans. <laughs> <laughs> two-headed and two arms and one heart.
and a half a liver. Oh, they're playing basketball. Please tell me they're playing basketball. They're just showing. Oh uh, my god, that's just wow. not fair. Look at wait, that. Wait, they're playing it's like, basketball. It's like a All right, look, I'm a big uh, b-ball fan. Ant played my whole life. Yeah. Now you're only allowed four people on the court because this one has two heads. Yeah. What happened? For real. How does that work? How disappointed I, must you be if you're on on that's basketball team? Yeah. Like, you know you're not making it to state or anything. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them riding a bike. Come on. Now, I could see basketball probably wouldn't be a problem, but soccer could be since you can use your head. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's too many people on the field. <laughs> Just thinking logically. Let's say hi to be the goalie because she'd fit in the whole goal. Oh yeah, big wide shoulders. <laughs> Let's say hi to James in New Hampshire. James. Hey, morning, boys. Morning. Uh, of course, the Family Guy has touched on this issue. Yeah. There was an episode where they discussed Peter's ancestor from the Civil War times, where one fought for the North and one fought for the South. <laughs> Okay. And uh, the guy, from, the one from the north, ended up shooting the one from the south. And then they spanned it ten years later, and he's standing there with a skeleton hanging off him. Yep, yeah, didn't think that one through. <laughs> Family Guy rules. That's a good. But you know, they just, I'm, I'm just amazed. They just that... showed him doing a head a, a headstand. Yeah. Oh, How easy? Heads, that's easy. A headstand. Headstands. Headstand. You know uh, that woman. That call that I really wish she would she would call back. How are we supposed to look at this? Who has, who's looking at this like, oh, what a heart warming story. Yeah, what a heart warming story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. We all love to, to. We all love to look at disasters yeah. and freak shows and all this crap, and we like to make believe we don't. What? Sometimes Stop. we lose our heads. <laughs> we. Why do you think there's so much traffic every day? Because we're all rubbernecking. Some dope out loses a tire. <laughs> And it's no big deal, and we all are slowing down to look because we're hoping for yep. more. <laughs> that is society. Yeah. Imagine pulling up on them in a car. Oh. Hey. 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 Yous. <laughs> what are yous doing tonight? <laughs> how do yeah. they play basketball if one wants to move left and the other moves right? Yeah. Yeah. How do they coordinate that crap when they're? They playing sports. Really you know what a great young. golfer they'd be, though? They'd be able to keep their eye on the ball and look at the pin. <laughs> Could you watch this for me? <laughs> yeah, watch this for me. Yeah, if you can't keep your head down. <laughs> you keep one head, you can just stay down the whole time. The whole time. And the other one's looking. L looking where it's going. I got it. I'm sure they would still mess it up. Do they pay uh, taxes twice? Another good question. Well, they will now. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, with Obama in there, they'll probably pay four times. <laughs> Imagine the driver, uh, the driving instructor. They're all, most of those guys are alcoholics to begin with. <laughs> and what do they do? They're like, okay, it's your turn to drive. You yeah. pass, but let's see what you can do. You fail. Right. Yeah, but one's having a full fledged conversation with them, the other one's driving. Yeah. Do they, 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 they both have to look at the road? I mean, one controls the left arm. One, they, that's yeah, how the it works, other one right? could adjust the radio or talk on a cell phone. Can one talk on a cell phone and while the other drives and you're not going to take it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to use a Bluetooth. You can just use it. Yeah. All right, we got to take uh, a break. Uh, just amazing. All questions. See, we didn't get one answer. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. Once again, I'm trying to get my uh, Twitter account uh, going. OB Radio on Twitter and Anthony, your Facebook. Because someone's saying there's a uh, bunch of Anthony Kumi is out there. I'm the only real one. The picture of me is uh, the one that we I took. Uh, it was us on stage. Um, at the uh, big CBS event. Oh, really? So there's a big CBS, one of the CBS logo eyeballs behind Nice. Me. That's the real me. How many eyeballs you got? Um, oh, I don't know about eyeballs. I go, I go with, you know, friends. It's all about getting eyeballs for your stuff on the internet. I go with friends. Do you want, to have you a, want eyeballs you want to have a for your... fight later? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't accept any of those things. Can, I don't accept can you explain half that stuff after the break? Yeah, I'll try. Like, I'm I don't... sure Bobby knows. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll use leather pillows. You're an ass. <laughs> Obama president now. Nah. Uh. You can't do that. Why? Da 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 da. Let me tell you how cool Twitter is, Ant, and then I'll stop. Yeah. We we're just talking about that video of the two-headed monster. Of course. And I, I sent out the link to all my uh, followers. How do you do that? Just well, like, I ain't telling you how to do the cool stuff, Bobby. Come on. Da, 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 da. Opie Radio on Twitter. Um, how do you send it? 
Yeah. And that lady, you, that. you could just like... Da, 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 da. I probably did it wrong after bragging. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to take a picture of the studio. <laughs> like that. Take a picture. You just got shocked, right, Bobby? Now Anthony just took a picture of the studio. Yeah. Use photo. Mm -hmm. like, uh, that, 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 upload. It's not electrified in my ear. It, we we complained about that a while ago. We gave up on fixing that problem. That 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 da da da. Uploading to my uh, Facebook. Facebook. Don't show Bobby. That that. Bobby, know what's weird about you? You're really good friends with Dane Cook, and Dane was. He was in early as far as this new media thing goes, and you First didn't learn all, a thing no, from stop. him. stop. You didn't just, learn a thing from him. Stop? Maybe he stop? should give you a few pointers can on the stop? Facebook, the MySpace, the Twitter, can and everything stop? else. Can we can stop? We, can First we? of all, I I got Dane into the Internet. Dane Wait, got no. his first website because I had a website first that I made Bizarre. myself. The picture I just snapped is now up there for yeah. the entire world to see. Where? How do you do? Facebook. On my Facebook. We're not oh, you're on Facebook. I know how to do I'm talking Twitter. I'm, I'm not Twitter. Opie's Twitter. I'm face. You're Twitter? You're face? Do you go to Twitter <laughs> counter? Twitter and face. I'm, I'm, I'm space. That's, what we're gonna, that's our new radio names. <laughs> yeah. Twitter and face. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter and face. Uh, good morning to the Twitter and face. Twitter and face. Figures I would pick the faggy naming technology. Twitter. <laughs> I'm a Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> and twice. What? I said twice. What? Nothing. I, 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 maybe I wasn't listening. Maybe it was good. I don't know. Hey, uh, Anthony, speaking of the two-headed monster thing, <laughs> yeah, I wish that lady would call back because I guess she said that uh, she grew up with uh, Siamese twins, conjoined twins, blah, blah, blah. Maybe she is one, and the other one hung up. Wait, that's the... <laughs> That's the picture you just put up on your Facebook? Me yeah. looking like a complete idiot? That's it right there. You look funny. <laughs> and like the Pal Talk camera's right in the way. Wow. If you look in the Pal Talk camera in the picture you just took that's on your Facebook, you, you could see you taking the me. picture. It's it, You see me naked in there taking the picture like in the teapot on the guy on eBay? Yeah. <laughs> when he's selling that shiny teapot and he put it down, but he was naked when he took the picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the reflection in it. <laughs> it's hysterical. I'm nude in the Pal Talk cam. <laughs> Where is it? I, I, I heard about this picture. I've never it's seen so it. damn funny. We're the most visual yeah, radio look. show in America. <laughs> look at the guys. All right, you got fine. Hey, uh, Ant, but that lady, they're all mad. I and she's got to understand something. We're in the year 2009, we're just starting to accept the black man. Uh, yeah, well, just starting, yeah, yeah. More right. or less. Well, like, tomorrow could, uh, yesterday could have been the day where a lot more people start accepting the black man. Maybe as, not. Uh, Maybe not. Yeah. Whatever. But the point I'm making is give us the two, mon two headed monster thing for a few more decades, please. Before we have to start accepting two-headed monsters like in, two -headed in monster society, president, <laughs> imagine in the year five thousand eighty-two, oh, two-headed monster the, president, the first two-headed monster president. All the news would be speculating. So they have to do two separate <laughs> oaths of right. office. Well, one's a Democrat, one's a Republican. <laughs> right. They go against each other. Yeah, yeah. One loses, but yeah. then gets to spend all its time in the Oval Office with the other one. One has a seizure. The other one wants to run a marathon. Can one be president? One be vice president? Because See? then if one dies, the other one's dead, too. Well, obviously, if uh, if there was a two-headed monster president, they would have to change the Constitution. Yeah? Oh, yeah, the Constitution has to be... To no two-headed monster presidents ever, <laughs> oh. ever, ever. Right, right. <laughs> well, give us a break. <laughs> ever, ever, never, ever, never. Ever, never, ever, ever. Give us... Signed everyone. <laughs> We're being more accepting, but we're not ready for two-headed monsters uh, just walking around everywhere. Well, you know, back in the day, they would just throw this baby. They would just kill this baby. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. Yeah, back well, some would. Back in the Spartan days, dude. If that kid, if back <laughs> <laughs> no, it, when there was a time when you had one of these, one of these things, why would you sell? Oh, that? there's the teapot. Oh my How god, do you <laughs> he's selling a teapot and he's naked, <laughs> and you can see his reflection right you in had the teapot to do that on purpose. I, I would. That would be so funny to do. Just pop it up. Let's there. all do that. See how long it's. <laughs> we'll all just let's all get shiny teapots and sell them. I would do that. I would. Sh I would show my body on the side of a teapot like yeah. that because you can't really see. Too much going on. Get a little work, though, first, so you really look impressive. Uh, work, work it a little bit. Yeah, get a little guitar. Smack it around a little. A little guitar action. A little guitar. Yeah, play the guitar a little bit just to get it going. You got to get guitar. You can't get to the point where it's almost diving board. Yeah, no. you gotta... Once you get diving board, it looks like you're trying. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a fine line. Yeah, you're fine so right. line.
<laughs> By the way, uh, Ricky M. from Holliston, Massachusetts. Did Bobby teach Dane how to manage his money, too? Oh. Oh, that's got to hurt. Whoa. How's Dane doing? He's all right. How's he doing? Yeah. How's he doing? Yeah, how's he doing? How's he doing? What, what can you say about it? I don't know. That is a big story. I don't know, guys. You know, he lost both his parents in one year. Everybody accused him of being a hack, uh, tried to turn <laughs> the whole industry on him, and then his brother took all his money. I don't know. How do you think he's doing? Damn. He's, uh, thank God he's just surviving. He's, uh, he still has enough money, though, right? What? No. Dude. I don't know, but I don't know. Tell him I said hi. Yeah, he's, 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 dude, let me, he's, I'll write he's him. working it, but his brother, his what brother, a nightmare. man. God. What an effing nightmare. Yeah, his brother. I mean, a, a your lot. own family or yeah. half brother. Yeah. But the half brother is his family. What, you know. No, they were brothers, dude. They, they were brothers. They lived together. They, you know, they, they grew up together. What but, the F? Yeah, man. it's, it's, uh, I mean, you really can't talk about it because if I talk about it, then I'm going to have, I'm going to be summoned to court. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I don't, I, I don't, that's the last thing. I don't even like jury duty. I don't yeah, know. but you did tell us behind the scenes that you know pretty much everything about this. <laughs> 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 No, I didn't. That is a false. Let me just say well, something. Uh, that is a false statement. Let you me didn't, say it you again. didn't say. I know. I got that. inside info that would blow your mind. No. That wasn't you, Robert <laughs> Kelly. Blow your mind. I love that you added that. <laughs> that no. wasn't you. Dane actually hasn't told me anything to yeah. protect me, yeah. and he can't talk about a lot of yeah. stuff. But he's uh, he's working it out. And look, I, uh, I have no problem saying I I like Dane. Yeah, Cook. And yes, I'll be one of those guys that say. That I think he's very funny. Absolutely, it is one of those bitches. Though, I'm not gonna because... be. I'm not gonna be one of those guys jumping on the bandwagon. I think he's hilarious. I've seen him three or four times and just been blown away by his stuff and how he uh, and how he does his stand up. Absolutely, and I saw him at uh, Comedy Connection back uh, way back when he was a nobody, mm -hmm. just killing, yeah. killing in those rooms. Yeah, but occasionally, Satan wants his. Uh part of the contract it's, back let me tell you man it's got it's weird man jesus how does that i mean that you know you survive all the stuff you survived in the last year and then just to wake up one day and your brother oh yeah. man and it's a half brother so different yeah. fathers or different mothers because D different fathers two-headed oh so it, it, it is true that uh dane's last name is cook and his brother's last name was crook oh oh <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> could be my new bit. The drum thing on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't take credit for that. That's uh, Kevin from Connecticut. That's Why would cool. you give him credit? One. Take it. I don't need to take someone else's line and then make believe I said it. I, I'll do, do, I it. do okay on my own. Throw me some. Uh, I'm not the funniest had, man in the room, but I do okay for myself. I haven't had a good line all day. I'm talking about politics. I know nothing about it, nor do I care. Wait, there was... I just want Call of Duty 6 to come out. That's all I want. No, Bobby, in the... Oh, it's it's going to be great. In the 7 o'clock... <laughs> stab you Bobby, in the corner. I'm, all right, sorry. I'm sorry. One. I was going to give you a compliment. You're right. I'm sorry. In the 7 o'clock hour, you had one. What was it? Um... <laughs> oh, God. You did not just fall for that. I have nothing. <laughs> just wanting? Oh, really? What was it? What? What was it? Please tell me. Well, I consider this radio a muscle. And you have to work it. And uh -huh. when you don't, like you guys come in every day and work out. Yeah. You work out. You're pumping the iron. Got to keep it, our chops up. Yeah. You got to, you got to, you know, yeah. you come in. And I, this is my first workout. Tomorrow my legs are going to be sore and, you know, it's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, I, you do your best. I mean, to hang with you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm here just to, you know, occasionally throw something Shut up, out. Robert. Thanks. You were, very, <laughs> Thank you were you. very good today. Thank you. You really were. Oh. Hey, uh, I don't know if he wants this to be mentioned, but ah, what the hell? Uh, Brother Elmo had uh, a bit of a problem on a plane yesterday, and I, I want to what? And I don't really communicate with Brother Elmo these days. He's not the guy that was upset about the uh, plane not uh, letting the people off fast enough and Dude. opened up the emergency exit and jumped out, walked out on the wing. No, he wasn't that guy. It's like just because you saw it happen in the river, and and they went through it on the news on how you open it up and walked out. Don't just do it now when you're waiting at the gate. Yeah, <laughs> you will get in trouble. Some idiot. Is on a flight, it pulls up to the terminal, everyone's getting off, and believe me, I've been in this situation where people aren't moving fast enough. They're never fast enough for me. I'm the, this is how it's done guy. I grab it, I'm off, and then I want to turn around and go, that's how you do it. That's how you get off the plane quickly. But people sit there and they take their time, they can't get the carry on, they yap in, they're doing something, whatever. But I guess this guy got a little peeved. He was in an emergency row. He popped that door open. Uh, and jumped out on the wing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and by the time he was on the tarmac, the police officers were there to greet him. Dude, I was on a plane, 
it, uh, it was an uh, international flight. Some old guy, really old, went to use the bathroom and went over to the door of the plane. And, <laughs> and all you heard was, no, 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 no. And around six people just grabbed this old guy. And the whole time he's smiling. He had no idea what he was doing. Oh, I, I know you can't open. Yeah, they won't open. You can't okay, open. But, thank you, because that's but, what I was about to But the to thought ask. of the pressure <sighs> just sucking him out and him wondering for that split second, yeah. what just happened, <laughs> you dummy? <laughs> I guess you'll have to just call me to find out what happened to my brother. No, I was just going to turn now and say, what right. happened to your brother? There we go. Um, my brother, Elmo, and, um, he's, uh, he's got diabetes. I think he's openly has talked. He has openly talked about it on the show. All right, I'm safe. So he's flying somewhere. I don't know where because it's winter and he's just like keeps to himself until spring. He's one of those guys. Um, is he a bear? Because <laughs> he, he, he feels a lot of darkness during the winter. Yeah, I do too. Oh, I'm not a big really. Guy yes, either. I was depressed. Dude, Dude I get paralyzed. Yesterday, I was paralyzed. Dude, I couldn't do anything. I I love a break in the action, which I call winter. Where you could be lazy and kind of not the like, oh, the sun's out, it's beautiful, I got to be outside, I got to do this, I got to go here, I got to, you know, I, I like the, the, the pace of winter. It's a nice break. Yeah, but you also... But some people get uh, it's it clinically depressed when it gets... Uh, Dude, you wake yeah. up, it's dark, you go to... I don't mind it at all. It's dark, it's dark, it's dark all the gray. inauguration. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, come on now. We almost made it to we the end. Just having, have, we could all have fun. We had three hours of fun except for about five minutes there where that, that caller had to get uh, Anthony going. Um, no, but he's got the diabetes, and he went into That's one of those di diabetic, what, what are they called? Episodes. Uh, what? Shock. 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 Yeah. shock. While he was in the air. Oh, shit. Oh, so he God. was, oh, my God, we're having a problem. And uh, and uh, and he, he said, because he sent out an email that like he's prepared for this and he has candy bars on him always so when he's feeling like he's going to go into this yeah you, you chomp down a candy bar it takes care of the situation i do that like beer <laughs> when you get the <laughs> yeah you get the shake all the shake 18 year olds <laughs> so plane landed at its destination it wasn't where they had to like land immediately because i guess they were close to landing they, had, they took my brother off the plane uh, right into an ambulance and all that crap yesterday. wow Wow. He's but good now? Blood, urine, everything completely fine. He knows exactly what it was. Yeah. It's just his hell on earth. Everyone has their little hell on earth. That's his. Your cross is to bear. He got the diabetes when he was 22, 21, something like that. He he went blind for a couple of days. Really? Yeah, he, he, mother he, he's one of the guys that has to shoot himself up every day. It's a nightmare for him. I feel bad. Ooh. But, uh... Brother Elmo on MySpace, if you want to give him a couple, uh, couple, uh, couple words today. I dated a But he's, he's fine and back in good Twitter? spirits. Huh? Does he have a Twitter? I, was, I don't think he's tweeting yet. Oh, Facebooking? He's a, a MySpace guy. Ah, MySpace. Actually, his MySpace page is pretty damn good. He's an OG. He's an OG. <laughs> What's an OG? I don't know. You, MySpace. That's original, original gangster. gangster. Yeah. Ah, Some old yes. school. But, uh, I'm AOL. <laughs> but he's doing well, so. All right. We didn't get to the mayor. Do you want to squeeze this in after the break and then we'll leave? Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll do that. All right. Opie and Anthony, stay there. Sorry to make you sit through uh, commercials. We really wanted to do more, but look at the time. Everyone's getting uptight about us uh, staying past nine. Damn it. Opie and Anthony. Um, satellite wants us out of here at 845. Uh, Mark Chernoff gets a little nervous if we, if we move into music marathon territory. So we kind of got a window from 845 to nine. Going past nine is uh, becoming a no-no for a lot of people. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I think we just got to leave now. Well, but, but good news. We got the music marathon that's about to begin here in New York. Now, did they learn from their beating yesterday, Danny? It's a very big day. The first day of the black president. So I'm assuming the music marathon's got some fine thing got a today. Name. <laughs> the black president, Obama. Well... I know, I was waiting for the vocals to kick in, and they never do. What's the music marathon today, Danny? Well, first up, you got Immigrant Song, Led Zeppelin. All right, well, look. Immigrant, well, let the brown stick around. Let the brown stick around, that one's for you. It's the Immigrant Song. So, immigrants, if you're listening, you got one coming up. What else? Then you got uh, ACDC, Whole Lot of Rosie. Mmm, Rosa Parks. 
Very obvious. All right. That was obvious. Just trying to hip it up a little bit with the Rosie instead of Rosa. Yep. Very good, Mark Turnoff. You're doing a fine job with this yeah. uh, rock station here in New York. What's the next one, Danny? Then you got Basket Case by Green Day. For Anthony. Going a little local there. That's nice. <laughs> Going crazy. Very good. <laughs> what transpired yesterday. <laughs> This is the brilliance of Mark Turnoff. He knows yes. how to seg these uh, songs together to give you a fine music marathon. Give me one more, Danny. We Will Rock You, Queen. Ah. Mm. Mm. We Will Barack You. No. Ah. We Will Rock You, Queen. Queen. All right, let's try another one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his genius goes over my head, too. Wish You Were Here, Pink Floyd? Well, well that's odd. How about Norton Show in Florida? We will rock you, Queen. You ruin everything. Uh, queen. <laughs> you just ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? you got to add to the show some way. Sometimes it's ruining it. <laughs> Sometimes it's ruining it. <laughs> we got to burn the village to save it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like you gotta, those crazy if, Vietnam guys. If you're going to wreck the party, you might as well just wreck it. <laughs> All right, Callie. <laughs> I'm actually a big fan of Robert Kelly. You were fine today, bro. All right, listen, we got to go. Uh, what are you promoting, Robert? Um, RobertKellyLive.com for, yeah. for everything that has something I, to do with you. I still would like to uh, beat uh, Voss on that stand-up uh, comedy competition. Uh, all right, when does that end? That uh, it, it, It's on right now. It's off the website, but you can still text uh, Stand Up Kelly to uh, 66333. You, you don't know. No, I swear to God. You I just were, told you. You were like pausing too no, much. I was. I, I said it, it again. slow. You wear that hat. You're winning any comedy competition, huh? Yeah. What is that? It's my hat. It's my hat. It's my hat, sir. It's got fur on it and and ear flaps. It's a hat. I fly a plane in the afternoons on Xbox. <laughs> it came with my controller. Yeah, like the red baron. I have goggles and everything. Are you a water buffalo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, was that? what was that? From the Flintstones? <laughs> right. He was in the loyal order of water buffalo. <laughs> it really is. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, remember when I said we weren't supposed to do any more radio? I As know. we do more radio. I remember that. It was well We're really before. trying. All right. It's, it's, it's Stand Up Kelly. Yeah. Text that to 66333. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And you, but you can text as many times as you want. Thousands of times. That would be I, cheating. I need, I need probably around 12,000 votes. By beat Voss? Yeah. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Somebody cheated. Nothing against Voss, but... No, no Voss is up there. Voss is up there. Wow, wait. Yeah. 12,000 votes by, the, by this afternoon. All right. One more song, Danny, uh, no. as far as the music marathon goes. <laughs> All right. How about you 2 New Year's Day? <clears throat> mm. It's January... Hmm. Let's see, Pano. I went too far with the bit. That's yeah, obvious. yeah, I went a little too far. Goodbye. All right, later. Music marathon time. Right now, go. Uh, Bobby, help me out with this, because you're the big MMA guy. Although I'm getting more and more into it as the days go by, the weeks go by. We had Tito in here yesterday. He's uh, promoting this. Is is did he, no? What was it? Did he make an announcement? Is he in it? Tito, uh, we learned yesterday from Tito Ortiz that he had back surgery. He had some um, vertebrae fused or something. Some kind of surgery. Wow. Who the fuck farted for real? Like, Nobody. Who's, who's messing me. with me? No. I never blast in the studio. Did you sneak one out, Ant? No, I, I never blast in the studio. Bobby? No, if I did, I'd be Danny, very proud you really of didn't it. fart? Especially if it was who, who was just in here? This, this fart is horrendous. I don't smell it. No, you know what's funny? It's uh, I heard Derek uh, in the outside of the studio, and he said something smelled like like rotting something or other. Oh shit! Are Ron and Fez uh, getting us back finally for the liquid ass shit? Because it is horrendous. Is there any garbage some... back there? I don't smell it. Maybe it's in the garbage. Bobby, are you setting me up? Because I set I you up last week. Let me tell you something. Look in my eyes. <laughs> Look into my Look eyes. My Something's eyes. going on. Nah. I'm not stupid. It's not the garbage. Did you bring that deer shit in you were talking no, about? No, no, but I'm glad it, I'm glad you're paranoid right now. Ah, uh, because it's just as good as <laughs> if you had. It's better. A All flinch right. is way better than a smack. This is what Tito's doing. He's uh, he's working with Affliction. They get their pay per view coming up Saturday. You know M1 Affliction Global started, Day right? of Reckoning live on pay per view Saturday at 9 p.m. 6 p.m. Pacific. Right. Tito is going to be announcing. He's going to be an announcer for a while, and he told us yesterday that he expects to be fighting by the end of the year. 
Really? He's With got affliction. some major rehab uh, to go through still. What? With affliction? I don't. I, it, it sounds like that, yeah. Because you know how affliction, this whole company got started, right? No. The only reason why this company got started is because Dana White wouldn't let them wear the affliction T-shirts in the arena. Oh, and, really? On the shows. And it was just, what, a clothing line back then? Yeah, he just wanted, the all the fighters wore affliction. They right. were all signed with them. Right. And he was like, you can't wear them anymore. You have to wear our stuff or somebody else's. So he was like, all right. And he just went and started his own, oh, wow. his own company. Oh, wow. Which wow. is good, though, because UFC is the top dog. Right. You can't get better than UFC. Right. But this guy, this show right here. It's, a, this, it's nice, right? It's not nice. This show, from front to back. Solid card. Is a sh solid, solid card. We had Fedor in, and he's fighting Saturday. Yeah, that would be worth it just to see Fedor. He never, <clears throat> he never comes over here, hardly ever. But the other, all the other fights on here, too, are unbelievable. Well, what about the Zandre the Pitbull? Arlovsky, he's, yeah. he was the one. He was the UFC champ for a while. He really was. He's, huh? a, he's a he's a badass. He's not going to be an easy uh, an easy fight for uh, Fedor, even though everyone is. <laughs> How scary was he the other day in he, here? He's just uh, just the, his silence and his calmness is frightening. Knowing that we were sitting with the tough, the baddest guy, the baddest motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> I like to think that I can handle myself yeah. and I'm a badass to a certain extent. Right. And then someone like that comes in and you go, oh, I'm nothing. You're not I'm a real barely, man. I'm barely a man. I, told, I thought I was more than this. Yeah. He could just take from you anything he um, wanted. Yeah. I was telling, Absolutely. I was telling Patrice, because you know, Patrice was making me nervous because you know he'll blow up a spot just to see what happens. Yeah. And, uh,. I had a few ideas, too, by the way. Oh. I, you would have saw me I was kicking, humbled. I would have kicked you in the ribs with them. <laughs> I was humbled, man. Oh, uh, yeah. This card is unbelievable, though. You got uh, Babalu is fighting, which he's great. He got kicked out of the UFC for putting on a, a choke just a little too long after the guy Oh, really? Out. Yeah, he held it too long. Uh, a, little, uh, yeah, a little take that with you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, a little take that yeah, with you. Yeah, take that with you. And uh, there's another one. There's another guy fighting on here that's not on here. Um... What the hell is his name? He was from the IFL. A lot of the IFL guys, uh, which the company fell apart, is gone. Are fighting with Affliction now, okay. which is great. All right, they picked up a lot of uh, fighters from the IFL. Bobby does know a lot about this. Yeah, it's it's really good. All right, uh, we gave him enough, Bobby. I'm going to watch Saturday pay per view. It's uh, what is it being called? M1 Global Affliction Day of Reckoning. They want us to mention Donald J. Trump, but he's not doing anything. What is he doing? If he gets in the ring, then I'll start mentioning that he's that's fighting. He's yeah. sweating into a dungaree jacket. Yeah, wow. Well, how pompous are you? You got this great fight card, but make sure you mention that it's Donald J. Trump's league or something, or he's involved in this. Who yeah, cares? Yeah, and Golden Boy. I want to uh, see the monsters, not Donald J. Trump. De La Hoya is... Uh, so are the girls going to be there? De La Hoya is involved, too. Yeah, they should be fighting each other. Now, that's the main event. Fantastic. Put them in the ring. Where's their opponent? Oh, they don't have an opponent. MMA. They'll just be punching each other Once nonstop. Once trying to tap out. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we rough. did enough. Pay-per-view Saturday, 9 p.m. Contact your pay-per-view provider to order. All right, we're going to continue. Danny's got a fine bit for us. We're going to get to that in a second, though, Danny, right? We're going to do a little mopping up first. Because I, I promised the people this story. We like to talk about the perv switch on the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. And we have a mayor out of Wisconsin. Jesus. What this guy's up doing? to some shenanigans. You're the mayor. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Cheesehead mayor and sex flap. Cheesehead. Milwaukee, uh, the mayor of some town in Wisconsin, resigned yesterday, days after being accused of trying to arrange a sex romp with an... With an... With an... Uh, I know you can't say the word. N. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> with oh, who? I thought think? you were just saying... With who? You think... Um, there's only a couple choices. Did he go gay? Did he go underage? What? Underage, but Is I there don't another know choice in there girl. that would get you in a lot of trouble? Animal. I'd say underage, but I don't know if it's a boy or girl. The answer would be underage, Anthony. Mayor Gary Becker stepped down in a one-sentence one letter. <laughs> yeah, best not say much. Uh, there made no reference to the six felony charges he faces. Six felony charges. One sentence for six felonies? Wow. Def that fucker. Defense lawyer Patrick uh, Cafferty said Becker decided to resign. And the Beaver Brown. <laughs> right. <laughs> decided to resign because it was in the best interest of everyone involved. Yeah. He said his client intends to plead not guilty to all charges. 
Uh, he was arrested, Anthony, January 13th after, this is where the perf switch goes off, after arranging to meet with what he thought was a 14-year-old girl. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, but was actually, but it was actually a cop. Of course, it's you know why? all cops at this it's point. It's always a cop. What are you doing? Maybe in the wild, wild you... west years of the internet, you were uh, meeting the fourteen-year-olds, yeah. but not. Uh, who's doing this now? No you're, one's you're, doing You got to be anymore. crazy. Fourteen-year-old uh, girl. It was a cop. He offered to take the girl to a hotel to have lots of fun. His quote: mm. "Child porn was also allegedly found on his computer." And we got an update to the story that wasn't in the paper, but now it's official. The investigation started last month after Becker asked uh, city workers to help him fix a problem with his... <laughs> He's making all the mistakes. Oh, no. Is, is this like textbook fuck-up? Yeah, absolutely. Guy has a problem with his computer. He has some city workers to help him fix a problem with his uh, personal computer. Took it where Gary Glitter took his. <laughs> right. Police said the computer technician found six pornographic images of what appeared to be underage females and alerted authority. Mm. Police passed the pictures around uh, the station house. <laughs> hey, and, check this out. <laughs> yeah, let me jerk off to that. No, the police did not do that. Police passed the case on to state investigators to avoid a conflict of interest. Yeah. Uh, investigators who searched Becker's computer found records of... How many sexually explicit chats, Anthony, would you guess? This guy. Was Ten a, million. How about 1,800? All right. <laughs> this guy was a bad 1,800 man. little chats. Yeah. 1,800. So, wow. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. There goes your career. Yeah. Gonzo. It's not like Shock Jock Radio where, you know, you sit out a little while. For that? For politics like that? Unless, you know, you're. No underage shit. You don't sit out for a while in uh, <clears> Shock Jock <throat> Radio land. They got, they got a guy recently. I forgot what uh, market, but he uh, he was a bad boy. Boston, Pereno. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there was one even like more recent than that. Oh, oh no, I know. Every so often it says you know, disc jockey and right. underage sex flap. Now um, I want to do a little cleanup from yesterday. Uh, Sam, very upset because Vince McMahon is uh, very injured again. You know, this was uh, overshadowed by the inauguration. Yeah. Uh, apparently Vince McMahon, who was injured, he, he, Sam comes in shaking his head like, oh, Sam, like you're so right upset today. about it. <clears throat> I'm really sorry that I haven't been kind of present with the show. Yeah, I've noticed like your your mind's been a little preoccupied. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I would I know it's an important time with the inauguration and everything going yeah. on. I would have liked to have been here more. Yeah, but yeah. There's some other stuff going on in my life. Now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> last we left you and the Vince McMahon saga was, I think, seven to eight months ago. Well, I he think, was injured. Yeah, it was six months ago. Six months ago. What happened for the people out there that don't give a shit but might hang in there for a little longer <laughs> well, he was before giving, they go to fucking uh, a rock station? He was giving away a million bucks a week yeah. to uh, lucky fans who were watching. And then on the last week, the set fell down on top of him. And the stage broke, mm -hmm. and basically he was. Left. And basically didn't injure him at all, but <laughs> he decided he needed hair plugs or a facelift or some eye <laughs> eye work done, so well, decided to disappear for six months. No, because all, all the wrestlers came over and they had to help him, and he said that he couldn't feel his legs. But when the whole stage collapsed, Sam, you yeah. don't want to acknowledge the fact that there was a safe area for Vince McMahon to be. Yeah, yeah. So nothing actually happened to him as all hell was uh, and that rig, coming loose. That lighting rig or whatever it was. Um, was hinged on the bottom. Right. What it I didn't fall over. It it was hinged and and fell exactly where it was supposed to. I've been yeah. looking at that and I did uh, notice the hinge. I'm not yeah. gonna. I'm not an idiot. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I would never suggest. What I realized play is one on the radio. <laughs> they travel. Yeah. You know, from city to city, every Do day, they? every week. The Raw is live, and they were using the same set, so obviously they need something that can disassemble. Oh. That was a disassembling Luck, mechanism. Lucky for Vince, because yeah. no, it fell on him. That's not lucky. Oh, oh so, I thought it just missed him. No, it fell on him. All right, we'll play in your world for All a while, right. Sam. So Thank when you. it fell on him, what happened to Mr. <clears throat> McMahon? Well, he was terribly injured, but uh, they no wanted, details. No, because they wanted to keep it private. Yeah, because that's what the McMahon family does, keeps everything private in their, yes. in their life. They're a very private family. Oh, are they? By the way, because it's all about Twitter the last couple of days, and trust me, we'll relax and go back to regular crap again. But Blue Healer writes, Sam wasted a Twitter update on a Vince announcement. 
Well, I just, because I like to keep my Twitter updated with what's going on in my life, and I was kind of absent from that, too, so I said that my <laughs> thoughts and prayers were with Mr. McMahon. You're going to lose followers. You're going to lose eyeballs. <laughs> You're going to lose eyeballs. The eyeballs It's all about too. eyeballs, right, kids? But <laughs> How so, many eyeballs do you have? <laughs> so Stephanie came back. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she was in charge of Raw while Vince was gone. Mm -hmm. Vince made his big return this week on Monday. Vince made his big return. Wait a minute. He has not been back. No, not at all. Since that uh, the, the fake thing injury. fell on him. The fake injury. The fake You're, injury. Since, right. we'll, we'll play along. Right. Since uh, that, that big piece of uh, mechanism, whatever it was, fell on him yeah, and I call injured it him. the horrible accident. Since the horrible accident. Yeah. He has not been back. No. So this was his first day back in front of a huge crowd. Uh, yes. Sold out, as always. He had not been seen since... That uh, horrible accident. Nope. And he had not. There was no formal announcement. No press release. He was staying out of the public eye to recuperate. Uh huh. So obviously he had recuperated. Thank God. He, he seemed to be fine uh, in the clip I saw. He yeah. was doing his McMahon strut and everything. Yeah. So yeah, Sam, why do you think he's out of the public eye for so long? He was so recently. Kitty porn on his computer. <laughs> no. What do you think? He was. <laughs> what was he dealing with? He, well, an illegitimate child in in uh, Des Moines. <laughs> and what's he got? What's he got going? The only thing he's got going is a fear of paralysis because when the thing fell on him, he said he couldn't feel his legs. Yeah. Uh, so well, apparently that didn't happen. No, thank God. Thank. And they didn't God. explain this. No. Just like uh, the fake <laughs> car explosion. No, they didn't explain remember that one. Yeah. Remember? Well. No, he did explain that. He said he faked his own death to see if people still liked him. Oh, that's and they a good did. Idea. They cared. That's a mature thing to do. <laughs> yes. Sane, mature thing. <laughs> Blow up a limousine. <laughs> to see if you're not sure like, if people like, like you. you. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Is it true? He, <laughs> is it true he spent his time off digging up uh, Chris Benoit? Oh my God. And repeatedly. Oh my God. Okay. And, he, and he repeatedly punched him in the face for ruining his exploding limo bit. No. Was By actually fish. dying when he wanted to fake die. I would assume his time was spent in hospital and physical therapy. Yeah. All right. You would assume. I would assume. But again, no formal announcement, so we don't know. But he came back. Mm -hmm. And uh, first they made Chris Jericho apologize to the fans for the way he's been treating them. Mm. Because he's been a bad guy. Has he? Then... And because Vince hasn't been there to straighten him out? Exactly. Exactly, of course. Then Randy Orton came out. Mm -hmm. And he said that Stephanie McMahon had slapped him in the face mm -hmm. on Raw that night. And he wanted an apology from Stephanie. Oh. How did he? Uh, how did she slap him with her big, massive <laughs> breast implants? No, with her hand. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it, there, Pally. Why? Because that clip could get played one day I'm a... when Triple H is in here. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh shit! Mark that clip. No, 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 no! I ain't dealing with that monster. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the monsters these days. And so I think, what clips do I have there? I think I have the clip of Randy I Orton. love uh, Stephanie McMahon's uh, 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 new boobs, by the way. <laughs> big, <laughs> big fan. Big fan. I don't she's think had, they're new, though. She's had, those she's had two kids, too. Yeah. Really? Two kids. Wow. Amazing. All right, guys, I'm sorry. Keep that McMahon family going. That's nice. But, yeah, what's that first track labeled? I think, uh... Labeled, this is horse shit. What? <laughs> oh, this is uh, labeled uh, show filler. What do you mean, track show filler. one? Show filler. No, that's not what I wrote that. <laughs> wow. And, and track two's labeled, this should get you to 11 o'clock. No, that's not what I wrote. Randy Orton explains that he is worth more than Stephanie McMahon. Right, he said track he wants one. an apology because he's uh, worth more to the company. All right, so uh -huh. here we go. Because I am worth more than she is. Because people pay to see me and not you. Crowd's not with him. No. No. And you might not want to admit this, but ever since your daughter here has popped you out a couple of grandkids, oh shit, yeah, this is she has become essentially worthless. Now you can wow. obviously assume wow. that did not sit too well with Mr. McMahon. Yeah, but uh. this is my question, especially with the bad economy. Uh huh. <laughs> Shouldn't he be fired immediately? <laughs> Wouldn't That's you just <laughs> fire him? <laughs> That's what well, he was, I'm, I'm enough oh, with the nonsense. Coincidentally enough, you're right. Because oh, am I? Vince Sam. McMahon said, "Orton, yeah, you apologize right now, yeah. or I'll fire you on the spot." All right, see. Oh, why would you just fire him on the spot? <laughs> well, because he's you know he's a good actor. Yeah, you know, why would you give him a chance to even apologize God. when he says something so nasty? You know how easy our careers would have been. Oh, Mel, I'm really sorry. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Well, Mr. McMahon, you're not a, fired. He's got a big heart. 
Does he? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Randy Orton! Yeah! Oh! oh. All right, what happened? There? Oh my God! He because he yeah. said, he he got he got all revved up. Yeah, because he said I'm going to fire you on the spot. Randy Orton said you don't want to do that, and so Vince said you're fuck. And Randy Orton slapped him across his face. He only got the your out. You know the your is followed by fire. Yeah, fire. And this can't do it because my throat shit. This but. is this is kind of where the humor leaves the clip. Oh, because <coughs> at this point Vince McMahon. This is where the humor leaves. <laughs> That's to say there was humor to begin with. Sam. Yeah. Well, we could all we were all having fun before. I think the humor found an off ramp a few miles back. I don't know. Yeah. But, 1978. Uh, Vince <laughs> fell to the ground because he got slapped hard by Randy Orton. Yeah. And Randy Orton then he kicked Vince McMahon in his head. No. He kicked him once to position him, and then when Vince McMahon was on all fours. Uh -huh. He punted his head. Punted. So he punted Vince's head. What's the difference? Yeah, a punt is much harder. So he just kind of kicked his head first yeah. to get it in punt position. Yeah. And then he backed up and punted Vince's head. At which point Vince was left completely unresponsive. So he was back for how long? He was back for, he did a, uh, about 10 minutes. So, He's done for 10 six, minutes six months, six months. <laughs> yes. he was injured. I would love that job. Drastically injured in the horrible accident, as <laughs> yeah. he likes to call it. Yeah. He comes back six months later, and within 10 minutes, they're yeah. carting him out again on a stretcher. The ambulance drive, guys. And Stephanie ran into the ring screaming. Really? Yeah. We, we, oh, we, did she? We can listen now this, to him. All right. This will tell if this is real or not, because yeah. She's Stephanie is not the best actress right i've never seen her act so i don't know so oh really yeah i don't know yeah you never saw when she was chained to that pipe no, that I the saw... undertaker uh, put her down there and yeah i saw that she's like please daddy and right when she was kidnapped <laughs> yes <laughs> look look at <laughs> vince right. mcmahon's uh haircut from my boy's life <laughs> <laughs> and this boy's life it does i mean this yeah he's got this boy's <laughs> life haircut. what the fuck is that uh, maybe he got some hair follicle restoration. And I don't know. His hair's a lot shorter. Something's had, going on up there. He had more of a puffy uh, cut, and he's not dyeing it. Yeah, because uh, he had black hair after he got it shaved. Yeah, like, at WrestleMania, he that just time. let it grow in, sure. and now he's kept it short. Oh, that's wonderful, Sam. So uh, obviously, Randy Orton is uh, fired because and I'm probably sure in jail. Else that, yeah, and in jail. Well, there's the thing. You'd think he was. Did but, he go to his arraignment? While security was in the ring, yeah, Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase left Jr. the country. No, ran to the locker room. Well, <laughs> so why can why can the police go into the locker? Room? That is like he attempted murder. Well, yeah. So why why didn't the police arrest him? Well, probably he had a getaway car waiting for him in the locker room. Oh, it's good. Lucky for him to explode. Car in the locker room. It's good to know. No, right outside the locker it's room. It's good to know these guys don't have to live by the same rules we do, Sam. Well, they're wrestlers. They're big uh, stars. Here's the whole clip with uh, Vince. Is, um, Vince getting knocked to the ground, uh, punted. His yeah. head is punted, it's and an then apology. Stephanie uh, showing the whole thing is actually real because yeah. she her acting is horrendous. So what? What? I don't know. Randy Orton. That's when he punted his head. Get some help out here. See? <laughs> Please talk to me. He wasn't Dad. responding at all. Of course he wasn't. Right, well. Totally unresponsive. Oh, oh he wow. He kicked him. Yeah. He did boot him right in the... Oh, oh, my God. And there he is, unresponsive. And at this point, Randy Orton, because he was acting out of pure emotion, yes, yes. realizes, what have I done? Did he see the error in his ways there? And, he, and now he's... he's oh, my oh, God. See? What have I done? Wow, he was so wound up and into this situation that he... Uh, Mr. McMahon was only back for 10 minutes. 10, ten minutes. This so is what dangerous. Is, why does Vince need a year off, by the way, <laughs> with a 10-minute break during well, his year-long yeah. vacation? That's all I want to know. I don't think a hospital stay in physical therapy is a year <laughs> off. Neither do I. That's Personal. why I'm asking. Oh. Why does he need a year off? Oh. Look at Stephanie, all despondent. <laughs>
There's the kid. See what I mean? He's not opening his eyes. He's not moving. Oh. At least he had his eyes open when the Titan Tron fell on him. Yes, yes. The well, when those Tron. guys come in who would like in the khakis, plain dressed. Those are real guys. That's obviously not, they're oh, EMTs. Yeah, those, yeah are, those are real. They're not. Yeah. They're not like the the wrestlers that. Well, they got to be big to lift him up and put him on the stretcher. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, well. And then they show it again in slow motion, and it's just... Um, well, the story's still developing, right, Sam? Oh. In the yeah, because we don't know. We, we don't know if he's okay. Yet? No. no Why wouldn't they report on this now? Because oh. now, now, there was the accident. Look at this. The there head punt. Being a huge oh, oh, that was, that was entertainment a... entity, you would yeah. think this would be on all the news channels. Yeah, now, why isn't this... At least on their website, his his condition. I know they're very private people, but they this was very... a public thing uh, yeah. that happened. This wasn't an accident. This is a crime. Yeah, believe me, it's a fucking crime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. The thing about the media is they tend to pick and choose their stories, uh -huh. <laughs> and I think the prejudice against <laughs> professional wrestling as an industry is yeah. really coming into the limelight with the amount of time they're spending on this inauguration thing sure. and not covering. Vince McMahon's, McMahon's uh, condition at uh, all? Assault I mean, look here. At the, oh, my oh. God. He was completely assaulted. I don't even know if he survived, quite frankly. I just learned how to do a fake kick to the head, by the way. How? So you get both feet in the air, then if you kick the guy, it, it's not as damaging. Yeah, and then That's you, pull, you pull the kick back. Right. We should try that Last right second. now with Sam's head. No kidding. They couldn't, wow. They couldn't move his neck. They had to tape it down and everything. You can't move a guy like that, because they don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah. How come... The camera people are allowed in so close. Yeah. When the EMTs are working on Mr. McMahon, why why wouldn't they tell them please get out of here? Don't tape this. Because even the EMTs know, as Mr. McMahon would say, the show must go on. But then he doesn't talk. No. So Mr. if the show McMahon... must go on, how about you give us information on how you feel? How about we we see video of your uh, rehabilitation? Maybe we'll find out on SmackDown Friday night. <laughs> well, yeah. Right? Maybe, maybe. If we tune on to my network yeah. on Friday night, we'll get to see SmackDown. We'll find out on SmackDown sometime in April. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a year off. Okay. I the smell is either my sweatpants or the chair itself. Oh, my God. If you have Every time ass. I move. When was the last time you changed those? Because I know you can wear sweatpants for a long time. <laughs> this is, I'm only uh, two days in. Did you have cranky ass? No, nah, I don't think so. No. I'll smell the chair in a second or two. Thank you, Sam, for that uh, amazing Vince McMahon All right, so we will... Uh, uh, wow, we got to keep updated. Please keep me updated, because oh, you know I am a yeah. huge fan of Vince McMahon, and I care about what happens to him. Uh, sounds tragic. Yeah, I will keep you guys updated. Sounds Sam. really tragic. <laughs> yeah? Well, you know wrestling's fake, right? Well, I mean, you know, some people say it's like... They kind of they know what they're doing and everything, but a lot of the stuff that happens, like this stuff, does end like up being that. real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the real stuff. Because you're not going to fake a kick to the head. Why would you work on your body that much and not use it for real? <laughs> that's what I. That's why I think it's real. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to no, I'm with you, Sam. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to spend eight hours in the gym to look like a like once again a monster, of course, then this has to be real. Right. All right, why do you need abs to fake kick somebody in the face? Right, right. Exactly. Did you see the abs on Randy Orton? That guy is cut. And if you're having an argument with somebody about insulting your, your daughter like he did, yeah. um, you would give each of them a microphone and let them, you know, <laughs> go at it like that. Because that's, yeah. that's what you do when you well, have yeah, an argument. So Instead saying, of taking it in the back office where Vince could be the boss and tell him, look, you sit down, here's what happened, you apologize, you're fired. Give them the mic. Get them out in the ring. Well, the thing about WWE Raw is uncut, uncooked, uncensored. Live TV, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the motto they he used knows, to have. You know, a little catchphrase. Yeah. And they might not have an office in the back. It, that might exactly. the stage, that ring is might be vintage That's office. their office. Well, you know something? There's cameras everywhere, too. Well, I've, seen, cam I've yeah. seen them go in the back, and there's cameras back there, too. So could have happened every, anywhere. Okay. Thank God it happened in the ring because I, it could have happened on the cement. I've seen oh that, too. Oh, my God. Can you yeah. imagine? There's oh the my cameras, God, like, when guys are having secret conversations with like yeah, what yeah. they're going to do, and they don't want anybody else to know. There's a giant camera right next to them, and a mic, yeah. mic boom. Yeah. But they'll keep talking. Yeah. Well, you don't realize. After a while of being a wrestler in the spotlight, you don't even know when there's no, a camera there I anymore. I heard it's a WWE camera. It's like a, only like really like a fly. It's really oh, small. Like a fly on the wall yeah. camera. That's what it's called. Brilliant. Like, yeah. They'll yeah. fly on the wall camera. They don't yeah. even know it's there. Fun. That makes sense. Right? That makes sense. <laughs> All right, look. 
Uh, I hope the show must go on on this show right now. Let me fly about this. Flying around the hunk of bullshit. (laughs) What? (laughs) That is this storyline. Yeah, really. Uh, This is Greg Hughes now talking. uh, We human you're enough. We get the fuck out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. Uh, Thank you. All the best if you hear something. I will, yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, we're going to get to Sam's, uh, 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 sorry, Danny and uh, I think Travis helped you out with this a little bit, too. A fine bit. What is it called, Danny? It's called <laughs> Are You Gay? Are yes. You gay? <laughs> yes. I saw uh, you were going for This that. is perfect with Robert Kelly. Could you describe studio. it? What it means? Well, uh, I found a website where uh, basically people who are confused. Wait, keep the tease there. Okay. Because we're going to take a break. Okay. Oh, look but at you. We're going to do this Are You Gay thing. Sure. And, and Robert Kelly's here, and Danny will explain the whole thing. Mm-hmm. It's pretty funny, actually. I am. The bit is pretty funny. Sounds sexy. Hey, okay. uh, beforehand, though, we got some uh, video gamers in studio. I'm smelling something every so often. It's when I move. It's this chair. I'm, I'm convinced of it. Smell the chair. Oh. I can't smell it at all. Sniff that seat. Obi looks like Robert Redford from the back. Is it in the natural? Is it bad? Is it the same? It's not good. <laughs> As opposed to good, it's, it's poofing up some smells oh, every time you sit in this oh, thing. Oh shit! How do you clean chairs? You throw them out and buy a new one. Really? That's the only way to clean. You I would clean love to do that, but uh, times are tough. Uh, <laughs> this clip's uh, this clip has been sitting here. I want to. I want to. You know. I want to get rid of this one. Fourteen-year-old. Uh, and family fight off an intruder. Okay. Fourteen year old and family? Right. Nice. The beauty of this clip, the kid calls none the nine one one like it's a video game. No way. Listen to this. <laughs> also in California, a family and their dog fight off an intruder at their home. Fourteen year old Nick Garvin screamed for help after hearing his one hundred and sixty pound Great Dane barking. Nick's parents came to the rescue and started fighting with the suspect. I was on the phone actually with the operator. My mom was struggling. I just started lugging on him. I was like, "Get down! Stay down!" And the the, the cop girl's like, "What? Are you, what? What's going on, Mick? Tell me right now what's going on." I'm like, uh, "My parents are fighting. Hold on, hold on. Boom, boom." <laughs> it's like playing Call of Duty. The guy sounds like every kid that That's you, what I mean. you yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. You hear over the uh, the mic, over the headset mic on Call of Duty. <laughs> Fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Boom, boom!" He's so excited. <laughs> it's real life, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> you could have been dead. Asshole laughing at you because you walked into his bouncing Betty for the fucking 18th time. <laughs> fucking cunt. Uh-huh. The only thing that would have made that better is instead of boom, boom, he went pew, pew, <laughs> pew, <laughs> pew, pew, <laughs> pew. All right, quick break. Are you gay with Robert Kelly? And Wait a minute. Can you say my name last? Are you, are you gay, Robert Kelly? Are you gay? Kelly? And that just says go to Robert Kelly. You can cut that up any way you want. But yes, I am half gay. You'll explain that, too. Okay. You learned that, what, you're 54% gay? 54%. Robert gay. Kelly will explain that. That's kind of why we wanted to do the bit with Bobby here, because we know he's a little gay, so he might, he might, have, a little. He, he might have some good opinions. A little gay. A little. I'm definitely not the gayest. <laughs> All right. Danny found something very fun for the show today. It's called Are You Gay? And I guess it's a website. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's a website called Am I Gay, mm-hmm. and I guess you can go there and you can submit your questions if you're curious or if if you have weird, strange feelings that you're not comfortable with. You could go uh, to this website and anonymously ask the question, "Are you gay?" But this is kind of our bit. We do gay or funny. Yes, it is, and I thought I thought we mm. could probably tackle this mm. and take a few gay or funny calls at the same time. Because as as guys, you you do end up getting into these. Kind of gay scenarios, but you're doing it for the laugh and not for the gay. So we do a bit called Gay or Funny, and you call up. And what was one is of the that, ones? Is that- oh, one of the ones was, this is a perfect <clears throat> example of Gay or Funny. A guy calls up and he goes, all right, uh, we're all at my friend's pool. And, and of course, he has to go, there were women there. <laughs> and one guy, uh, they convinced this guy, I don't think you, you hold your breath underwater for the whole lap of the pool. The guy goes, fuck you, I can do that. And he jumps in. And as he's underwater trying to get to the other side, his buddy, like, drops his bathing suit and has his ball bag and his penis <laughs> right there waiting for the guy when, you know, when you do and try. And comes up for air. <laughs> and you know when we all try to do that, you know, that first breath is like. <gasps> yeah. And there was waiting for him, you know, the guy's <laughs> penis and ballies. That's... And we determined that was just uh, funny. That's funny. 
That's just funny, not that's gay. Not gay. What happened after was gay when he just started yeah, sucking yeah. him. <laughs> <Not> any <laughs> further. Slowly yeah. fell to his knees and uh, let him do it. Yeah. Shut a load the pool. So, <laughs> so I guess this website kind of does uh, what we've been doing for a while, but that's okay. So what do you want us to do, Danny? You want well, us to read the questions? Yeah, I thought maybe you guys would have your own opinions on some of these questions. Well, and, Bobby uh, is and maybe you, an and maybe on this stuff, and maybe yeah. you would disagree with perhaps uh, the owner of this website and his responses. Maybe you would have some other okay. And responses. these are the best ones you picked. Yeah, these are some funny ones. I mean, there's more obviously, but these are some good ones. But whoever reads this is going to sound gay. <laughs> Those clips are not are never leaving. Those clips will be with you and follow you forever. <laughs> we could have David. You want David to read them? Ah, oh, he would take so long. Oh. That's true. <laughs> I've always been. You know what? If you're if you're really really bothered by it, you could always play that music bed, and that way we can't cut it off. I'm production. not bothered. We got what? Am I gay? Thinking music. Yeah, great. All right, here's the Am I gay? Thinking mm. music. How about we take turns? I'll do the first one. Oh. Questions from men. I've always been into women, and I love the female body. Let me change my voice as someone else yeah, later yeah, on. Yeah. And sensitivity that women present. However, every time I get a serious girlfriend, which has been about three or four times, such as the one I have now, I dream of her getting fucked by another guy while she's giving me head. Jeez. Or I dream of her sucking another guy's dick while I am doing her from behind. I make her tell me that she wishes she was getting fucked by one or two other guys while she is sucking my cock, and it turns me on like nothing else. I dream of her swallowing another guy's cum and slopping, <laughs> slopping it onto my dick while she returns <laughs> to finish me off. I like it, she likes it, and we both get extremely turned on by these fantasies that we act out in fantasy land. Although it has never happened in reality, I could never kiss a guy that disgusts me. <laughs> the other four doesn't? But surprisingly, I could suck a guy's cock and sometimes dream of it. <laughs> I've even sucked on my girlfriend's dildo when she was unaware and I became extremely turned on. I have no desire to screw a guy in the ass. Well, that'd be gay. But I sometimes think of sitting on a hard cock. <laughs> I've never acted out any of this, and I wonder if it should just remain in fantasy land. Am I by Ted? <laughs> it, it's Ted, and Timmy's not here today. <laughs> I just realized that. Oh, was oh, oh damn it! I like sucking on hard cocks. <laughs> Ted from California. I'm a cuckold. Ted the cuckold. I wish you'd slop your cum on my cock. <laughs> I like it. She likes. We all like it. Uh, Bobby, <laughs> is this is this guy gay? Uh, That's some gay stuff, no? You get that off my computer? <laughs> I'm, I, I have a tough time, and, uh, you know, the phones will be lit once again, but there's a lot of guys out there that could have another naked guy in the room. I've had it many and times. And I, I just... I just can't do that. I've had it many times. And then times. a lot of guys are like, what's the big deal? And, and we lose the argument all the time. More guys Let me will tell, you tell us, look, there's nothing gay about it at all. I had Sherrod Smalls fucking blasting a... A, a flight attendant with his fucking 17 inch cock. Yeah. While I was trying to get ahead. Oh, God. Okay? He was attached to her like a fucking alien. <laughs> latched on. And I had to hold his sweaty head. I had to hold, I had to hold it back because his head kept touching like where my cock was, gut was. Right. So. I don't know. That's yeah. good for you guys. I could pull it off. I don't yeah. know. I, I, dude, let me tell you something. There's nothing fucking better than to be fucking a chick from behind right. and your friend's getting ahead. And then there's that nothing. second of eye contact where you both go and you start giggling and Look, you got to hold it in and you make it into a, a mo moan. Like, see, Bob, oh. it's not a time to giggle. Oh, it's hilarious. You're high-fiving while you're fucking blasting a chick. Look, I can't even, like, you know, argue it anymore. We lost that argument with the listeners a long time ago. A lot of dudes go, look, there's nothing wrong with it. No, nothing wrong with it. <laughs> All right, uh, here's the answer for, according to the website. Well, oh, what do you think this guy is, uh, Bobby? What this guy is? Well, he Bye. said he wants to suck on a dildo. He has. He has sucked on a dildo. Well, when you stop putting fucking cocks in your mouth alone on a couch <laughs> while you're watching reruns of fucking uh, yeah, House. Yeah, come up with the show. <laughs> All right, here's what uh, the website says. <laughs> It's a muscle. Here's the answer. Ted, 
Wanting to watch another guy doing your girlfriend or having her suck his dick is not gay. No. Another guy's cum on your cock? That's kind of gay. <laughs> kind of gay. Sir. Sucking and sitting on a cock? <laughs> definitely gay. Or in your case, bi. You definitely have the potential to be bi. Whether you leave it as a fantasy is up to you, my friend, and your girlfriend, if she's not involved in the scenario. Or it says if she if she's involved oh, in the scenario. Oh, if she's involved in the scenario, yeah. yes. There you go. If this guy wants to suck a cock... <laughs> yeah, you're gay. He's he's gay. Well, bye. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, Bobby. no. Wait, you let me just something? defend this. Bobby's fighting for bye. <laughs> but, look at bye, because he does for fuck chicks. Look at me, Anthony. You. <laughs> <laughs> you. You. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. Look, look, at, me. look at my eyes with those big, look at me. brown, beautiful eyes. I cannot fathom <laughs> yeah. anyone wanting to suck a a dick and not just be like, "Yeah, I'm gay." So you can't go back to <laughs> pussy after you suck a dick. You wouldn't want to. Why not? Because because so you wonderful. just suck the dick. <laughs> if you made that jump. It's like jumping off a cliff. There's no going back. Yeah. Oh, once I hit bottom, uh, I'll fucking I'll Your go bottom? back. I bet you bottom. Your bottom or sloppy top? party bottom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bobby John from Kansas City. Uh, is this true? Bobby just wishes the woman wasn't in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, All right, Aunt, it's your turn. Oh. Uh, use a radio voice, and then they can't uh, cut yeah. this up and make it sound like uh, this is you. Right. Here's the am I gay uh, thinking music. All right. After foreplay, when we're about to have sex, there's a 50-50 chance that my boyfriend is going to put his penis between my butt cheeks and hump until he comes. I guess this is oh, wow. this is the girl's side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. After foreplay. <laughs> Can't do a girl voice. Just remember, this is a girl. It's just intense rubbing, no anal penetration. Even though I don't feel like I'm getting any pleasure from it, my vagina gets wet. I mean, she's getting some kind of pleasure? No? Pleasure. And if he touches me down there and feels that I'm wet, it seems to turn him on even more. What's going on here? He's affectionate in public and private with me, gets aroused easily by my body, especially if I'm wearing a low top, short skirt, or bathing suit. And he was very straight. Oh, and he was very upset that we dated almost six months before I finally agreed to have sex with him. All signs seem to point to uh, straight, but the whole anal thing confuses me. If he's not gay or bisexual, why is it that it takes him 20 plus minutes to come during vaginal sex, but only five to seven minutes to come during anal? Because it's Good. easier to pitch you as a little boy when you're on your stomach. Can I stomach. answer this question or you want it? Man? Opie, field it. Cause you're, field this fucking cause, fly ball into center field. Because your because your asshole is much tighter, you loose cunt. <laughs> Do you know how a guy's anatomy works at all? Well, because too, when you when you're in the vagina, you loose sloppy those, whore. Those tits ruin his fantasy. It can't be a fucking young twink if it has nice tits. There can't be a, a woman that thinks that if a guy wants some ass sex that he's gay. Right. Unless it's all for wow. brother or something. But well, well, Anthony, why don't you um, answer as uh, maybe um, maybe as because uh, a lot of people say and this sounds a lot like maybe Casey Case. I'm reading. Uh, oh, you can't do voices. Today. No, I, can't. I wish I could. All right, maybe next time voices while we do this. Yeah. All right. What's uh, what's the answer? This guy, uh, are we in agree agreement is not gay? Not gay. Not gay yet? Uh, not gay. This is so not gay. All right. This is the not not as gay thing I've, I've ever. Actu I've actually done this rubbing your, your cock in the butt cheeks. September 11th, I was on the set. <laughs> are you talking 2001? Yeah, when everything went down. <laughs> Uh, I was stuck in Jersey on the set of a TV show, uh -huh. and they put us up in these hotels, and I actually wound up sharing a hotel with an extra hot chick, uh -huh. and she wouldn't let me... I wish it was the fucking Marriott. <laughs> <laughs> Go local for everybody. <laughs> I'm no, I'm joking. I didn't do anything. All right. No? No. Let's get the answer out there. Yeah, what is everyone saying on Pal Talk? Not gay or gay yet?
Uh, not gay. This has to be not gay. It's so not gay. Uh, not let me gay. get the uh, Am I Gay uh, music bag on. Uh, Jamie, what you're describing isn't anal sex. It's a form of frottage or sexual <laughs> stimulation by rubbing, in this case, against your butt cheeks. Some guys like to rub their dick between a woman's breasts, thighs, or feet, and even a woman's armpit. Axialism. Yeah. It's called axialism. <laughs> Is it? One of my, yeah. Not one of my fetishes, but one of Ooh. my favorite fetishes to talk about because it's so fucking weird. Mm. It was in my fetish book. I like that. Mm. I like eating an armpit like a pussy. <laughs> I don't know why your boyfriend gets off so much uh, at this. Uh, maybe he likes the feeling better than vaginal intercourse. Or maybe your ass just really turns him on. However, it doesn't mean he's gay. Even if he liked to penetrate you anally, that would not make him gay. A lot of straight men. <laughs> And even some straight women enjoy anal sex. There you go. Yeah, there's nothing about um, rubbing your cock on any part of a woman. Of course not. That makes you gay. Of course not. All right, where's uh, get Sam in here to read one. But Bobby, why don't we go to you for the next one? Right. <laughs> this one? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> We're just going around the room, I swear to God. I swear to God. You fucking picked the quick winner for me, didn't you? Oh, yeah. what do you got? A bad one? <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's a bad one, Ed. I once checked out some gay porn. And now when I masturbate, I come way harder when I think of gay porn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yet I have no physical attraction to desire to be with a man. I am happily married and very much enjoy the sex with my wife. Am I gay? <laughs> <laughs> Jim Norton from Manhattan. Yeah. I, wow, I would say you're gay. I would say if you're jerking off. To gay porn. To gay porn. Uh, that's gay. <laughs> I would call that gay. The gay is before the word porn. All right, what if... <laughs> it's pretty much gay porn. Right. What if, like, the guy in the gay porn looked like Sam? <sighs> That's not gay, because Sam is very girl-like. Yeah, that'd be not very cute. twinkish. That's like, I mean, although the hair uh, is... Uh, no, once we, they grow we, hair, we, it's We braided over. the hair. I yeah. have some masculine qualities. Yeah, name what? one. Strong jawbone? No. <laughs> yeah, if you want to put cum on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the answer, Bobby? <laughs> No, you're not gay. Get ah, the fuck! This wow. website sucks. Wait a minute, you might be oh, bi okay. if you gave it a chance. But, if you're not really interested or curious, and you're not satisfied with your sex and life you, with and your spouse... And you're satisfied with your sex life with your spouse. Yes. There's no real reason to experiment and find out. Of course, if you keep jacking off to the thoughts of gay sex, you probably are going to get a little curious <laughs> about what it's like to at that point. So... Uh, you may or may not it's a like stepping it. bone. <laughs> like, it in, like it in real life. So don't do anything that's going to jeopardize your marriage. Suck a fat cock. If you and your wife have the sort of relationship where you talk about these things, tell tell her about your fantasies. Yeah, that's gonna go over good. Yeah. Hey, listen, I was thinking about fucking taking it in the ass and yeah. sucking and swallowing load. What do you think about that, honey? Um, and maybe you can watch yeah. gay porn together. Get the fuck fuck out you. Of here. If I ever told my wife, "Hey, baby, <laughs> I want to watch. I want to watch Sam fucking Travis." I have a video of that. That's oh. what I'm thinking too. How do you get that done? <laughs> yeah. What do you? No. Mm. Your wife's gonna be fucking you with one eye open, like, ugh. Am I gay? I watched Meat Spin until I felt like I was seasick. <laughs> Until I, till my eyes were spinning in my head. Until I came and it shot into my own mouth <laughs> by accident. All right, let's go to. And Sam. by I, I mean the guy that I was with. You can't watch fucking porn. How do you even? Could you imagine going to Lindsay? Lindsay, can I Hell talk to you? Fucking no. Yeah, man. sure. That's what's nuts. up? She would laugh at me. Little yeah. gay porno. All right, let's go to Sam. Sam gets the next one. Here's your gay yeah. music. I got it right here, Sam. Here you go, baby doll. If you're jacking the last one on the page, the gay there. porn, the real short if, one. If you're watching, if you're have jacking you a gay porn, you can watch gay porn <laughs> as uh, a goof. <laughs> as a goof for like three seconds. Yeah, we we were all in the office that one day, Let's watching say, uh, gay porn, laughing our asses off this, because nothing funnier than seeing a guy's dick in another guy's ass. This, this, 
Let me tell you something. The difference between gay porn and fucking straight porn, gay guys... Are, they're like they're like literally coming machines. They just he's sucking the cock the exact way you need to suck it to make it come. There's no cute licks and little cute eye things or do you like that baby? Girls make it sexy and hot and desirable. Guys just open their mouth, close their lips around their teeth the perfect way, and they just fuck a face. Is that the perfect way, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what uh, I learned. <laughs> no, it works. All right, let's go to Sam. <sighs> I like sticking large objects in my rectum, <laughs> but have never had a boyfriend. I find men attractive, but have never dated one. I don't have a girlfriend either. Am I gay? <laughs> yeah, you faggot. <laughs> uh, the response is... Wait, come over here and read the response on my lap. I don't want to. What? Yeah, you might as well, Sam. Get over. You're Remember, call it comfortable under the table. And get it, over here. It's for the show. You know that. It's not for the show. It's for us. Get over here. Right on this little knee right here, Sam Bones. Put that little bony <laughs> ass right on. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to feel the bone. Get in the middle. <laughs> ah! The response is... As you sit on Bobby's lap. Yeah. Yeah. Bob's rocking me. The response is... Yes, you're gay. Find yourself a boyfriend to help you insert those large objects. You'll have more fun. Like a little jar. <laughs> Sam's asshole got fucking nervous. Was it puckering? I felt it. I felt it getting nervous. He had a shy eye. I like girls. What? Yeah, do you? All right, should we move on to the next one? Jesus Christ! <laughs> what other do one? You? These are uh, fucked, man. Come on. <laughs> You find I'm a just good one? saying all gay. It, uh, yeah, well, Danny, we don't have time to do all these. Which ones well, are no, really good? Yeah, I'm trying to find. Let me. Which? Yeah, yeah, take a quick look. One, maybe two more of these. <laughs> Can you I? Want, you want to do a few short ones? I'd like to read a personal. Or, one. I, I don't care if the long one is funny. I don't care. Just give me the best of the best. Can I read a personal one from my own diary? Yeah. <laughs> later in the show. Sure. And you can answer and tell me if it's gay or not. Of course. Thanks. This could lead to a round of gay or funny, by the way, for the people out there. Uh, this guy sounds like a treat. They're all good. They're, they're I know, they're all funny. fucking funny. Should I just do the next one? <laughs> I'm a 35-year-old male and having no trouble meeting women and having sex with them, which I enjoy very much. I have fantasies about other men giving me anal sex. I don't ever think I could go through with having sex with another man, though... Because men actually turn me off. I just like anal sex to the point that I use a dildo on myself. <laughs> what does this mean? Jim in Texas. Is that... That's got to be gay. I'd say gay. <laughs> the dildo yeah. looks like a, like, a, like a peenie. Like a dick. Maybe if it looks like something else, maybe not. I don't know. What if the dildo, what if the dildo doesn't have veins gay. and a helmet? It's just like... Smooth and glassy, well, like one uh, of those. Just uh, like you're sitting on a shower nozzle. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's too close to looking like a penis. I mean, if if you were able to like put a block in your ass, then maybe not gay, because it doesn't look like the male thing. A <laughs> 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 like a square dildo. <laughs> so, so if, you get, if you get a square dildo, that's what I want. It's not mean. gay. That's what I was. A, a hammer, <laughs> a hammer handle. Yeah. Yeah. If you could put Lego pieces in your right, asshole, right. you're okay. Go. There you go. <laughs> so little trophies and stuff. That's what I don't understand <laughs> about lesbians. They hate the dick, but their their strap-ons and their belts yep. and stuff. They're, they're using the dick. Yeah, and not just. You would think the, the lesbian dick. community at this point would have figured out some new like uh, shape. Yeah. That makes it go. Look, see. We want to fill up our vaginas with fullness, but we don't want it to look it's, like a penis. It's a dick that's shaped like a vagina, and it, it, it's like, a change but, purse. But you know what I mean? <laughs> if you don't like dick and you're a lesbian, why are you using something that looks just like a dick? I never understood that. I understand there's not many options up there, out there, but there's got to be something you can do to that to totally take away from the fact that it looks like a penis. Thank you. Maybe they like buy a, a blow-up doll and scissor with it. <laughs> Scissor. Scissoring is the stupidest Scissoring, thing ever. Scissoring, it just Fucking looks silly. Me. 
Scissoring your fucking mushing. Suction together. Just mushing your vaginas together. <laughs> Two I was fucking plungers <laughs> going at it. <laughs> I was having a conversation uh, yesterday about scissoring and how ridiculous it is. Yeah. And then I started wondering... <laughs> If I could find a picture of guys scissoring. Oh my god. What? Did you? So I really hope no one ever looks for anything on my computer. <laughs> you found it? Well, no, it's just that if you type in like the letter G, guys. it's gonna come up got, like guys, gay guys oh, scissoring. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what's your email address in just case somebody <laughs> finds one? Fucking mushing hot balls together. Hot <laughs> balls. <laughs> Let's say hi to uh, Kirsten from San Diego. Kirsten. Hey. Hey, Kirsten. How are you? Good. I just wanted to comment because a lot of guys really like anal stimulation. It doesn't have to be gay, whether the dildo looks like a penis or not. Can I ask we, uh, you? Can we've I... lost this argument over the years too. We were like, "That's fucked up," and the guys will call until Ron and Fez and say, "Man, there's nothing gay about it. I, I like uh, a little something, something going on there." Can All I right. ask? Can I ask you something? I know what's going on with my. Uh, uh, yeah. Butthole. Ugh. Can I ask you? <laughs> what's her name? Ugh. Kristen. Kristen, can I ask you a question? And now it's destroying the furniture in this place. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, fuck. <laughs> I, I've had a few opportunities where, and I'm like, because uh, I know what uh, is going on there. I'm like, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I've had put opportunities that. <laughs> where mine was so bad. I, N Norton was in the other room. He'll tell you the story. All you heard was. <laughs> and then, then wait, that you hear this. Her, uh, her, her trying to get whatever was in her mouth out, and she almost uh, puked. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it was great. But let me ask you a question, Christian. Do you think it's gay if while you're eating my asshole, I look down at you and go, yeah, eat my pussy, bitch? <laughs> If I call my, if I refer to my asshole as my pussy, as your, uh, as your man that's pussy, that's a little weird. Yeah, what if like, you say man pussy? Yeah, my man pussy, my fat <laughs> lips. Well, but I, I mean, if, if and then you call her like Mike. It, I think eating ass is totally something. I mean, it feels good. Well, that is a stimulating wow. sexual spot for anybody. What if, you're a what man if I or need woman. you to shape your tongue like a fucking cock and mush it in and out of my ass? <laughs> Bobby. While sticking, while sti sticking your other thumb in my mouth while Jesus, I suck it. Bobby, you're so gay, Bobby. Uh, Jesus. I, I still don't think it's gay. Right. I think I think it's just a sexually stimulating spot. I mean, anal, think about anal beads. Right. That is a pleasure thing for men mostly, Fuck because my. that prostate oh. is just so sensitive and it feels so good. Okay, and so. What if you, instead of anal bees, you use, like, rope from a ship? <laughs> <laughs> With those discs that keep the rats from crawling up. Would that be bad? And the rats. <laughs> Ow. Okay, what if you came in the room, right? And I had your high heels on, and I was holding the high heels uh, uh, and spreading my asshole apart and I drew with a sharpie like vagina lips around my asshole <laughs> <laughs> would that be gay for you or for me for you for me oh for both of us oh by by the way Sam you're officially gay because you did the dildo in the mouth thing sorry buddy that is true no, you, you sucked that thing go yeah. oh my god oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you didn't. didn't see the sorry, pictures? Sam. No. Sorry about that. Oh, fuck. Pop those pics up because wait, you're no, going no. go to shoot a load one. in your pants when you see the way this kid <laughs> sucks a cock. Where's the, <laughs> where was the question about swallowing dildos? I want to help uh, Sam out. You might uh, you might skate on this. What the you know? fuck? <laughs> I was told to. By who? Opie. Really? If he told you to jump off a bridge, would you suck a dick and then do it? <laughs> uh, I was wondering where dude, you're going with that. Can I just Doesn't say have something? Good technique? Listen to me, dude. I'm not even fucking joking around. I love watching girls give head. I love, okay. and I and I love because I can tell if a girl gives good head by the way her fucking mouth is. Wow. And the fact that his mouth is. His lips, his upper lip is curved in a little bit. What? To protect this fake dick from, from teeth scraping. Those scrapers. treacherous teeth. And his eyes are shut. And and his cheeks are sucked Don't in. Would you ever close your eyes if you were sucking a cock, Anthony? Uh, no, I'd want to look right into either the eyes of the man or his pubic mouth. <laughs> the fuck do you Where'd think? What would you look at? I'd be shutting my fucking eyes. 
But would you shut them softly like this, faggot? They're not shut softly. <laughs> oh, Whatever the prisoner do. is telling me to do so he doesn't put a shank in my neck. Because that's the only way you, I'm sucking the dick. If you were sucking a cock... And I'm going to be beat up. All right, whatever makes him happier If there, you were Bobby. sucking a cock, you'd squint your eyes. They'd just, just be wrinkled up. This faggot looks like a, a dead fairy. Look, he, look, he's doing it for the radio show. We leave him alone. Leave me alone. They're just softly <laughs> shut. <laughs> I'm not that's, that's telling him in a masculine way. All right, yeah. I got the answer. Alone. I got the answer to that question I uh, read a while ago at this point. Uh, oh, this is the one where the guy uses the dildo on himself. Okay. Oh, my God. Jim. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. It means... Uh, go ahead, Bobby. I, I just... There's more there? photos. Oh, yeah. But they get worse as they go along. <laughs> Why is Travis taking a ton of pictures? Worse? Because it, um, how one... better? <laughs> oh, my God. This is fucking... The fact that you're just sucking on the helmet makes me want to puke. Because mm. it's not you. All right, here's the question to the guy with the dildos in his own ass. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, Jim, it means... Whoa, I got... We got to put the music yeah, on. Yeah, you got to put the music on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a fucking career saver. <laughs> Jim, it means you like getting fucked in the ass, but that in itself doesn't say a whole lot. Plenty of men who are not gay enjoy taking it up the butt. Yeah. <laughs> Some use dildos on themselves, and some have their lady friends peg them with strap-ons. A lot of them never have sex with men, so if you can find a woman willing to strap it on and go to town on your ass, you can have all the anal sex you want without having to get near another guy. The fact that you fantasize about sex with men indicates you probably have some bisexual tendencies. But if you're not really attracted <laughs> to guys, maybe those tendencies aren't very strong. On the other hand, maybe you just haven't met the right guy. <laughs> On to the next question. Oh, yeah, this is a party, dude. <laughs> wow, this guy sounds like everyone you I, want at a tailgate. And party. I know this guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know think this everybody guy. knows. Everyone knows one this of these guys? Guy. All right. Yeah. All right, if everyone knows this guy, we could answer a question today because I'm sure yeah. a lot of people are wondering if that guy they know is gay or not. You know who I think should read this, though? Huh? Tank Hankerous. He's, He's sick. Tank Hankerous went home sick. Oh, he threw up in the parking lot. Too much jism uh, in his belly. <laughs> he actually threw up. E Rock threw up. Yeah. yeah. He texted me and he said, "He's finally full." <laughs> he said, <laughs> 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 No, he was just making room for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, take that, fat, so I know you're still listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> you obsessed fan that works for this show. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Stupid Iraq. Yeah, uh, right. I got it. Uh, I have a question. I like to go out and party. <laughs> when I do, sometimes I end up dropping my pants. <laughs> doesn't, <coughs> doesn't matter if it's at a football tailgate party, a bar, or a house party. I just enjoy showing my package. What I can understand is that I get really excited when my guy friends look at my groin area. Get the fuck out of you here. You know, it isn't like they stare, but even the slightest glance by a dude makes the hairs on my neck stand up. Am I just an exhibitionist or am I gay? P.S. I also have a cat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> has to be gay. I would say if you're it's getting so off in any way, shape, or form at showing your dick to your friends, your guy friends. You could do it for the gay. shock value and the goof, but if you're getting excited because they're glancing down a little bit. Yeah, what, yeah. What, if you have, what if you have low self-esteem and that's the only attention and positivity you get? Like, you take your cock out and if you look at it and go, wow, and I see you looking at it like, oh, you respect it. No, it's, it. it's, it's you, though. If you're getting turned on sexually by guys looking at your dick, you're gay. If you're whipping your dick out and just going, look at my fucking dick, you sorry son of a bitch. Right. <laughs> then that's not gay. That's just boasting. So if I, so if you, I took my dick out yeah. and I saw you looking at it. Yeah. And then that turned me on. Right. That's you're, gay. You're, you're so fucking gay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're next to each other at the urinal. You peek over and get a little, a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> you squirt in that piss a little further. <laughs> Actually, Jesus. into my own face. Yeah, I'm drinking it. It's hitting your chin. It's like the fucking Caesar's Palace fountains. Uh, <laughs> Evil uh, Knievel tried to jump it. So, uh, by the way, Bobby 
Did you say Lord of the Rings instead of Lord of the Flies? <laughs> no, I was talking about you. Uh, I, I did say that, but All it had right, nothing right. to do with that, that new All intern. Right. Well. That new intern that walked in looked like a fucking hobbit. <laughs> oh, okay. Have you seen him? I don't know which one, so. Go ahead, Ann. Yeah. What's the answer? The answer is uh, Dear Anonymous, because he was anonymous in Oklahoma. You're a gay exhibitionist. Well, maybe not gay, but you're definitely an exhibitionist. Uh, are you gay because you like attention from other men? It's very possible. Most straight male exhibitionists get off on exposing themselves to women. There may be other reasons that it excites you to have another guy check out your goods. Maybe it's just an ego thing, but it seems pretty sexual. So you're probably gay or bi, especially since you have a cat. <laughs> Or a small dog named Dexter. What? Oh boy! All right, let me real quick uh, read the next one. It's fast. A lot of times after the show, I like to watch gay porn all the time. P.S. I came in my own face a few weeks ago. <laughs> Am I gay? Derek B. Oh, in New York City. Oh, Derek. Oh, Derek. Jeez. Derek B. <laughs> Why would you come in your face? I don't know, because you're probably gay. My yeah, probably was, gay. If you probably want, probably, probably like the taste or something. Yeah. You want to come in your hey, face. Yeah, and then why would you tell all your coworkers about it the next day? <laughs> yeah, it must be gay. <laughs> yeah. Well, why wow, you, you know a lot about this letter. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like you couldn't wait to tell all your friends, hey, you got some, some of your own cum in your face. <laughs> Just in case you want to move on to the next step, someone else is cum in your face. <laughs> Hey, you know, I had no problem with coming in my face. He's just throwing that uh, fishing line in the water. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> One of us goes, really, tell me more. He was chumming with his own cum. Right. I think we're going to need a bigger cock. <laughs> and it, wasn't even, <laughs> it wasn't even like speaking of which. It was a complete like non sequitur. It's like, hey, uh, you, think, oh, you think this bed would be good for something? And he's just like, oh, I came in my own face the other day. <laughs> Dude, I just... <laughs> yes, I, Travis? I walked in when we came from CBS that day, and he, and the first time I see Derek, he's like, came in my face last night. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's fucking like, right. insane, by the way. He certainly is. He comes off like a regular guy, but... <laughs> he certainly you is. You spend ten minutes with him, and you realize he's fucking insane. I got a, I got an and inch, gay, and I got completely a, gay. I got an inch of my... like a, Maybe a little less than an inch of my cock in my own mouth once. What? No way. <laughs> Absolutely. How'd you do that? I fucking balanced on the back of my neck in the tub. You had to flip my legs over my head. And I just, my, just the top of my cock got in my mouth. Sure it was yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I Wait, think I'm doing on. this. Hang on, let Some me... guy's going, yeah, keep sucking. <laughs> yeah, hang on, let me You're doing you a off. great job sucking your own cock. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? We were going to end this. But, uh... Fucking idiot. There's, there's, there's two way. This, this one's ridiculous. Earlier this yeah, year, Anthony, so you can they're listen, also ridiculous. Listen to this one. <laughs> Anthony can suck his own cock right now. Oh, I wish. Don't even bend over. Earlier Back this hurts. year, let me get this on the air because this one is just a treat for everybody. Earlier this year, I went on a fishing trip with the guys and my father-in-law. No music. It doesn't hear. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a coordinated monthly test for Sirius XM Radio. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If this had been an actual national emergency, official messages would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Hand job and fingering your ass, you've got bigger problems <laughs> yeah. to worry about than whether or not you're gay. I can imagine what your family dinners with the in-laws are like. This situation cannot possibly end well. It's like when fucking Kramer burnt down the log cabin with the cigars. <laughs> oh my god, the these letters, he's more of a man. We went into emergency I alert just, system. Yeah, I, I just heard that myself. What? What? What do they miss? What happened? Are we back? Are we back? I don't perform let us for know. three people. I perform for a million, so let me know when we're back. <laughs> I don't even acknowledge these people. Are we back? 
Are we back? We're back. What do they miss? We're better than ever. Right We're what? back. Take it off the air. This is Why? a test of the emergency alert system. Uh, yeah. What do we miss there, people? This Help is only a test. And what do we miss? Do they know on Pal Talk? Uh, that was a good one. Where do we leave off? Uh, but they, know. but they get to hear. Oh, yeah, oh. excited. Oh. Last we heard was what? No music. The whole thing they lost? Yeah. I ain't fucking reading that again. Oh, I will, I will, I will. <laughs> All right, Bobby. I'll, I'll, I want to read it from the bathroom. All right, Bobby, why don't you <laughs> read the one? Because uh, this was... They didn't get any of this? Those I'm not sure. I'm still, I'm still working on that. This is a hot one. This is a sexy one. Uh, where is it? Where is it, Sam? Help me out. Uh, where do we uh, leave off? It's, the, it's Gordon there. All right, here we go. I Just read it. it fast again. Early this year, I went on a fishing trip with uh, the guys and my father-in-law. One night, we all got kind of drunk. My father-in-law suggested uh, we strip poker. Before we knew it, we were all nude. We went to bed that night, and later, my father-in-law crawled into bed with me, and I pretended I was passed out. He started to give me a hand job. After that, he slowly massaged my <laughs> anus. Again, I pretended I was passed out. I really, really enjoyed this. Am I gay? Gordon from Minnesota. Wow, they missed the whole story I just found out. But now we got it on because of Bobby. All right, Bobby, what was the answer? The answer is, <laughs> if your wife's father's crawling into bed naked with you, giving you a hand job and figuring your asshole, <laughs> you're, you've got bigger problems to worry about than whether you're gay or not. I can imagine what your family dinner uh, dinners with the in-laws are like. This situation cannot possibly end well. Hmm. I'd love to go camping. And can you read this really short one from um, from Brad in NYU? Brad, to reach into the register, Brad, give me my money back. Last night, I gave my friend a hand job <laughs> for not even five minutes. Am I gay? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Brad, NYU. <laughs> No. <laughs> Last night I gave my friend a hand job a for goof. not even for not even five minutes. It's a goof. That's <laughs> goof. That's gay, right? No, that's, no. that's, that's not gay. Well, it's, well, it's, the joke's on him, right? The, the joke's yeah. on him. He's not gay. Look here, here. <laughs> Listen to my little analogy. You walk into a bank to rob it. Right. You pull a gun out. It takes five minutes to get all the money. Right. You just robbed the fucking bank. You're a bank robber. What if you don't you take walk the money? In, it takes twenty minutes. What if the guy didn't make a deposit? What if you don't take deposit? the money? What if you don't take the money? <laughs> you took the money. What if you, you say, robbed the bank. Well, right, you or walk in, check it out. You go, stick him up. Yeah. And then you go, ah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. And you put the gun away and Then leave. you're an attempted faggot. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're committing attempted faggotry. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not gay. He's an attempted faggot. What's what? What, what does this website say yet? Well, it says, relax. <laughs> Touching a dick for five minutes will not turn you gay. One hand job will not turn you gay. Do you still like girls? <laughs> then you're not gay. You still uh, you still like girls, but you enjoy touching a dick, and would do it again. Then maybe you're bi. You never really like girls, and you secretly hoping uh, your friend asks for a blowjob next time. Okay, you're probably gay. So he kind of left the balls in his court <laughs> and the dick in his mouth. <laughs> God what if you just your consistency we end freak? Right there. That well, one's... The, there's one. The, the next one, it's short and it's kind of good. All right, Bobby, read or ask. Uh, who wants to read the last one? Uh, Sam does a good job. Yeah, Sam, right, read Sam, it. Go ahead. Yeah, you got it. They're all so good. Which one do you? Get last starts. One. My boyfriend claims he's straight. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> Jess. My boyfriend claims he's straight, but I found emails <laughs> to other men on his computer. <laughs> He blames it on the fact that he stressed out and it was a fantasy, and the act itself of being with another man made him sick. Is he gay or bi? Anonymous in Arizona. It was fantasy. Oh, the act of it. Yeah, you know, I've been stressed out. The first thing I do, <laughs> I start just dropping emails to guys. Yeah, it's hit the, the, the porn zone. I've done it too, dude. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Bobby. Especially during April, Bobby's like when tax to... seasons, I'm just fucking typing so away. so stressed. You know what's fucked up about Bobby? You're oh. trying to defend every single question. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to defend these guys. It's I mean. not okay. Yeah, I've never been with a woman. I, think I just <laughs> like dicks in my ass. Am I gay? I think no. Bobby's trying to hold out. I'm going to fire it again. Not me. 
I think Bobby's trying to hold out to the fact that he might just be by, but he's learning today that it's uh, he's losing that. I just remember that when a girl was knuckling my asshole, how good that felt. Yeah, but according to what we read and according to past phone calls, that's not gay. Not gay. Not gay. Not gay. When you're begging mm -hmm. her to fuck your pussy. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's <laughs> gay. When you're saying fuck my pussy. <laughs> No, oh, Bobby. That's not. Uh, that doesn't mean no. That would mean me, gay. that would mean no. Because for me to be gay, I would have to be a guy wanting to. You get, are. I'm, you're a I'm, lesbian. I'm calling it a. It's I'm not a, a pussy. It's I'm, your. It's your fucking man asshole. <laughs> I would be more of a lesbian than I would a fag. I mm. think you're a lesbian because I'm calling it a pussy. No. Nah. I'm Maybe more back a, when you had breasts. <laughs> uh, can you imagine it's that? It's a past fat joke. Could you? <laughs> yeah, we like the past fat jokes. The guy of Fast Times of Richmond. It's a past fat it's joke. It's a past fat joke. <laughs> Listen to me. You never had You're your right. asshole You're eaten? fucking gay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, I've look never. At me. Um, look ne at me and say it. I've never had my asshole eaten. You smile. I'm I you don't. Smiling? Because you're looking at me like you want to fucking say you want it, you want it eaten. <laughs> hey, Obi, have you ever had your asshole no. eaten? <laughs> you liar! <laughs> <laughs> God damn! I've never seen fucking about somebody that. break down that quick. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> broke down. It's like, did you see how fast he broke down? This guy's I'm never gonna do a crime with Opie because he'll crack in two seconds. Did you guys rob that guy? Yeah, no, no. Yes, we did. We did. I've had my asshole eaten too. Do we have another I, live read? Yeah. Hey, Danny. Actually. Danny, have yes. you ever had your asshole? Yes. Really? Yeah. Recently? No. <laughs> Recently. No. Now? In the no, past it's, it's two wild. days, three. Have you ever had it eaten when it's just dirty? And hot and wet. When isn't it? When is a man's ass not dirty? You know, I you got to scrub a dub dub that I, fucking thing. And even then, it's like, <laughs> dear, am I gay? My asshole is perfectly clean. Am I gay? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you are. <laughs> You're not a man. I had two situations. I had one where this girl went down to eat my ass. She used to put me on all fours and a pillow under my stomach. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Lamaze class. <laughs> and Fuck, she would, uh, she went down to eat my ass. It was a like hot, hot summer day. <laughs> hot. And hot. she went to eat my ass. And she went down, took a couple swipes, and then went like that and slapped my ass. She went like this. Go wash your ass, honey. It stinks. Of course. I ran yeah, in and scrubbed my ass. Trying to get the smell out of your out of your ass is like trying to wash your hands after like handling an onion. <laughs> you just you I think it's what okay you for a few seconds, <laughs> right. but then back. that onion will come back. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of this uh, bit. Very funny, Bobby. God, we got to do man. some porn.com shit right now. This is perfect. Why We should just seg right into porn.com, right? Of course. That's what it's all about. <laughs> if you're stressed out and looking for gay porn, let me tell you something, people. <laughs> yeah, if you're not sure if you want to jerk off to some gay porn or not, <laughs> right. give well, it a shot. What well, selection? Porn.com. If you're stressed so selection. and you need your gay porn, go to porn.com. I, I mean, if they're saying 45 different categories, you got to think... One of the big ones is the, is the gay category, I don't think right? I've ever been to a porn site that has categories that doesn't have uh, a gay site. Right. Plus, porn.com, uh, it's options. all there. You can go and like start going at straight porn, and then yeah. when you realize you're kind of getting into it, just kind of click over to the gay porn area. <laughs> well, There's so many different areas, that's all I'm saying. By accident. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Sam. There's just different places to click. I like, um, here's what I like. I like amateur the best. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Not Boyerism. fake amateur. A little voyeur uh, stuff. Voyeur, not too much so, because I like the person being photographed or videotaped, knowing they're being photographed or videotaped. But I like the amateur thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, money shots after blowjobs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are good. The, the blowjob fucking money shot. Right, Fantastic like, porn. That, yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. Sometimes if you're jacking, you could time it like to come when the guy comes in the movie, so it's almost like you're coming on the chick's face. So you like to come with the guy? Yeah, yeah. Get it all over me. And watch all that delicious comedy. I, I just wish the girl would leave the fucking frame. <laughs> and sometimes I like to come in my own face. Yeah. Hi, I'm Derek P. <laughs> Did you ever fuck up the timing of the, sh the fucking jerk-off? Oh, you trying to come worst. with the guy? Because you want to, when she goes, oh, yeah, and she opens her mouth, come in my face, and yeah. then 
he comes and then you hold it two seconds and then you're coming off too key. Long. And you're trying to come with it, but it doesn't happen. Then you, yeah. you're and focusing then too you're much You're coming on to his face. Yeah, going, exactly. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, oh, no, get out of here. Then your whole jerk off was ruined. And then yeah. you just said, I just came to a guy. Ru yeah. Ruined. And it's wrecked. <laughs> no, nah, because then you tried to hold back. And it doesn't. So it, 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 you, but you couldn't all the way, so it came out, but not with that boost. That <laughs> Yeah, that boost of, oh, that my. perfect fuck. timing. Yeah, that first. That only you can jerk off that like. That first rogue load that shoots out. <laughs> rogue <laughs> load. Fucking snaps and hits the wall. A rogue load. <laughs> <laughs> that one's just used to clear the tube. Yeah, that's just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire a blast to clear the tube and then load a torpedo. Right. And then you just keep you, the, the rest of the load just keeps overflowing over your knuckles like a fucking lava, a lava fucking volcano. <laughs> just keeps going over and over your knuckles. You? Strudel icing. And then you spider man it right in her face. What the fuck? Just flip it. Porn dot com. Sure. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go home today. Uh, largest collection off. of adult scenes, photos, full length DVDs, uh, on the net today, including almost. 17,000 porn stars. Wow, yeah. wow. Porn.com wow. is your horny new homepage for instant uh, recession relief. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, size matters. When it comes to selection, porn.com is huge. Mm -hmm. In fact, so big, take you over. Guess how long it would take you to watch everything on porn.com? 42 seconds. I would. No, no, I don't mean like when you come and then shut it oh, off. Oh, okay. And, I would uh, guess you would have to leave some for your ancestors. <laughs> Your well, ancestors would have to take over where you left off. Uh, yeah. In certain cases, I think you're right, because it's saying here 15 years wow. to watch everything on there. Yeah, but what if you're not into the gay porn on porn.com? 14 years, <laughs> nine months. There's three months of steady oh, gay watching. Of gay? What if you're yes. only into gay and fucking horse porn? How long would that take? I don't know if there's horse porn there. Yeah, Dude, that would be I don't illegal. Think so. No, no okay. Highly so, illegal. So gay, gay and uh, jerking off into Japanese newscasters' face porn. How long uh, would that right? take? Right. Um, I'm sure they have some kind of Asian. Yeah. A lot of guys are into that. Right. Um, I don't know, though. I got to go to porn. When I go to porn.com, I go to my categories, the ones I like. Amateur. I like potpourri. What? Potent potables. What about a black on category? What about a black on white thing? Oh yeah, they got a lot of that. Do you like that? No, you must love that. I didn't like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm gonna like seeing fucking? It's like some, slow down. Some lily white chick take a big black cock. It's like slow down. Do you think I want to see that? I think the Obamas <laughs> had sex in the White House last night. They definitely no. the shit out of each other. Well, they were a little tired, but. The adrenaline gets up. What do you think? Main bedroom, Lincoln bedroom? Fucking Lincoln bedroom. Let's go. They fucking go show. Oh, porn.com. We're going to go home uh, today early. Uh, here, membership comes bundled with bonus access to over 38 exclusive oh, sites. How's that for a happy ending? Ooh, so log onto porn.com today. <laughs> Discover for yourself why it's uh, the world's favorite porn site. Right now, you can save up to 80% off the regular monthly rate. Come on, go to porn.com right now for this special limited time offer, uh, porn.com. How easy is that? I apologize. I said ancestors. Everyone's killing me. Uh, descendants, right. Oh, yeah. How would your ancestors jerk <laughs> off to porn.com? Unless, of course, they got into a DeLorean. Yeah, they had a DeLorean. Oh, no, was, um, then they could do it. Do they have ghost porn? Jack off. Do they have ghost porn? They need mm. plutonium, too. Ooh. Abu, Bobby, what are you doing? Because we're going to leave early. Hey, did you we're hear, early today. by the way, an extra hour yesterday. that old Biff that was in the DeLorean mm -hmm. was actually fading away and dying when yeah. he came out of well, the Yeah, well, that's why event. he's in so much pain. He's like, in that's pain why. when he walks yeah, out. Yeah, I remember being a he kid. He fucked up his history. Yeah. So when he came back, he's he didn't fucking, exist. He's he was, gonna, yeah. So he's going to disappear. Yeah, I always wondered that watching that as a kid. I was like, why? Like, what's he doing? I thought he was like, I thought maybe he was having like a heart attack, a heart attack or he yeah. couldn't deal with like yeah, time travel or time something. Time travel, like the stresses of it or something yeah. like that. But that's why that's why the cane is found in the DeLorean. That's how they knew that Biff went back because yeah. when Biff broke his cane, he was actually in the process of fading out of existence. Fading away. He well, should have been fading then, not clutching his chest. Well, I think it was that whole thing like, you know, when. Um, when uh, Michael J. Fox was playing guitar, that's and Marty. His hand, Marty was, uh, you know, and he's like grabbing and stuff, you know. And yeah, he's in pain. That's true. It's kind of a painful thing when you fade out of existence. What if you suck a guy's cock in the future, uh -huh. get into a DeLorean, and come back? Are you gay? You never suck the cock. Yeah. Not gay. You can change that. Wow.
But you could, you might set up some kind of alternate. If Gay you go in the past, yeah. if you go in the past and suck a dick. You're fucked. You're just gonna then come back, a, just a queen. Because then you're coming back, and every all history will change. You're gonna come back in a bed, thin, yeah, with no with hair, with a poodle, and some fucking broth. <laughs> <laughs> this Back to the Future discussion was brought to you by DirecTV. Yes. Call 888-961-DIRECTV. Uh-huh. Actually, DirecTV, one T. Yeah. Uh, 888-961-DIRECTV for DirecTV. Yes. Mm, Bobby, great. what do you got going on? What Are you guys in leave? Chicago? Uh, wow. Yeah, right Thanks now. for making us feel good. What about Cleveland? People are listening XM. in Chicago. What about Cleveland? Philly? Yes. Well, what about Boston? No. Everything. All XMers. Through. All right, well, I'm going to be at the Chicago Improv. Uh, nice. Yeah, that's uh, the 26th and the 1st. Nice. That's uh, through the 1st. I'm there for a fucking month, apparently. Goddamn nice. agent stinks. So you know you're not famous when you have to do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's Saturday, true. and Sunday. It's called a job. Yeah, I know. Holy shit. <laughs> I actually have to, I have to help sell tickets during the day, too. I'll be answering the phones at the Improv that's in sucks. Chicago. Fuck me. You were in Ghost Town. Ah, yeah, I know. I was a ghost, just like my real life. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. And they can go vote for me on stand-up. The thing, stand up, thing. Ke stand up, Kelly six six three three three. Yeah, cool, uh, Bobby. Thanks, man. Thank yes, you. Man. Always a pleasure to have Bobby in. Always fun. Everything Very uh, natural, you know. It's not like you gotta fit you in here, and mm -hmm. you don't know what's going on. Like some people. Mm. Just works. You guys are fun. nice. You guys are very nice. Lost tonight. If uh, oh, you're wait. a lost fan, I, I know I would have been thankful for a reminder. I set my alarm on my iPhone, so we'll go off uh, before the recap, and then uh, watch Lost. God. And I'm sure Travis will text me. Uh, how long would it take me to get caught up? <laughs> 15 wow. years. You I'm not even joking. I, I haven't seen one. You would have to do a marathon. How long would the marathon take? Re for real. How many seasons are we up to? Season four. And um, 18 per year. A lot of episodes. They do about 18 a year? Yeah. 1836. Yeah. 50, uh, wow. could, uh, at least 54 have to go through. Well, how long did it take you to watch? 54 hours? How long was The Wire? Wire rolled, though. Figure about that. <laughs> Lost That rules. took a long time. And I, was, I, was, I was pumping DVDs into my player, and it yeah, still you do, took a long time. You'll do the same time. thing once you watch Lost. I like pumping yeah, no, DVDs Yeah, no, Lost, you're going to get mad at. Lost, around season three, you're going to get pissed watching it. No, you get pissed after every episode. You get pissed, but there's... you're like, ah, well, now what? Season three, you're like, what the... Why the fuck did he say that? What the fuck? Why would he yeah. do that? Well, they got to tie up those loose ends. It's like, why talk to each other? Say, all you have to do is say, hey, dude. Ben and ends up in Tunisia. Him. Yeah, it's weird. You know what? what? Fuck. I think it's too late for me. No, it's not, dude. Get into it. I'm going to have to give up on that one. Don't do it. For real. Don't do it. I'm gonna have to give up on that one. You watched that? You watched that fucking pilot episode, though. No, dude. You're hooked. Yeah. yeah. That first episode is the shit. The plane crash. Yes. God. Because I was just like, I was under the impression when I first watched it that okay, it's another fucking you know plane crashes on an island. How are these people gonna fucking survive? Kind of a story, and then things just get so fucking weird. You just think it's one of those Irwin Allen type stupid disaster movies. It's, probably, it's like the <laughs> easiest show I've ever gotten into. Yeah. You know? All right, Mr. Genius I'm, Guy. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, you, you, <laughs> oh, you jump fall right into it. I yeah. thought you meant easily understood. No, right. no, no, no. It's like, come on, I still don't know what the fucking smoke you, is. You'd like it, too, because you have to look in the... You, you can't just watch the show. No, the you get in the online. Background. You, all of a sudden, you'll notice like a little, like a logo or I something. You're like online that. looking Shit. at Dharma Initiative fucking plans. I ain't doing Dude, no I have Dharma a Dharma crap. Initiative smock. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. You better not. <laughs> I want a shirt. Nah, I'm out. What if I get a doctor do smock like the guy has? Well, you nah, that? anyone could get that. You I want something with Dharma Initiative on. Yeah. I want Dharma Initiative beer. <laughs> like their booze that just has Dharma Initiative about, shit on it. How about the I peanut saw, butter? Uh, sorry, I saw uh, labels that you could print out. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, that you could put around <laughs> your around own beers beer. so you could have Dharma okay, Initiative that's, beer. Yeah, you could do that. That's cool. <laughs> want some Dharma Initiative beer? Dude, Coke Logic helped me out with the math. Season one, twenty-five episode uh, episodes. Yeah, they did crank out season some episodes. Season two, twenty-four. Season three, twenty-three. I'm out. Fuck that. Get them on that uh, online. What? You just two, sit there four, with the computer six, in front of you. Not jerk seven, off to point. Seventy-two hours. 
three days. Yeah, but you figure What's it's like that? it's like forty three minutes without the commercials. No commercials. No you're commercials. banging them out right after the other. Yeah. Bam, you, you, listen bam, to me. bam. Fuck I watched that. Hobie, Fast I watched, voting through the recap. I watched Thank Lost you, Logic. on DVD the uh, second year. Somebody told me to watch it. I was like, "Fuck you." They gave me the first season. I watched from one all the way to the end. You can't put it down. Coke Logic is a lost blocker. You can't Go fuck put it yourself. Down. Yeah, I'm out. Good show. Well, you can always Ooh. watch 24, though. I want to be with yeah. you guys on this <laughs> one, but I'm out. I can't do more. Fuck, fuck that. It. Fuck it. That's too much, man. Do it. Too fucking What much. are you doing? You do a radio show. Yeah, do that. I, um... What else? Do you have charities you're fucking helping? No, I, I play four hours at Tiger Woods Golf a day. Okay. Although my online is down right now. That's why you people haven't seen me there. Uh, I well, watch The Biggest why Loser. Why your online down? I don't know. Live in a pretty good local, building. Local network. Something cable. Oh no! They can't figure it out. <laughs> oh no! That My cable works. Sucks. Though. Oh, then then it's an internal network problem with my stuff. Right? Yeah, that's what I said. But the guy came and said it isn't. Dude, he's full of shit. If you're getting fucking cable, come on. It's either your cable modem. How about a bad modem? Could be your cable modem. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And not for nothing. I know what cable service you have. And if a tech came to your house, don't the, the tech is fucking suck so dick. stupid. I bet I know who you voted for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, they're retarded. I was having problems too. I was. I had like. I had like a ground loop problem. And I'm telling the guy what the problem is, and he's telling me no, 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 no. He's like, I'll be back in five minutes. He goes to the store, picks up. You know those grounding plugs where I'll go run get some cables for you. <laughs> so he goes gets me those plugs that okay, turns the three prong into the two prong. Yeah. And while that, yes, okay, that fixes my problem, it now alleviates me of a ground. Yes. So now all my expensive electronic equipment is Isn't now grounded. ungrounded. So it's like, well, thanks for fixing the problem, asshole. But Jesus. now but now all my shit is, sub is susceptible. Well, he rigged it in a certain way where there's a word before it. <laughs> that befit him. Yes, okay. <laughs> I've rigged many things like that in my life, but you don't rig the ground. <laughs> All right, let's go home. Ah, you fucking General Motors. I want to go home. <laughs> Taking a shit on me. I want to go home. Fucker. Who I want to go home. I knew my timing would fuck up one of these days. I want to go home. Sit on this stock now. Piece of shit. Is yeah, that your stock right there? Yeah. And it's taking a shit? Yeah. General <laughs> Motors, though, so it's expected. It's not like I fucking, I'm surprised. All right. It just takes a dump, you know? I'm going to go home and fucking jerk off to this show. To gay that porn? Guy? No, to this show. To this show, to all of us talking. Yeah, it is weird. Son. I've been, I've been uh, having sex in the past, and then um, you uh, com have Comedy Central on or something, and it's like it's Comedy Central with Adam Ferrara, <laughs> and like there's your friend talking, and you just have to change the fucking channel, and your dick fills up. You can't an inch listen. Bigger. No, 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 no. It's you it. like Italian guys. It's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. You like Italian guys with weird walks? No. I don't want any of my friends in my room, even on television. <laughs> That's fucked up. Patrice <laughs> pops up in a movie. <laughs> like, ugh. Degenerate. As a tranny. What the fuck here? Did yeah. you, see the, did you see the one where he's oh, a fucking yeah. tranny? It's great. God, he's fucking great for taking that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy who'll take a part. He don't care what it is. He had to beat Norton for that role. <laughs> where is Norton right now? Back. Miami. All right, let's go home, please. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, everybody, uh, great day. Uh, um, I'm, uh, oh, they're saying it's the router. Fuck. Could be your uh, yeah, network router. Just go buy a new router. Well, if you plug your computer right into your uh, your uh, modem, what does it do? Oh, Bypass it, the router. Oh, it worked. Yeah. So what is it? Router. The router. So what do I do now? Get buy a new, new router. router. <laughs> but the but the router is uh, the inside dude or the cable dude? You can buy your own. No, your you router. Go to, yeah, Best Buy, Circuit City. You think that splits off from it comes out of the modem and then goes into the but router? But the cable people the put in the router? No. No, you do. You plug you it in. But then why didn't the IT guy say it was your router? Because he's an he's asshole. An he said it was a cable modem. To them, it stops at the fucking cable modem. They don't give a shit. Unless you have, unless oh, you have like me, confused. unless you have, uh, why your your Wi-Fi wireless? through the cable he network. He went right uh, to the uh, computer. Where do you get your? Where do you I get? Said, your... All right, that means it's got to be uh, their issue, and it's got to be a cable modem. Where do you what get your computer? Where do you get your Wi-Fi douche. from? Uh, from some somebody in my building. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're tapping into someone else's? No, life. but this was my system that he that he tested out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but do you pay for it through cable? What's your? Uh, I got illegal cable, Bobby. Oh, righty. <laughs> Why won't, would you have for long? <laughs> <laughs> but oh, if you said that if you take a if you take a Cat Five oh cable God, from, the, yeah. from the modem right into the right into your computer, it works. Yeah. 
Then it's, it's totally then it's your router. Definitely your router. Motherfucker, I'm gonna write that guy right now. It's so your router. Uh, Not only we gay, we're your router's fucking nerds gay. too. My router's gay. <laughs> fucking gay nerds. I like putting Cat5 cables in my ass <laughs> Dude. and telling people that it's their modem. <laughs> Dude, I like to take a fucking a G wireless modem and, yeah. and shove the antennas in my asshole. <laughs> see if I get reception. <laughs> yeah. I want to see if the reception goes uh, away when it's in my ass and I then like I pull it out. How the wide I do that with the extenders. The extenders. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like to sit on the router all the way down to the actual third light that blinks that tells you if you have internet connection is good. Holy shit, we go home. Other words, I'm watching those lights and the last one fucks you. <laughs> yeah. All right, got that, got yep, that, got yep, that. Then, nah, you blinking fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Come on, what are we doing? I unplugged the router. And nah, then waited to replug it in. It's probably internal settings. Great. Well, right. Work this out. Keep your chin up. I will. Thanks, guys. Robert, awesome. See you guys tomorrow.